different platforms. So you probably don't even have to worry. But now we're streaming on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, everywhere. And see how the counter's not updating, but mm. so that's like a new bug they have, I guess. <coughs> Let me see, because I'm so usually people pop in right away. But maybe they don't. I mean uh -oh. Yeah, see it says we have ten people in here and nobody says hi. Hey but guys. uh I don't know, it's just like a, it's a new Fanatics book. It's like a new bug every day. Dan is in here. Bill is in here. What's up, Bill? Wooden spoon follow. <clears throat> I'm doing three box breaks, boys and girls. We're doing three boxes. Hopefully to sell a bit faster, because I, I notice a lot of people just don't want... You know, like filling huge cases on here is kind of tough. We're down to 26 spots early for us today. Closest dashboard, so obviously, so now we get our team, so we'll start. Here we have to enter our info. Let's take off the teams that are gone real quick. So does Baltimore, Cincinnati Reds. I pulled two LA Delta Cruz rookies for Bill. Uh, I saw that. that. Those were beautiful. Yeah, New York. And what a night. His second case was absolute fire. That was, he's, a, he's the first guy to hit one 415 feet and an inside the park. <laughs> oh, really? In history? <laughs> in the game. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I know it's an amazing, yeah, I know it's an amazing feat to do, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, for average, I think Spencer Steers is hitting better than he is right now. The other rookie. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Spencer Steers is good. He's hitting real well. So, and then for this, so that's going to be like some random cards too. We do Striker, yep. Do yeah, it here, Boulder boys. And, and the voice works again. <coughs> At least for the weekend. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to send out... Oh, let's do this really quick. Let's put this in. So what break are we... Right now, so we're doing break number 800. Good morning, Striker. Break number 800. Three boxes of Heritage. Guys, all card ship. Three boxes of Heritage Baseball. And then I put an all card ship. So most of the cards will just be team backed. All card ship. And then you got to click display text. And there you go. You got your update. You got that. You got your camera. Let's put you in there. There you go. Sorry, I might put the wrong camera. No. Um, let's just send out a simple text. Padres had another one highlight night last night. Yeah, I saw the, <laughs> I saw the highlights for the night, night eight nothing comeback. That was pretty cool. That was. That was a. Uh, yeah, I'm old school because I'm I'm cheap. Yeah. I'm not paying for TV, so I'm actually listening to the Padres games on the radio. Kind of reminded me of the old days. <laughs> Started moving that way too towards um, subscription TV. They'll be with part of their stuff will be with Amazon next year. All right. That's it after cards. All right. Good morning, fellas. Don't be afraid to say good morning. God, not a count. It doesn't work. It's like every day something else doesn't work. Every day something else, oh, don't work. All right, here we go. There's Dan, good morning, Dan, how are you? Good morning, Dan. See you picked up the Mets. All right, I just sent out a, uh, make sure that I do this to the right one. Send out immediately to credits. Well, <laughs> since there's possibility of coins in this one too, yeah. I did pull a coin, yeah, it's so funny, like 1975 nickel. <laughs> Guys, this will be kind of fun to break, 1975. If you're a little bit older than me, you probably remember buying these packs. The cards look cool, I mean, they're not going to be super crazy. But there is some crazy inserts in it. There is some crazy inserts in it. Well, I was looking for that, uh, there's no autos guaranteed, is it? 
Uh, no, it's, it's one auto on one mem card per box. One auto or one mem. And that's a fresh case, so I think we got the worst mem out of the way. I mean, I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> it, it's it's not guaranteed, Dan. It's one yeah. auto or one mem per box. So I opened up one box that a day on camera just to preview on Monday. And I pulled out an, uh, a coin that had a coin on it. But it's number 215. And the odds were huge. Mm. But all cards ship, so this is just regular. Or it's actually a short print. So cards 1 through 100 are short print. And then this was one of the hits in the box. And then there's also going to be a numbered chrome card. And lots of <laughs> short print. But this right here, Jim Rice for the Red Sox, is number 215. So this is actually a hard hit, which was I was surprised. This is one in 8,000 packs. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. It's, it's probably just because they have so many variations. So I've been thinking about it since I saw that one come out. What would the one of one be worth out of this? <laughs> a one-on-one -on -one nickel. <laughs> Shrike is going to specialize collecting the coin variations. Well, they have stamps, too. Huh? So they have stamps, too. Now, I'm not a big stamp collector, but where there are really expensive stamps in 75. Most I'm, I'm looking for the checklist. <laughs> Did you find checklist, Shriker? Most likely, like, that stuff is a little gimmicky. So, uh, like, it's the card is cool, yeah. but, like, the, the stamp they put in the auto, oh, it's on Becca yeah, Trickles. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I need to check really quick because I got, like, a $5,000 BCW order coming in, too. Oh, box low. You mean box to toppers? And then I think up front uh, is like a true seventy-five buyback card too, right? That's. Um, I gotta look because the stuff they talked about was cool, but the checklist wasn't very clear on some of the people that ran it. Which. <sighs> kind of early. Like I know normally don't start shows this early, but I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try early on fanatics. Funko Network. What's up, Funko Network? Which team did you just pick up? Funko Network just picked up. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. The Los Angeles Angels. This is a great break, guys. If you want a break, it's much cheaper. It's not expensive. It's just having a good time. Jonah, nice to see you, Jonah. Tatiana Nesota in the stream. Hey there. She's in. Hey. I'm, I'm hoping that's my Tatiana. Hey, isn't that a school day? It is. She's in school right now, <laughs> as I was about to say. <laughs> Watching fanatics breaks in school. You can't quit not being a parent. Sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Funko just took another one. This is a great product, the Dodgers. Guys, this is not expensive. You're breaking. You're having some fun. Oh, dimes oh. out of 10. That's funny. The Dodgers off the board. Oh, what's the one-on-one? A quarter? <laughs> what is crazy, Tatiana? <laughs> Me. Oh, it's 9.50? Oh, that's why. Okay. She thought we got hacked. Hi there. She, she thought we got hacked. She's like, my dad is... I know, uh -oh. I didn't go to bed till like 4 o'clock, I think. Uh, yeah. Let me see. We got a BCW shipment. Let's see. Let's see. I know, you thought we were hacked. Somebody was hacking our account. I don't know. I just decided we go live. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll do early. Get started toward that 24-hour break day. Yeah, <laughs> heritage. I mean, I really like heritage, but I don't want to break it twenty four hours. <laughs> well, we can break other things. But... Shrike is like, I haven't even started on shipping yet. Everybody's thrown off. That was a pleasant surprise. I woke up feeling a little. Oh, nice. That's always nice. eBay. It was NASCAR. <laughs> How I... that happened? No, I think somebody has changed. somebody misclicked. No, somebody. I think has changed one of the. Um... Hey, Renee wanted the Dodgers, not the Angels. So are you tell me you want me to cancel the angels? I can cancel them if you want to. Yes, please. Okay. Refund. All right, I canceled them.
No problem. It's probably gonna be in your credit card for two days, so just so you know. Because I think as soon as you buy, it charges. And then, um... As soon as you buy, it charges. And then so it's not, not that's gonna refund. Or, well, I don't think it's gonna go through, but it's just gonna be like a hold on it, so... Just you know, but I, it is it is canceled. It should be back in the store too. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, where's the stupid invoice? Ken, come on, BCW. Uh. All right, so there's a tracking over here. So Roadrunner, let me find this website. Didn't get shipped. Roadrunner. Cool tracker shipment. There you go. It's got a tracking number. Tracking number. Guys, this should sell up pretty decent. I mean, small break. I mean, it's still over 200 cards, and we ship all cards. A lot of people don't ship all cards. Track. Well, and as I look at the checklist, that's where I don't. I, you almost have to with this set. There are so many different <laughs> variations on these cards. And oh, yeah. Even on the base stuff. I mean, there's variations. And there's flip cards. and Yeah, flips. So so, like stuff. I mean, if it's just regular base stuff, even variations, will it just gets team back. Because right. even well, those, are, those are low cards. I don't think we're going to be able to recognize every one of them that comes out. There's going to be that's, that and Alan and Ginner are really the only two sets that do that. Where they make you actually... Is today the ninth or the tenth? Tenth. Tenth. Hey, is your birthday April or March? April fifth. Happy birthday. Thank you. Twenty one again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I wanna have Casey call them with this shipment information. Her um I actually wanna send it to her right now. Sure, printer one three one number four seven. Four. That's funny. I'm not gonna remember four. That's seven. Funny. <laughs> but y y you know what? It's uh. And who's on eighty two? <laughs> yeah, who's on eighty two? <laughs> that makes me want to go look at an old sheet and see how many cards they printed on a sheet. <laughs> Baldy. Yeah. But they do have those uh, celebrity autograph cuts, signatures, their one of ones. Those be cool. When I, th I thought I saw on on autographs, they've got them hand numbered, and I think I saw three player. Of all also, guys, there's non sports cards in there. If we hit any of those, we'll just randomize. I actually hit that computer all tear. That's actually kind of cool. What's up, mm -hmm. Type 1? Cheap break day today. Lots of cheap teams. How are you, my friend? 24 teams to go in our first break. Nice. Giants is a cheap team in this. I wish I was at the Giants game right now. Who are they playing today? Uh, I don't even know. Um, but I would kind of go. I go to any baseball game. Nationals. Nationals. I was awesome. to, I, I go. What's up, Brad H? Brad H just bought into the break. All card ships, boys. Detroit Tigers. Box load is one in two point five hobby boxes. Bill D in the house. Bill, how are you doing, Bill? All card ship. Bill is about to buy with the Texas teams off the board. Bill takes the Angels. Gone. What else did he get? He got the Rangers. Hope you get great weather for the game today, Type 1. I think we're supposed to have really good weather today. Max Clark, let me check. 70? Awesome, yeah. That'll be nice. I'd go to any baseball game right now. I'd be happy to go to any baseball game. Uh, let me see. So I lived in San Jose for a while. I went to both Oakland and Candlestick. Hold on a sec. Did did Max uh, did Max Clark get called up already? No, right? Is mm. he under roster already? So he's not gonna be in this product. No. I think. No. 
All right, sounds yeah. good, Bill. It, Bill, if you'd want to do any more Sterlings or anything, we can also do it anytime. I'm planning on shipping out a package tomorrow or so. I still have room in it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, let me go check. I'm pretty sure he's not on the list. Shrika says he's not yeah, on the list, yeah. Yep. Type 1. Type 1 got into the break. That's a, that's a man. Going to a baseball game, being in a baseball break. I, I know one of us with the Diamondbacks. One of us is living the life right now. All right, sounds good. You know how you can go on replay and you just can't, can't click on break chapters. You know that, right? So let's do a break at a baseball game. I would freaking... You know what? We should have fanatics. Buddy, what's the... Tops, Tops has their trailer driving around right now, and they're going to be in San Diego uh, end of the month, April. Oh, that's cool. So they just give up packs to kits and stuff, right? Yeah, they show up to stadiums. They're hitting every stadium this year. Um, yeah, I've got my kid outfit picked out. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I have my kid outfit picked out. I want a free card. Hey, let me get you into this white shot a little bit better. So, I'm like, if you ever need to adjust the camera, there you go. N now we see sexy Rick too. Yeah, and look at her. You didn't lie. <laughs> so you can just adjust it. If you go single break, you adjust it. Uncle Sam Child's Halloween costumes might work. <laughs> He'll just put a Civil War uniform on. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, boys, we have ten spots to go. I'll tell me I'll throw me in a pack because I started back when they had those cigarette cards. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's clear this table. Just put all these supplies, uh, eat on that table over there or here, and then we put a tray. Team bags we need later. If, if usually if I see like loose stuff sitting around and got a little dusty, yep. I just throw it away. Yep. I'm not worried about throwing loose supplies away. Let's get lots of standards because that's what we'd be breaking with. And a lot of times I put supplies behind the monitor here. Man, Jack's on holiday up today, so I wonder if he gets to play. Desks. You can move this stuff over here if you make more. I just ordered new desks. So we'll have um, on Monday I'm gonna build the second studio. Did we just sell some more teams? Yes. Type one bot. He bought an on eight hundred? Okay, type one. Let's see what else did he get. Type 1 buying more. Thanks, Type 1. You got the Athletics and the Giants. Good luck, Giants. As long as we don't play the Padres. So, you know, I lived in San Jose and went to Seattle and decided whether to move up there and came back the day we had the earthquake. Dan bought in another one. Hold San on. San Francisco and Oakland playing. Funko Network took another one. Let me see. Hold on a second. I, I, I wish the one thing we needed would tell us who they buy so we don't have to figure this out. Atlanta Braves is always a good team to have, Dan. Braves is always nice. Funko Network has the Dodgers. Where we got him for that? And then the Dodgers still. Funko Network just Dodgers in there. Oh, he's buying different breaks. Okay, that's what that was a different break. Okay. And that's the other one. I was See you later, Tatiana. DK King bought into break on eight hundred. What's up, DK King? Have a good day. Did um. Oh, you know this is what we need to do. I need to pay for the software. St. Louis Cardinals so off the board. 14, 16 spots to go. All right, let me make sure I put my credit card on screen. It's okay. That's what we, we have to pay for this software. Enjoy the game, Type 1. You know, we're super jelly right now. Oh, my God. I just said jelly like my, I talk I to my daughter. Huh? I haven't been to a game yet. So are you going to Lake Elsinore Saturday? Uh, Probably in the morning for a little while. So you know the, um, Depends on later break on Friday. The team... Padres are in town. If you're going, you're right down the street from the. Miami yeah, but team. I'm like, a, I'm, a, I'm a worker. I have to work. Yeah. It's like, um. I wish I would on that show. You, you say what? I wish I would on that show. 
Uh, uh also, show. you can go watch the team. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll just... That first night's going to be a quick turnaround. Late night show on Friday and Saturday. It's hour and 20 drive. <laughs> You probably can. Um, you probably can sell your tickets. Everybody like it's it's set and sold out fast. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> it sold out good. Oh, okay. You did that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, who knows? Uh-huh. Okay. Why is this not open? What? It's gonna be interesting though. I I probably will swing in and see the stadium Friday. I might go pool early on Friday. I'd rather go pool early. Okay, how do no I time for fun shows. Oh my lord. I know it's terrible. Print? Is it letting me print? It said that my label expired. Yeah. Let's see. I'm supposed to pay a registration fee. It's like these guys want your money, but they make it super hard for you to give them the money. It's like. Let's see if this actually will work. <coughs> oh no, it has the watermarks, which that doesn't really bother me, but I want to pay so it has no watermarks. Okay, remove watermark. There you go. It's so stupid. It says remove watermark. I'm like, how about pay pay registration <laughs> fee? Let's put this puppy over here. How about pay registration fee? Name bargain hunters that should be right. I don't remember the password, but let's log in one time. Personal home. Good morning, guys. I think a party report hasn't happened in the end of the day. Hey, I retired. When you retired. <laughs> Why well, Social Security number at thirty? <laughs> what the hell? You safe till a hundred years old? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> That's why everybody tells you to put your Social Security off. Yeah, man, I'm sixty-two. I've almost lived. I lived my whole family. <laughs> so, <laughs> my chances of hitting a hundred, yeah. <laughs> what time? All right. Oh, you can take it at sixty-two, sixty-five, or sixty-seven, right? Yeah. Well, I think sixty-seven for me. Now, I, it might be for you. It might be seventy now. I'm never making 70. Well, so that's the point of... I did stocks. I've done investments. And when I look at it, my my age won't last that long. It's going to be based on family history. So at 62, i got to give up a certain percentage. But I can still work. Mm-hmm. So I'll actually be able to invest my money for the first three years until I'm eligible to full-time. And actually put myself back ahead. So I won't really give up anything. Okay, I think we. Let's see. Let's see if we have the watermarks. Sixteen teams, boys, stay cheap. I'm doing a three box break instead of a case, so we can sell out fast. We should be able to sell quick. There's like two hundred some cards, all card ship. A lot of breakers don't ship all cards in this. We ship everything. Well, I thought, okay, there we go. No, no watermarks. Let's see. Okay, we good. All right, that's done. Let's close this. Are right, we good here? I figured three box breaks are gonna sell out faster, but I guess not. Well. I- it is probably a different time for you. It is a and different time, sold, actually. Um, That's okay. I wasn't even going to break heritage, to be honest. One is your, you know, one is, if we want to spread out more time, then getting these other times used to you being around a little bit to start out, too, will help. I mean, same with Robert. Days when we're going to do it in the morning or something. Yeah. Did you get a haircut? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what worries me though. Look, there ain't much left. <laughs> you got ripped off. Oh, I'm telling you. And then she turned my So beard. remember, when we do these labels, first thing we gotta go is always on design. Uh, no, actually, 
to data. Data, we always have to change this break number down here. So break 800, because that's what it says on top of the label. And then we just have to import the right file. I'll show you when we do it. Oh yeah, box. Oh yeah, okay. We have personals in the store too, guys. Yeah, look at this. This something I'm not sure I feel. This would be worth a laugh for you, so I brought this. This is what I got for my birthday. Date night ideas. <laughs> Cardio mobile. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, happy birthday. It was March. <laughs> it was, oh, that's the way to go. You, well, we know you didn't have any date nights because that's still unpacked. And you're hard, you're probably not checking either. No, bad. <laughs> that's funny. <coughs> 14 teams, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it's 11. Right. I'm missing some. Hold on a second. Here we got here. 3, 5, 7, 10, 13. I'm missing one team. Diamondbacks, we got Atlantic Braves, we got Orioles, we got. Did you put the teams back in? Yeah, put them back in. I took them back out. Chicago Cubbies, Reds, Detroit Tigers, Angels, Dodgers, Mets are gone. Yankees are gone. Oakland is. Where's Oakland? Oakland is gone. Giants are gone. Cardinals are gone. Texas Rangers are gone. Oh, maybe I do have 14. I just can't count. Well, drop the canvas closed. See this? Is your brother going to go to the auction? Uh, is that he going to have an auction? I think so. They're going to sell all that stuff off. Why does it say 14 spots? So what am I missing? Can I not count? One, two, oh, no, three. Oh, no, that's what I was missing. I, okay, I got it now. Never mind. Never mind. Thank you, thank you. Um, I don't know. I used to have a store in Tropicana. It was one of my first businesses. We stayed in uh, Tropicana in 1987 when they had the grand opening on the remodel. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Under a remodel. Yeah. I had a store in, like, the uh, early 2000s. Only time I've had a partnership in my life, I got ripped off when I was young. They bullied me. That's okay. You know, I've been to Vegas now the last four years, at least twice a year, and I usually stay down at South Point. The, there's a timeshare right beside it. We have timeshare, so I usually change. But, you know, I can't even think of where the Tropicana is now. It's in the corner of Tropicana. I know. That's I, but it, I never, Las Vegas Boulevard, yeah. I don't go down there anymore. I mean, there's so many. Oh, you, you just know? come in town and stay at the South Point? Well, I go to the race. Red Rock is nice. I, I remember when that opened up, I used to play that poker sometimes. Yes, it is. Red Rock is yep. cool. I like Vegas. I like Phoenix, but Vegas is definitely too much cleaner. Do you know how spell Heritage? Heritage. Yeah, I, I usually like staying at, uh, um, <laughs> at Bellagio. So I mentioned that. I have those timeshares, so me and my wife just looked at Cleveland for the national. Mm. See if I get a timeshare. Yeah. yeah. Sold out? <laughs> no, I think Ohio has like one timeshare. Uh. <laughs> it's flammable. <flannel. laughs> <laughs> and it's like a Great Wolf Lodge. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. Did you find good? I haven't even booked hotels or flights yet. So I really didn't look after that, so that's probably what we'll do is probably just spend a day or two up there and then. I want to spend some time going around that area. So I spent summers in uh, Cleveland up on, well, I was just looking. It's funny, when you're young, you could, I can still remember where the place was, and you can look on Lake Erie. Now we have the maps, and I went right to where my uncle and aunt live. You know, I haven't been there in, I don't know, over 50 years. <laughs> wow. Just memory? But just, well, there was a power plant there, and it was, you know, there was uh Oh, we sold one. what Nesta bought in. Nesta said, put me in, coach. Nesta said, put me in. Let's see, who did he get it going for? San Diego Padres. All right. How come he didn't pick up the Padres? Because I can't buy into my own breaks. Yeah, I guess you can. <laughs> I almost did this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? But, 
As long as you're not the main breaker, you can actually can. Yeah, if you're not uh, the one breaking the cards, you can if you want to. I told the wife I have got to move some cards right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> a, well, it should be I mean, okay. Baseball season's coming. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's here now, and, so. And actually, I am kind of excited. D King bought another one and also break 800. Some of the Padres right now. <laughs> We've got some... The Twins. The Twins are going to be really interesting. Bowman is going to be one of the top teams. Yep. Huge prospect, right? What's his name? So uh, should I order $150,000 worth of Bowman product? Um, I don't think you can't pretty much go wrong anymore with Bowman. Yeah, Bowman is super I hard. I love pop stuff. But you know what? I was watching a break the other day, and I know the volume on just flagship pop products is so high, but that's some pretty nice stuff. Oh no, Topps has a good I mean, Topps and Bowman. Even the base product for Topps this year looks pretty nice. Funko says do, do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Funko's financing Bargain Hunters breaks. No, I'm just kidding. I have plenty of money, but 150 G's is a lot. That's what they offered me, 150,000. 30 cases of hobby, 10 cases of jumbo, and 20 cases of... Oh no, 20 cases of hobby, 10 cases of jumbo, and 30 cases of um, HGA, which is three signatures only. But it's kind of expensive on the HDA. Like, we have to sell it for like six hundred bucks a box. That's two hundred auto. So that's something I was talking to a buddy yesterday. And is it? Yeah, we'll it we'll is. have it. Don't worry. And it's and with Bowman, you can be so far ahead on these prospects. Yeah, I mean, I mean you're three, four years ahead on on your prospects on Bowman. I mean, right now, I'm probably not going to sell any more sales cards. Yeah, it'd be kind of stupid to sell. You just I'm just going to put them away now. I, I got my money pretty much back out of the ones that I got. Yeah. So why not just bury them? Jackson Merrill. He's I'm, played good, too. And I might He's sell hitting. some Jackson Merrill cards because guess what? They were in my common box because nobody cared about nobody him. Nobody wants <laughs> I, I remember when we were pulling Jackson Merrill cards. Everybody was like, oh, damn. Yeah. And I'm like, dude's great ball player. So, um, did, you, did you see what Casey and Tatiana got me for uh, to improve the stream? No. You didn't? Oh, yes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh. So at least they let you get those kind. I've got a NASCAR helmet, but they put a safety bar in it, so you can't put it on. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I was looking, and it'll scratch it up, mess it up if I try to crack it off. <laughs> but I would wear it. What do you think? You got to pop the eyes up. Everyone wants to see the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have eye, eye contact with my uh, community. Yeah, Bowman is gonna be fun. Actually, I looked at some of this. This is not gonna be a lot of good stuff in there. So, in regular Bowman, obviously, you got all the rookies, you got all the prospects. Ethan Salas signs in it again. Obviously. Obviously. Good Hi, morning. how are, are you? you? Good, good. So nice to have people at work with me. Because usually, like, oh, you, you cut your hair. No, I didn't. You didn't? Okay, you combed your hair. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you sit down here? You guys sell the breaks. And I text message your phone number and try. I already him. called. What'd they say? So, um, it's gonna come either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, okay, well that's good. And will they call? Did they tell us to call? Will they call us first, or did you tell them just yeah, to leave it at the? My, no, I gave them my phone number and I told them to call me because I'm like, can you just drop it off? And they're like, no, we need signature. Yeah, because it's like a five thousand dollar pallet. Yeah, it's I'm like, go ahead, steal the cardboard. <laughs> no, don't go ahead. It's five thousand dollars. <laughs> But, um, okay, so they call us, okay. Cardboard How's game. everybody doing this morning? Okay, well, you can sit down. I'm going to go fill out some tops break No, forms. I'm okay. I I'm, I'm. You just said, how's everybody doing this morning? I mean, they're not buying teams for me yet. I still got 14 spots to go. Maybe what are you guys doing? One, two, Don't sleep on it. It's a great opportunity. What are we selling them at? A actually, they're so we're doing, inexpensive. we're doing three box breaks, which is 200 some cards to make them inexpensive. Here's the break from uh, the other day. It's only like two or three customers and Bill. So Bill's stuff put aside. I want to see what he buys today. He bought into this break, but I don't know if he's going to do any more Sterling. He's not here right now. Boy, those Ellie's yeah, were nice. Oh, those Ellie's were those really nice. Those are nice. Yeah, he was happy. That, that made it good. <laughs> two in one case. It's so funny how... Oh, they were pretty patches, too. Well, I yeah. know there were a lot of nice cards in those, those but, two yeah. cases. Both <laughs> those were... So the Ellie's the most valuable card. Oh, the Nolan... Mm -hmm. I'm going to order some really good chairs, too, also. Which That's Ellie? The Ellie, the one that had four color patches? I mean, four patches? It was like three bubbles. Yeah, that does have a ten, yeah. Because then he also got a second one that was a square. Funko Network just took another one. So, I, I, like, I'm doing... Uh, do you just pick up Cleveland? 
I'm doing three box breaks, so the buy-in is cheaper for everybody, so we can fill breaks faster, hopefully. But I mean, it's, a friend. Yeah. yeah, I'm still trying to find a checklist. Uh, I, I did have it pulled up. Do you want me to be on camera? You can if you want to. I just need to put lipstick on. I'm here. I, I put a lipstick. It doesn't make a problem. I'm never here until I put on a lipstick. I put my beard oil in this morning. Mm. Well, I have to I have to do... Uh, Look at how tired Renee is, everybody. Uh, like He's cool. not a not morning person. <laughs> what time did you go to sleep at? Yeah, fun. I already put him in. Uh, probably about 4 o'clock and I woke up at 8, 10. Why are you such a freshman? Because, you know what, I was like, it's time to do crack, maybe. I don't know. I addicted to cards. I know, I just came in early to see how it does early. I mean, I usually like breaking in the afternoon more, but we do have a lot of customer base on the East Coast, so. And then let's see, like, I honestly, I really don't want to break three box heritage. That's, like, kind of almost. It's so good for you not to get your sleep. Well, but I got life insurance, so you'll be happy. Then you can get you a full point. You don't have enough. Oh. He only has 150000 I mean, that was. I live in San Diego. That's not enough money. Oh, you got the warehouse, you got the safe, you got the accounts, and you got all the shit in the warehouse. You'll be fine. I'd rather have my husband. This is the guy that was on Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars? Storage Wars? Oh, you're the guy from Storage Wars. Yes, I am, I am. <laughs> now you have to buy into the break, Jeff. Jiffy. I am the guy from Storage Wars. The good. You know, when, you, when, when we talk like that, let's refer, uh, uh, let's, re let's refer us to good looking guy from Storage Wars. I guess I shouldn't have given you a coffee at like 8 o'clock at night. You Nest were about like another slowly team. drinking it. No, because, do you see how much I got done in the warehouse? No. That's it's already left. I mean, you were like pouting like we left you like with half the warehouse like What are you talking about? Who was pouting? You were pouting last night. You were like, oh my god. I'm like... Uh, we have school in the morning. We gotta no, go. No, I wanted you to go. Is it, is it okay? I should have came up and played. Huh? I should have came up and played. I love working where else. <laughs> no, it's like, well, actually, so I started going through. We bought all these, uh, these I just started opening up some boxes. Glass, I'll go dig it out of the trash. We threw a whole bunch of vintage glass so, away. It's just not worth anything. So that's my other collection is bottles and glass. Oh, you, I, I, I told you I went out house digging before, right, for bottles? I have <laughs> Yeah, it's like when I was young. So I've got, I'll bet I have a thousand, uh, probably 5,000 bottles on the side of my house right now down in San Diego. I'm getting, there's a bottle show coming up in June. I'm going to do a bottle show. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah. I've got medicine bottles. So my wife has a very expensive china cabinet. <laughs> and it's full of medicine bottles. That's funny. <laughs> That's the only, I collected that. And yeah, but go to bottle stuff. shows and pay the ass. You have to carry all that heavy ass that's bottles. Heavy. Yeah, but geez, I, I'd be so glad to get rid of some bottles. <laughs> and and really, some so another interesting thing. I haven't been to a bottle show, but I was talking to a guy a couple months ago at a card show that did bottle, or been to bottle shows and collects those. What I didn't think about is I've got all the um, East Coast stuff. Uh, mm. You guys don't see that out here. So Coca Cola. I don't know how many bottling bottling facilities there are for Coca Cola. Probably a thousand or more. Huh. All these little towns all across America had different places where they made the bottles. So then, when you, if you look at the bottom of a Coke bottle, it have the name of the town on it. Oh. So I think I've got three hundred different ones. <laughs> That's <laughs> just. Funny. And where's the bottle show? Is it in San Diego? Yeah, it's gonna be uh, surprise me because when I first came here, I was interested and. You know, a lot of the older groups that had monthly meetings quit doing their meetings because of COVID. It's been four years since they've had a meeting. That's oh, funny. Wow. So now but the average to, age of bottle collection oh, is I'm also sure. 87. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to be the young buck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the young buck. This is the only collectible Rick King goes to and like, who let the kid in? <laughs> All right, guys, 12 spots to go. What do you think? Can we sell them? Can we break them? Or should we just kick it? And I'll go fill out some tops forms. They're waiting for me. What's left? There's only cheap teams left. White Sox, Rockies, Astros. Where's Gigi when you need him? Kansas City, <laughs> Miami Marlins, Brewers, Pirates. That's actually I don't, close. Think, I don't think Skeens is in this, is he? I think he looked the other day. Yeah, he's, he's not on the MLB roster yet, so. <sighs> I can't wait to open that. As I'm eating carbohydrates, they said to increase your health would be stress, really. 
releasing stress. I have lots of stress, so I should be good there. Carbohydrates, you eat a lot of carbohydrates. So I'm healthy. I think fat content, which if I cook for you, then I try to lower the fat. Like, good healthy fats, avocado, um, olive oil, and then uh, and then they said sleep. Well, I would. These are the things that... Guys, can you please <laughs> buy out this break so I can get busy breaking? Otherwise, I'm going to have to have a conversation about my health. Well, I had my heart attack, and they said it was cigarettes, caffeine, and stress. And I said, okay, if I eliminate 33% of that, I'll only <laughs> <laughs> another couple heart attacks, maybe? I try not to stress about stuff. Oh, my God. Apparently it is, Bobby. He's a stress monger. I'm like, dude, like, like relax. Don't know your stress is about stuff that could happen. I'm like. <laughs> yes, an intervention. Intervention. There's just a man that's prepared. <laughs> when I'm in a situation, I think of 10 different possible outcomes. So I'm prepared for each 10. Yeah, that's not good for you. So oh, yeah. I'm usually, I do too. I don't think things, and but I don't think I've ever been prepared to wake up and have a NASCAR card sold. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look at my email three times, and I can't be right. Yeah, well, you got to get an email in the morning. Sorry, Somebody misclicked. Canceled. My, my phone it. bought it. <laughs> All right, I guess, do you guys want to stay here, see if you can sell okay, these last no, ones? No, I'll, I'll come back in just one second. Where? I just put my dishes down. Let me put on my lipstick. What else we got left? 12 teams left. Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. I mean, it's, it, every spot is under 20 bucks. All the high-end spots sold already. Seattle. Um, although, I, man, I love Julio Rodriguez, but they have got to start him two months earlier in spring training. My kid excuses my fate. What's his yes. product? Yes. Yeah. What's up, Robbie? We're doing three hobby boxes of Heritage Baseball. It just came out today. We ship all cards. So for this money, there's actually 600 cards in it. It's the remake of the 1975 cards in Heritage with today's players. It's actually a cool product. And I'm doing three box breaks. So the buying is pretty cheap. That's a cool looking card, Hank Aaron, Freddie Freeman, Ronald Kuna. That's cool. Yeah. There are some really Triple cool Triple relic. relic. That's got to be some cool stuff in there, boys. A trout autograph, relic. Trout auto's going to be good, yeah. So I saw somebody pull late well, and, Ichiro. And the, um, like you were saying, Soto's first Yankee card and um, the Gambler's first Dodger card. <laughs> That's cool. The Gambler. <laughs> no, he had a Dodger card in that tribute. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he also had one in Series 1. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't do any Series 1. didn't even watch any Series 1 this year. And then when I did see it, I was like, oh, that, that actually looks pretty decent. Yeah. I, I didn't eat it. I was out of town, so I didn't even order it. We're going to order a lot of Bowman. And then so when, so but this Monday, I'm going to build the second studio, rebuild studio, but technically rebuild Studio 1. And then we're going to have uh, Series 1 or... Oh, I read Siri, uh, yeah, oh. Series 1 and Ass. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, it's Ass. Yeah, I, I'm usually not that excited about Series 1. I was like, how do we get to the Ass jokes? One hour, there are just uh, a lot of more. Just so many base cards anymore. I like stuff, honestly, like Museum, Inception, Tribute. I'm really into those products. I'm actually surprisingly oh. liking this Heritage stuff. Bowman, yeah, Bowman is cool. I wonder if Langford is going to be in Bowman. I don't think the checklist is that. If he's in Bowman, that's going to be great. What about the other kid? You know, he's out hitting Langford, too. God, I keep forgetting the kid's name. But he's Langford. Texas. Uh, I, I know who you're talking about. Um, he's got a higher average, I think, right now. <laughs> but Langford's probably just. Not. Probably not. I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because he's on the main roster. Yeah, but they have rookies on the main roster. There's got to be a bunch of rookies in there. Bowman, well, the, this Bowman product has rookies, right? Yeah, I'll go a minute. Check this. Robbie bought into it. 11 spots to go, boys and girls. Who did Robbie pick up? The Royals. Nice. Oh, Seattle has a big checklist. <laughs> I'm surprised Seattle's there. Seattle's always a great team to have with uh, Julio Rodriguez. Well, you know what? Uh, Julio is not in this. Wow. He's not in Heritage? <laughs> That's interesting. That's kind of funny. Hmm. 
So who's the big hitch for there? Although Ty France is the one leading the team right now, Kyle Riley. Um, yeah, three short France. What about the Padres? One night they just kill and the next night they don't know how to play baseball. Well, I mean, they're going to struggle with their pitching. I mean, they just, we don't have, you know, there's, they just don't have those established pitchers right now. But also our offense, I mean, one night they get 15 points, then they can get a run. Yeah. It's very depressing. 11 teams left, boys. I know, but the one thing that I think good that the Padres got going for them right now is the people who are hitting. Yeah, no, I the mean, bats crushed. Cronin's worth, you know. Yeah. Everybody's like, man, we just need to bench him. He ain't worth two cents last year. Well, all of a sudden, wow, we can take this guy out. Yeah. And, he, and uh, Merrill is hitting good. Merrill. Not a base hits. Igor and Rosario beating the crap out of Camposano. I mean, guys that are leading the team right now are really just our backup players. Huh. So imagine Manny starting to get better. You know, he, that double last night was, I think, full power for Manny finally. Yeah, oh, he I'm is. Loving Merrill, that's, and oh yeah, you like Bowman. You probably got all kinds of Merrill first that you were disappointed to hit, and now you start like, oh, where's my Merrill? Oh, I, I got yeah. Well, so and again because Bowman is further back, I think there were okay. Merrill cards yeah. two years ago, weren't there? Yeah, I'm like, I don't I mean, think he was. Um, <laughs> this wasn't his Bowman first this year. No, but, it wasn't. But, but still, he was heavy on autos. He was heavy so, in autos, and he was also heavy in autos and Bowman's best this year. So and everybody's like, damn, Jackson Merrill. Well, what's funny is Phoenix, so I went over there for the show and had a couple of my Jackson Merrill autographs out, and I didn't comp them, I didn't do nothing, I, but I knew they weren't going for 50 bucks. But I didn't budge, I put two of them out, didn't budge, I sold them both for 50 bucks. Oh, you did? And I'm like, you guys are willing to buy a Salus card, second year autograph, for 150 but this is the starting center fielder for the Padres right now. No, he's playing really and, good. And, and he's hitting. Robbie got another one. The Jays. The Jays. Blue Jays off the board. Nice, Robbie. Thank yeah, you. Just looking at them. Down to 10 teams, boys. 10 teams and we rep. Toronto has a three card with Tatis, Salvador, and Vladdy. That's nice. That's very nice. That's a base card. But Tatis? With Tatis? <laughs> oh. Tatis, yeah, so we have to. Perez and Vlad. Well, it's. We'll have to randomize that. But let's see if it's under. Astros are loaded. Yeah, Astros are, seem like loaded. Astros were loaded in tribute. Astros was such a good buy in tribute. We still have three cases with those. We need to do some mixes. I don't know. Astros was a good team in tribute. Yankees were hard in tribute. We ripped Sterling. I don't know if you were here, Funko Network. We did Sterling the other day, two cases. That's a pretty product. Sterling is a pretty product. Well, see, I have a taste for Sterling, but... Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, Dodgers were kings in tribute. No, it's uh, it's almost... I, I, I think if you buy into 10 tribute breaks and you take Dodgers every time, you're definitely coming out ahead. It, it, it's rare that... I, I don't even know. Did the Dodgers even ever skunk? I don't even think they ever skunked. Mm -hmm. I think they, they had breaks where they only hit a couple of cards. Nothing major, but, like, Dodgers are so oh, hot yeah. in that product. They were in, uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, yeah, you got that for me, right, Funko? We we pulled the Re Yama Redemption, right? Yep. I'm pretty the sure. The Chrome Black was the other one the Dodgers were. Man, those things hit big in that. The, um, yeah, Topps Chrome Black is coming out tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow, next week, Wednesday. Yeah. I got 20 cases of that. I, I like could have got 50 cases, but the problem is, I don't know. I probably should have just bought 50 cases. I don't know. We'll see. Well, how was your trip? My trip? Yeah. Oh, it was good. We won playing poker. We won into tournaments. We won into cash games. Getting ready for ACR Venom tournament. Probably won in the weather. But it was pretty nice. Or? Yeah, it was sunny. It was nice. I was mainly in the poker room, to be honest. To Casey played one day of poker and then the rest they went to like zip lining and I went one day with them to like a beach hotel and we stopped at this crocodile bridge. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. 700, 700 pound crocodiles just kicking it. <laughs> kind of crazy actually. Well, we I mean, 
our timeshares. We were on the East Coast, so we went to North Carolina, South Carolina all the time, uh -huh. and they would always have these signs of timeshares, watch out for gators. I'm there like the fourth year, and I'm mad, man. I ain't seen a gator. That's false advertising. <laughs> I ain't seen a gator. So my, um, that's back when I was still smoking cigarettes, so I would get up in the morning, grab a cup of coffee and a cigarette and go out in front of the fishing line. I love to fish. Yeah. So I'm out there and my daughter-in-law comes out and all of a sudden, 200 yards out, a gator pops up. I'm like, look, there's a gator. Oh man, she, she starts backing up. I grab my fishing pole and I run around, hit that gator right between the eyes. He came swimming at us, you ought to see her run. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. I can run him. I can outrun him in the water, but once yeah. <laughs> he hits the ground, I'm out of there. Get pretty fast to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so Washington, uh, that's a sleeper team, the Nationals. Soto all over the Nationals. <laughs> that's Juan Soto. Juan Soto is all over the Nationals. He has a, a base card, but he's got a '73 mint card. He's got a candy lid. He's got comic. Box loader, stamp. That's funny. Chrome. Why are they still putting nationals? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he already he's in the next team. He's when we. <laughs> That's funny how those days sometimes. Is he in the Padres? <laughs> Bet he's in the Padres too. In the Nationals, and it's gonna be the Yankees. Yeah, he does have a Yankees card. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta, you, you so that's gonna be a hard player break on Soto. Then. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually that's the play to buy. Oh, he's still got Wander in there. That's funny. Oh, you can hit Wander Franco. Yes. That sucks. I mean, what? And how many sets have they left him out of now? Come on, guys. <laughs> Some guy tops is a bitch, big, um, <laughs> not a bitch. <laughs> It's a big Wanda Franco collectors like I gotta get my Wanda. <laughs> gotta keep him in there. Gotta in keep the him in there. Him. Maybe he'll start playing with Venezuela ball or something. I don't. I don't know. Have we had any updates on him? Um. Yeah, they didn't. Um, yeah, they did get burned. It's not even funny. Oh, it's yeah, no, I know for sure. Funko Network. That really well, does suck. Yeah. That's what worries me about all players. I, I mean, mean, it can happen any time. Thankfully, Ja, thankfully, you know. <laughs> but what do you mean, thankfully? He's like, he's he's been out. Well, but I think, you know, uh, you know some of his stuff will come back a little bit. No, he's a great play. I mean, look at Shrike. Shrike buys a lot of uh, Rashid Rice. Mm -hmm. And Rashid Rice now is like, I mean, he just got, you know, big trouble. So let's see. We talked about that yesterday driving home. I think he might get suspended for the season. What did he do wrong? Street racing and like hit into like three, four cars. Luckily, oh, he didn't kill anybody, but. I would be surprised if he's facing some felony charges. Well, he's, yeah, I'm sure. I mean. I, yeah, I mean, and, and again, I mean. I don't think how the league is just going to look the other way with what happened with Henry Rhodes. No. Well, yeah, because you kind of are a role model in like what you do. Not only that, no, but they crashed, but they got out of the car, and then they just walked away. He just left. But you know and when. People are like all videotaping it. And, and supposedly. Gather up a bunch of guns out of a car, yeah, and carry them away. Dead um, stolen property in a car. <laughs> I mean, what a Corvette and a Lamborghini. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and people were hurt, so. Um, oh, people got. But you know, to me, one of the sad parts, and now I think we're making it even worse for these young kids. They're not Can young you, kids; they're thugs. I mean, no offense. Yeah, that's you well, they are. You know right and wrong, but yeah. still, you give a young kid that kind of money, and and we've just seen it over and over and over again. And now we're going to start giving it to them in the freshman year of Look, college. just because you're really good at sports doesn't make you a good human being. If you get oh, caught in a car with stolen property, they just went a charity event. Okay? Oh, so, I mean, let's, let's just be honest. Everybody's always like, oh, don't say anything because I'm a fan, you know? Oh, yeah, it's I like, just... they go to a charity event. They steal, like, one of the main prices that's an auction. So, they, those were from the car. They stole? They stole the shoes that were signed by some right. legend, okay? Then they have guns in the car. They have drugs in the car. They street race. And crashed several wheeling. And that the car is, was rented, wasn't it? That doesn't matter if it's rented but, or not, you know. But it's like that is not a good human being. I don't care what they say. I don't care how fast he can catch a football, how many touchdowns he scores, how Why? far he gets the ball. Why? Because everybody knows right from wrong. Yeah, that's just a shitty person. Mm -hmm. The people that they hit, they got lucky. It was in a freeway, and I was talking about Shrike. The only reason oh, yeah. they didn't kill anybody. The difference with Henry Rooks, he went 115 miles into somebody sitting in a light. Soft. Impact. 
you know, they impacted people that were probably going 60, 70 miles themselves. So that, that helped with the impact. Yep. Yep. You know, it, it, if that would have been reversed and, it, and they do it and somebody was stopped for some reason on the freeway, you would have another NFL player killing a person. So if the NFL doesn't, like, suspend him for at least a season, that'd just be... Then they just say, it's like, look, we're, we're stars. We're, we, we're good with catching balls. We can pretty much do whatever we want to. And if we take somebody's life, we take somebody's life. That's just part of entertaining us. You know? I think it's yeah. bullshit. Well, yeah, you have to sign. Don't you have to sign, like, a moral clause of, like, hey... Well, of course you have contracts, but it's like, you know, no, I don't think they have a moral. Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> I, I have it at 80. Yeah, we, we well, have it with television. Well, I'm curious about politicians. Uh, <laughs> you do? So I, well, I ran for politics. Or I always thought it was funny. It you was, ran for politics? Yeah, I ran for the House Delicates in West Virginia. How'd that go? Um, I actually did pretty well for, so <laughs> I actually ran against a very Miss West Virginia. Oh, yeah. The most popular person in her potter party, and I just showed up one day and said, you know what? I want to do this. <laughs> Under pallet for the first third, presidential race. Third. <laughs> Shrike is all quiet. He's like, do you not talk about my little ricey. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very interesting. It was eye-opening. To, to run and see the inside. Uh, Shipping. <laughs> Uh, so that sucks because Shrike has a lot of risky growth. And I think he'll be okay, you know. Hopefully he freaking learns from this. How old is he? He's well, young. He's only like 22 or so. As something. long as he doesn't have some felony charges and then going to jail, <laughs> might not. You know, and... That's crazy that you think that's young. I'm thinking he's like 18 or 19. No, like, he's like 20. I don't know, maybe because I'm a girl, like 22 well, is so old. Uh, he's young and enough. He can get suspended for season and come back still have a great career. As long as he like dedicates himself in that off season that he has, and just kicks ass, right? Yeah. But um, I mean, who knows if he if he decides to go to uh, Aaron Hernandez route, he's probably gonna shoot somebody. Right. Yeah, he has, to continue, he has to continue. Yeah, continue not to be an idiot. Yeah. You gotta learn from this, and then so many of them don't. And that's you know, when you said role model. That's you know, everybody really got on to Charles Barkley. But remember when he said, "I'm no role model." Yeah. <laughs> but you think back, really, Charles Barkley really didn't do anything. <laughs> that was that bad. But the worst thing I can remember with <laughs> Charles Barkley, and I'm a Suns fan, is that he got like some fan wanted to fight him in a bar, and you can remember <laughs> fight him. Remember right. that. But he didn't go in the freeway 120. All right. It is very dangerous, Robbie, for sure. So do you remember the football player Pac-Man Jones? Oh yeah, he was a good fellow. He... So that was a West Virginia. That was probably one of the top ten West Virginia University players that go to pro football. So. Uh. But man, even like the third or fourth time I'm even a Mountaineer fan going, jeez, just put him out of the league. Don't let the guy play. <laughs> yeah, he used to get in trouble all the time for oh, like crazy stuff, right? Shooting in a bar and I mean <laughs> it was I think when he went with Dallas he went didn't he go to Dallas and they gave him like a private security guard that has to be with him like yeah, basically twenty four seven? And the guard got in trouble with him too. Oh he did? I mean the, the kid <laughs> the guard got in trouble with him. Yes, and he ended up in Cincinnati. I mean the kid got like five extra chances. Again, a great ball player, but <laughs> <laughs> now I remember Pac-Man Jones. <laughs> Kill me, because we're so excited if we even get a player thought of him. Football or basketball from WWE. Oh, but you, oh, that's funny. And there he goes, first round, big pick. Like, yes. And I think before he even made the team, he got... Why did you throw the popcorn away? Oh, because it was just an emergency at the time. Yeah, no, because now, ever since somebody who buys with us a lot said something about the box being a little crushed because I just so everybody knows oh, somebody... lots of times I box and then double box but now I use popcorn to keep the outer box from collapsing they said like one side got collapsed a little okay you guys see that Renee is falling Why don't asleep we that must be a question <laughs> for you no on the popcorn oh is it butter or cheddar popcorn that's really cool. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> See, he's tired. Uh, he wouldn't have had to think about that. I was like, that. what are you guys saying <laughs> about? Butter. <laughs> Ten yeah. teams left, guys. So Soto is not on the Padres. That's funny. <laughs> he's in the Yankees. <laughs> and the Nationals. <laughs> Nationals. Yeah, so save popcorn. If you order anything and you get popcorn you don't want it, I'll take your popcorn. Yep. I'll trade you for some other kind of supply. No, my Why don't we just buy some popcorn? My NASCAR <laughs> guys think I abandoned them because I haven't been buying these brakes, but 
You know, oh, hold on one second. Um, Sir? I ordered the two desks for the studio number one, so they should get delivered tomorrow. Oh, I'm so sorry. They called while I was downstairs putting on my lipstick. That's what took so long. Is that they are coming and they're delivering today? Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry, did I forget to mention that? You I'm tired. To <laughs> I'm not used to people being at work with me. I'm like, this is so nice and refreshing. It sucks. I want to go back to bed. And you know what? Oh. I only got up early to see how this would work early. And I did a three box break just to see what happens if we do like a low entry point. And well, we're still I'm, sitting for 10. I, and I should have done the checklist a little better. That's okay. Um, pirates. How about Willie Stargill cut signature Clemente all over this one too? Yeah, that's going to be cool. Um, Venezuelan stems for Robert Clemente. Man. Can you see there when I go throughout the recycling? Cruise and Gibran. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, I, I need to fill out some top sheet. I mean, if we're not selling out right away, I'm going to go do paperwork. Uh, I know, but like, because I'm making a mess right here. And Tops has to fill, it has me like eight hours filling out break information. Dave Parker. Autograph. Wow, that is, Pike got a lot. Oversized 73 Clemente. Then in the auto. Fernando. I'll be right back. Let me go throw out recycling. I'm going to start going. There's a. Another card that I have to randomize, probably. Yeah, there's got to be a bunch of <laughs> randomizations. No, I think there's only two that I've seen so far looking through the list. Oh, that's but good. Washington and the Pirates are very good. Um, <sighs> Philadelphia. That's going to be a three on Monday, then, I think. Harper. Price Harper is great. We pulled Price Harper and Sterling, too. That was a cool card. That was a cool case with Sterling, Ryan, and two Ellie Dela Cruz. Four to eight cards were bangers. I don't even remember what the other four cards were. See, Boston had the... Um, Reunion of the championship, and the player that was missing was Wakefield. Did you see Tim Wakefield and his wife pass away? No. Man, what a sad story. So he was in the Pirates where he came up, and he was a knuckleballer. Tim Wakefield he won championship with Boston, but um, he got cancer, brain cancer, I believe it was. Passed away. They got young kids, I mean, 18, 19, 20 years old. That's serious. Um, four or five months later, she got cancer and passed away. Well, that's crazy. Um, so they had the thing last night and I think the girl one of the girls came out and threw up first pitch that's crazy it's funny how fast life goes right it's when yeah, my dad passed away it made you it made you realize because he was always like super high energy and stuff and all of a sudden like bam thank you very much I wish I could remember that saying there's the world increases the world increases by a million times when your dad Something, something like that. What do you mean the world? It was. I can't remember what the story. Fuck with that one. Took another one. All right, down to nine. What do you mean? What, what's what's um, what's the meaning supposed to be of it? Well, because now all of a sudden you don't have anybody else. I you, mean, I have Casey and Tatiana, but it is oh, different. I do too, but it's you don't have that other guy. Yeah. I was very lucky that my dad and my uncle were two years apart, and I was really close with my uncle. When Dad passed, so I had my uncle. But I felt that all over again. I lost my uncle this last year. <laughs> I was like, dang it. Yeah. But, but you do. You we have to have, be happy with every day we have because we don't know. We don't know what the next day brings here. No. I never thought I'd experience some of the things as a pastor that I did. It oh, because you can't console sure, everybody, right? Sure, softened your heart. You sure become an awfully soft person. That's good. That little dog that I told you of ours. She was so sick. I mean, she's probably 18. We gave her seven years as a rescue. She died in my lap that night. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm 62 years old and crying like a baby over a blind toothless chihuahua that ate in my guts most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, it's that difference in the hard heart and the soft heart. Yeah. Um, Honestly, when my mom died, I don't think I cried for like a year. When my dad, I cried a lot for a while. But it's sad as much as life. Yep. Big old circle. Yeah, and then, you know, as a man, it's that catch-22, right? Like, I've always been a very hard-working man, but then, like, you know, you got to try to find that balance to work hard, but then also try to give a better life to your kids than you had a better start, right? So it's like, honestly, I don't really care about making money anymore. Like, I have enough, and it doesn't even matter. Like, I, I've had, in my, I had, like, 50 bucks on my bank account and 500,000, you know, more in different assets. It, it seems like my day-to-day -day attitude doesn't really change. 
that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, so I'd be I, happy loading up my pickup with a trailer in the back and me and the wife taking off and enjoying the world. Yeah. There's so much in America I haven't seen yet. So much I have seen, but still. And there's a lot to be said for happiness. It's it's so hard to get and uh, I'm, happy. No, I'm happy doing the things we're doing right now. No, it's fun to do carts. Yeah, I would. But I wouldn't do anything that I really didn't want to do. I mean, unless you pay me a crazy amount of money, but that's yeah, kind of fun. I think about this last night. There's not many places in the country that I can actually describe to people where to go and give them 20 ideas. But I go on a mission trip, and I've been now eight or nine times to Gallup, New Mexico, to the uh, Navajo Nation. A buddy of mine is on a cross country trip right now. I gave him 11 different places to go. He sent me a note last night. Man, it was amazing, all those places that he told me. I, you know, I just never spent any more than a week at a time there. But we get to go out and we get to see all those cool places. We get Four Corners, um, Monument Valley, uh, all those really historic national park sites. That's cool. Um, I buy national passes every year. And we only end up going to one. I bought it this time in Antietam. But I was by the yearly pass just to support him. So I'm now, because um, last two years ago, the veterans, they finally gave us gold passes. So I have. Oh, for free? Yep. Um, now, something I've encouraged my kids to do, and I'll tell you guys, I encourage you to do it too, support our national parks. They have um, a book that lists all the national parks, and you can go to the national park and get a stamp in your book. Hmm. And never probably worth anything, but for me, it's just kind of cool. So my kids both have. We one. know who was who was high in the life in the fifties, because that's that what you guys stamps well, no. and everything. Actually, they just did this. Um, I just bought that two years ago, and what's really interesting is then when I went to, so I went back to Ohio to see my son in Cincinnati, and just ended up bringing that a book for him, but I brought mine, and I was looking through. And I was like, oh, I think it's uh, President Taffis from Cincinnati. There's a national park at his house and stuff. So. Oh. Went in and checked it out. It's probably not, you know, I wouldn't make a special trip to Cincinnati to see that place. But when I was there, it was like, that was a really cool half day that we spent going through that. And I we, actually, we actually, and I forgot where it was. So we were, I was at some meet and greet. Shoot, where do I think? We might have been in Kansas, actually. No, that's, that can't be it because that's not close enough. I don't know, somehow we started driving over to the Iowa border. Mm -hmm. Sioux City, Iowa, yeah, to the Iowa border. And right before the Iowa border, whatever state we were in, which it might have been Kansas, I'm not sure. Uh, actually, it might have been Michigan. No, maybe I, I don't know. I've just done a lot of meeting grades. I don't remember somewhere, but we we came to a small city where President Grant was from, so right. just a war general. Yeah. That was pretty cool, actually. Yeah. That was a fun day. And then we crossed the Mississippi River. Where were we? That must have been Kansas, right? Probably must have been a Kansas City meet and greet. So we went to Adam oh, was meet and greet in Oklahoma, but we flew into Kansas. That was a really cool day. Nine teams, boys. Should be cheap. Should be easy to get in. Pirates have a great checklist. Nationals. At nine bucks, the Nationals is a good deal, boys. Yeah, I like breaking night times. Like, I think, like, a lot of the breaks, I'm going to have you and Robert do a lot of day breaks, and I'm just, my main photo is going to be <coughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night breaks. Day breaks are kind of draggy on here, to be honest. Well, and if, um, some of that, you can look around at some of the other guys on here. Something I've noticed is if I put in Formula One, I go in, and usually the guys are just breaking mass or um, baseball. Seems like Fanatics has more of a. You don't have to specialize your show as much. Well, it's more general, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you really do, on the other, get kind of painted in. I have no baseball following. <laughs> huh. I have NASCAR following. Yeah, you build it pretty fast. I yeah. mean, we have 27 viewers. Layton is the biggest with 43. Yeah, and maybe, you know, maybe three boxes wasn't enough. Maybe it was. No, he's doing three boxes too. That he actually filled a bunch of breaks. Mm -hmm. I mean, most people that are doing cases, they're not shipping all carts. So I'd rather do three box, ship all carts. But again, I really don't care if these sell or not. I'm just kind of doing this just to do them. Um, I bought the, these five cases. I only bought five cases, and I bought them to give them away. So like when we do bigger breaks, like. If we do Bowman breaks, but Bowman's is kind of hard, but 
Like if we do breaks where they just swift, we'll set up a pack of heritage. Well, and, uh, and some of those are also good fillers when you get some of those. Yeah, put in one box of heritage. Expensive packs that do like a box of Christina box. I, I would do that now, but I mean it's just kind of dead. So. But yeah, I, don't no. I like Christina. That's um, I don't. I don't know. I'll see down the road how it does. So far, I've sold a lot of Christine singles, but doesn't seem to be flying off the shelves. What do you mean? The, the Christine cards. You mean in a break or loose? Loose. Oh, I like Christine. I do too. That's a beautiful card. I really like that style. I like. I like products like, but I look different. I look at everything from a breaker's point of view. You know, yeah. like the stuff that I PC and like I don't really care about price. A lot, a lot of people are so worried about the prices. Right. If I like it, I really don't care. So right. it doesn't matter. I mean, as long as I can afford to buy it. But it's like, Christine is, um, like, I like it from a breaker's point of view because that three autographs, all the relics, I feel like my customers got really good value out of Christine. Right. And they weren't that expensive. That's why I'm worried about Bowman HDA. I mean, it's nice, but at 600 bucks a box, you're basically paying 200, 200 bucks an auto, you know? So if you got a scrub. What's up, Nightbot? Right. Why don't you get in this break, Nightbot? I am tired. I only slept like four hours. I came on early just to see what happens if I break early on Fanatics just to give it a try. Normally I don't start, like I usually come on in the afternoon. And I was working till like, I don't know, almost two in the morning yesterday and then go to bed till four. That's it, pound the coffee, Renee. Okay, doctor. I'll pound the coffee. I know, almost at 4 o'clock, it's like, screwed up, we're scheduling the break to 1. Nine teams to go, guys, until we do our first break. That's the only thing that's hard about Fanatics. It just takes so long to fill breaks on this platform. And, like, I'm, like, a super high-energy guy, so I feed right. up energy, you know? Yep. Tough. So when I'm tired and when I'm feeling, I'm just like, all right, I'm just thinking I should just go to sleep. Houston has a big checklist. Altuve all over. Bregman. We don't want to rook yet. Houston this year. Hmm. White Sox, man, they're off to a bad start. What's their record? I think they've only won one game. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's it. It's always Frank Thomas. <laughs> Actually, San Diego's not that bad at 500, just under 500. Yeah, I mean, I, they... Two White Sox, nine, two yeah. and nine, that's yeah, tough. Yeah, got their second win. Right? So. Rockies are doing good, right? Uh, and Dodgers are killing it. Well, as I mean, expected. <laughs> Marlins are 111. Ikes. Yeah. Yeah. The Yankees, I'm sure, are good off to a good start. Last time I checked, they were doing really good. Yeah, I mean, the, this West Division with Padres and Dodgers. We're not going to beat the Dodgers, though. Well, and Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Tough. And we're starting with. San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. And we gave him our best pitcher and said, hey, we didn't really sweep you guys last year. Take our best pitcher. And like, the Pirates are playing some good ball right now, sure. <laughs> and that's, I'm surprised they're still sitting there. That's a really good, that uh, Pirates are playing some ball right now. Nine teams left. Yeah, the Brewers are playing well, too. Yeah, I saw that. I but it's still to. super early. I'm trying to keep up with the rookies that are hitting. There's a lot of young guys who are really hitting the cover off the ball right now. You know what? I wonder, let's see, is anybody playing right now? I should subscribe to MLB on YouTube. Oh, I thought about that. <laughs> I know you don't like music, but you're not doing sports in the background. Well, you can't, that you, that can't, you can't air it because of just copyright right. laws and stuff. I mean, I know people are doing it, oh, but yeah. they just... Oh, I 
Like, I don't really break laws like that because you will end up getting sued. So guys do um, breaks on during the NASCAR race, and I don't like them just because I'd rather watch the race. <laughs> yeah, and I, I want mean, to watch my cars get broke during the race. Just the legal implications that can come out of it. People are just stupid. They just like they, everybody thinks, oh, I'm just going to claim uh, ignorance. I'm like, okay, that's going to work. Cardinals playing Phillies right now. Yeah, see that. Yeah. Cardinals are losing. Two to one. It says end. Oh, yeah, end of second Steer. inning. Spencer Steer for Cincinnati is having a really good start this season. Except like to dodge a game of. <coughs> so it's like. Otani not playing there? Mm, Otani? Yeah. He's starting. Yeah. 0 for 1. 328. Look at Mookie. Betts is off to a good start this year. Yeah, this um, card's. He says four home runs. Yeah, he's he's up there. <laughs> Did you see the other night? Um, All right, you know what? I'm gonna let you sell here. So you know what to look for. Mark it off, right? So just keep when people come answer questions. I'm gonna go fill out Top's paperwork because I'm tired. So I might as well get that done. Okay. All right, guys. Nine teams. When we sell out, we break. Just call me when you get down to like a team or two. Okay. I'm gonna scoot over here, guys. You can't. So now, if you want to change the camera angle, if you want to go like be more up close with you. Well, it's, always, like, it's better when you close, so there. Don't scream. <laughs> <laughs> so just all you have to do is click it up this board. Like everything yeah. else is automated now, so. Cool. All right, so what do we got? Nine teams left. We got uh, Washington and Pittsburgh, definitely the two best picks left out there. Um, Seattle's out there. Houston. Yeah, Betts is tearing it up. Uh, 385. That's just um Uh, Chuck, every time I look at the Padres right now, they've got um, from their highest averages, they're on their smaller players. The guys that are <laughs> in camp and sauna just beating the crap out of the ball right now. Yeah, you know, Altman's somebody I really, um, we were talking about that chrome black earlier. I had a bunch of Altman rookies out of that autographs, and those all sold. There's a lot of LA guys that are really counting on Altman, and I think he is definitely start now. He's got to pick it up, but he's got all the talent in the world. And I think Otani's only going to help this whole team. Unfortunately, I think he's going to lift all those guys up. Look at Freeman at 327, Hernandez 291. Look at Keith. Oh, cool. I like, I like the throwback stuff. That's also, I like when they do the throwbacks and the, you know, San Diego did the military uniforms and the league did the military uniforms and then they put those in the, the relic cards. I really like those. Oh, well, anyway, Padres had a few years. I'd rather not see them ever wear other uniforms. They are kind of weird, but... Um, when they put them on the card, it actually looks pretty cool. And it, you know, it is one of those rare pieces of uniform. If that's ever going to matter down the road, that's, you know, a Hall of Famer's uniform is a Hall of Famer's uniform. So we got nine teams left, guys. And we also have other boxes, breaks in the store. Who else is in this? Chicago. The White Sox are really having a struggle this year. That's, um, Gonzalez Sheets and Burger rookies. A big checklist. I think. The Royals, yeah. That. I just hope we don't end up with a uh, flip around season where we see all the good play going on, and all of a sudden everybody just cools off. And I think we've definitely got a few stacked teams that could take off this year. You know, I, Baltimore is going to be interesting to watch. I mean, they had Holiday to the team. Can the Yankees?
Yankees keep up. Yeah, and that's, you know, I spent um, hmm, 20 years <coughs> right on the, in Charlestown, West Virginia, it's right on the Virginia, Maryland border. So I used to go to some of the Nationals and the Orioles games. And of course, all my friends back there, that's who they rooted for. I was always a Padre guy, but uh, there's a lot of excitement for both teams right now. I think Nationals aren't quite playing that well to start off, but um, I got a buddy who swears up and down Nationals are going to be there this year. And he keeps rubbing it in that C.J. Abrams is going to be the all-star shortstop. <laughs> no, never going to happen. <laughs> Colorado, Chicago left. Houston, Altuve, Chad McCormick rookie. I don't think the Marlins can have enough rookies. One, two, three, four. I do have four rookies on Miami. Nationals five and six. Yeah, I mean, that's... And I don't see anybody really flashing over there either. When you're talking about these, all these guys really having great seasons, but they haven't started yet. Padres ain't got the best number one ballpark in America again. Now they're going to do a food thing. So I'm sure that'll be crowded. It is a beautiful stadium. If you ever get a chance to come to San Diego and see a game, it is one of the, it's a beautiful stadium. <laughs> Pittsburgh's one I'd like to see a game in. I saw Force Field and Three Rivers, but haven't seen the new stadium. I think next month I'll go back to Cincinnati and see a game with my son. So I'll take my grandson to his first game. Yeah, it's going to be a tough striker. I mean, our pitchers, uh, you know, we can't fool ourselves. We, we've got some good pitchers, but, you know, we've got to find some guys that can help out middle relief and later innings. Uh, i got to look that kid up. We... We brought up the kid last year from um, El Paso, Double A, to the Padres, and he won that day. And then um, we traded him the next day to Pittsburgh. I can't even remember who we got for him, but it was a Western University pitcher. They drafted him, I think, the second round. But they just traded for him again last week, so he's back on the team. The kid throws, I think, 102, 103 mile an hour, so we'll see. But well, we've we've got a good um, we've got I think four or five good looking prospects in the minors. So hopefully by mid season the Padres can find one or two of those younger guys to come up and uh, help out in pitching. If not, it'll be a long season. We've got good bats and good fielders and we've got some pretty good pitchers. But um, we gave up a lot in pitching last year. Blake Schnell's is a great pitcher. We let him go. We um, but Suarez has definitely picked up from as our closer. He's doing a great job. He's finally back from all his surgeries. So. Still have nine teams left. It's like a basketball season going too. I, I'm not a big basketball guy, but I was a West Virginia a Big East guy. So hats off to UConn. Now we'll see. Can the coach do the third one? Hurley could get three in a row. That'd be pretty amazing. I think Arizona's the big unknown in that division, too. I think if Arizona gets fired up, they could take them. I 
was really surprised the other night with that comeback from the Padres. I mean, that nine runs, that is a big comeback from being down eight nothing, but I don't know, that was, that, that was the biggest comeback they've ever had in their history. And most of it came from the bottom of the lineup. Tatis hit the home run that put them ahead, but, uh, Yeah, I mean that's it was it was <coughs> eight nothing. Even I was like, well, I'm not gonna check this one out. And then I can't help myself. I always tune back in. But I've also left games like that. <laughs> you leave the game. Oh, I got this one covered, man. It's like six nothing. Yeah, and you lose the game in the parking lot. Yeah, you know, and that's one of my rules, Schreiger, is when I go to a, a race, I tell people all the time, I come for two things at a NASCAR race, or any race, really. The green flag and the checkers. Don't think I'm leaving early. I want to see both flags. So, uh, my wife knows if I say I'm ready to go from a NASCAR race, I've got a problem. <laughs> but I have left games early, so that's 1989... Uh, West Virginia played Notre Dame in the national championship in football in Phoenix. And it was probably 67, 68 degrees, wore shorts and a tank top. Went to opening day the same year of baseball season at Candlestick Park, and I think I left in the third inning with three layers of clothes on. Thought I was going to freeze to death. So <laughs> that's one of the only times I actually never left any kind of sporting event because it was just too cold. And that was opening day baseball season. <laughs> Don't think they have those winds that they had to fight back a candlestick in the news today. We have nine teams left, guys. We got the White Sox. Oh yeah, and and it's Shrek is probably one of the hardest sports to bet and one of the hardest sports for fantasy, because you're right. <laughs> yeah. Anything can change at that last lap, and it. Uh, there's not many places to actually take sports bets on NASCAR because it's just it's so hard to to predict. Which that's kind of what it makes fun, you know. Sports had parity, and everybody had a chance to win. That's kind of what makes it cool. I think that's what's hurting Formula One right now. Love Max Verstappen, great driver, but every race. <laughs> That's, that lineup with the Dodgers is stacked all the way up and down. I think is that I have to look. I think that might be Muncy's fourth home run, isn't it? Is it just the second one? Oh, good. Tease has four. There hasn't been a whole lot of home runs yet this season. There's nine teams, guys. The Nationals and the Pirates are packed. Seattle does not have Julio Rodriguez. That's a little surprising. You doing okay? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm doing other things. It's hot. Did you sell it really? to you? No. Come on, boys. Well, help Rick out. Make uh, him look good. Pittsburgh, man. What a so, hot team, Pittsburgh. So make sure to always talk about baseball and to break also. Yep. Because yep. I know m m Mr. Time over here asked the stories. The next thing you'll be discussing, knitting. Oh, we're watching. No, that's second home run for, for Muncie. All right, but remember the keys to sell teams. Yep. 
I'm telling you, Tops form. They have this new form. It's so stupid. It's like I don't I don't know who makes their web design, but on this on this form, you have to enter you all your basic information, email, breakers name, SDK numbers, over and over and over for each product. Like each product is an individual form. Instead of having like like just a base where you can log in, it has right. all that info, and then just fill product. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. They're really good at cards, not back office, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. What else do we have? That's White Sox, Colorado. Miami, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Washington. I still can't. Why would Soto have all those cards in Washington? But right now, Juan Soto and Tatis cards are going up. There's no Julio. What? Seattle has quite a checklist. So, welcome in, guys. Tag a friend, let them know we're here. <laughs> I didn't see Julio in this set. Am I wrong, Schreiger? guys are doing team break three boxes of 24 heritage all cards are going to ship we have nine nine teams left signs in this one. Rookie autograph from Cal for Seattle. Look alive boys, Rick's what showing me the say? value in the teams. He's uh, showing me the players you can hit. And how much is Seattle selling for? I think $19. Oh, cheap, 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 cheap. That pirate spot. Man, I may just go in and buy that pirate spot if I don't break. Pirates at 19 bucks. Hit a Clemente or a Stargill. And Pirates got a heck of a team going this year. Um, we got Tampa Bay, Washington. The Nationals got Soto cards. Oh, wow. And the Nationals are still available. Yeah, they nine are. Nine bucks. But nine he's, dollars. He's not in the Padres. I like O'Neill. I really do. He's off to a so-so start, too. I, I like him and Julio. And I actually have some of their rookies put away, but... They both tend out to start the season a little slow. Nine dollars is cheap, boys. And you hit a Soto. Can't even get a cup of coffee and a Danish for nine bucks anymore. Not that we eat Danishes. 
Drink plenty of coffee, though. I need breakfast water. Oh, yeah. Do you need anything to drink or anything? No, I got coffee. That's so. Renee, I thought this was funny. How about you? See what you get when you're 62 for your birthday? Right here. <laughs> Carbia? What is that? Oh, if your heart. I'm not that old yet. I that day ain't gonna be good enough to my heart quit. <laughs> right. There's electric in here and these lights, yep. Oh, um, yeah, and I've been going up and down the stairs. Seattle, Tampa Bay, Washington. Yeah, and those, that Stargill and that Stargill cut, so <laughs> I'm that old, I watch Stargill and something. Yeah. You good? Yep, yep. All right, and don't stress, just relax. It's no, I am. It's, um, I'm always stressed. <laughs> I live on stress. <laughs> you still got nine spots, what the hell? I know, and it, I keep outside. Is anybody even chatting with you besides Shrek? No, no, nobody likes me. <laughs> it's not you, it's just a sad platform. It's just, just That's, um. You know what? Just log out and see if we sell a break, we'll sell a break. If we don't, we don't. Don't oh, worry about uh, it. But I mean, obviously, try. I keep drooling over that Washington spot. Nine bucks for Juan Soto. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to raise the price on that one. Soto signed with him. Team and name color swap variation. Then and now. Player icon swap variations. That's going to be fun to watch those. That's their variations. That variation is card number 154. That's above the short print numbers. So. Team and name color swap variation, so the team and the name color will be different. A lot of variations in this, so we're going to ship all cards, guys, but um, chances are there will be some variations that come in your team set bags that we may miss. So when you get your team set bags of base out of this, kind of take a look. I'll look and see if there are code numbers. Did you look at, are there any code numbers, Shrek, that you know of? Usually tops will put code numbers on their cards. Yeah, I mean, uh, we know they're 1 through 15, but then when you have the, you know, the player swap variation and the color between their name and the, and some of those stand out, but some of them can be missed. Um, Coming. Boy, Soto has a t image variation. He has a ton of cards in this set. Venezuela stamp. Ooh, I'd like to get that. So again, guys, we got nine teams left. Cheaper entry point on on Heritage. Uh, there is three boxes. All cards ship. And if you'd like to just do something different with this one, let us know. We got another break coming up. Um, So I've got 21 of you in here. So I think I got Shriker and. Yep, I'm not in there. So say hi, guys. Let us know who in? your favorite teams are. Do you yeah. want me to come in? You're welcome to. <laughs> I'm about ready to buy those couple teams. <laughs> Did you watch that box break the other day? Oh, yeah, I was at home. The ones that Phil bought? No, the, the, the heritage boxes. Yeah. The Get cases. That, that those, those beautiful patches? No, the uh, heritage stuff we're opening now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, but I saw him showing the throwback in the old school. Yeah. Those are cool. I think I fell asleep and then and I came uh, back in and I was like, what's going on? Get the nickel short print. Yeah. Yeah, guys, there's some of the cards that are in the... Oh, that's right. I'm going to go to this camera. There are a couple of the cards that we hit out of that. So, Chris has the flashbacks with uh, Renee's computer guy, so we made that for us. Anniversary of the gold tag. Yogi. Ellie the rookie. 
Y'all are gonna be a good chase this year. If he keeps doing some of the stuff he's doing, he's a pretty amazing guy right now. Hit a 450 foot cannon inside the park. I think they said I was the first player to ever do that. We do have other boxes, cases in the in the shop. Two, two, bottom of the fourth. That's an early in, isn't it? Wow. Washington, Tampa Bay, Seattle, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Houston. Two games this morning. I can't remember. I actually, is, I think the Padres might be playing in this afternoon game today. Bill's cards. The Cardinals ought to have an interesting season this year too. They got some great talent over there. You back there, Robbie, or they are struggling a little bit, but I like the um, I like the talent they got. I can see St. Louis. I have not been there for a game. All right, so thank you for. Jerry got a team. Thank you, Jerry. Let me take a look. Yes. Yeah, I think that's, you know, we were in the same boat. We split with the Dodgers. We were happy as could be. <laughs> um, I saw that. And I like Jerry. I think he's... Uh, Where is that team? The Pirates went. Thank you, Schreiker. I think the Pirates is a great pick. That's, um... Daddy, did you ever find that one with the cards? Good luck. I want to see the stars will come out of this. Thank you for your purchase. You're down to eight teams, guys. You got Washington has Soto. Philadelphia has... Wow. That's fast. And, you know, these guys now, I'm, I'm curious this year if we'll see some records broke with stealing bases. Um, you know, they've definitely handicapped some of the – giving guys a little lead there now with the way they've changed the rules. But, um, man, these kids are fast today. And that's, that's the hard trade-off. You know, do you get a guy that can, you know – Right now he's hitting under that number, but if he can steal every time he gets on base. <laughs> hey, I don't laugh about anything. I was around, I rooted for Pittsburgh when Mario Mendoza was around. <laughs> if you guys know the Mendoza line, that's Pirates had him at shortstop for what, five or six years. The guy couldn't hit over 200. <laughs> And again, that's why I think the Padres are actually playing very well now. They look at these kids that are hitting for them right now. Some guys we really didn't expect to hit that well. Peoria? Cool. Again, our stadium here in San Diego is small, so... Is it small? Yeah, we got one of the small stadiums in baseball. That's why we sell out all our games. So. Uh, 
Um, you're seeing more and more of that when they build them downtown. Um, well, yeah, even the yeah. Nationals, when they built their stadium, they shrunk it. And, um, I, I like to see Bush. You know, I went to Cincinnati and just went to the um, museum that they have attached to their stadium now. Wow, what a, what a, I would probably rank it second to the Hall of Fame of anything I've ever seen. Wow. Um, well, you know, Cincinnati's got such a great history. And St. Louis, Pittsburgh, all those older teams, championship teams. But um, the one thing that fascinated me in Cincinnati was they still have Hank Aaron's bat that he tied Babe Ruth's home run record with. He did wow. it in Cincinnati and then broke the record when they went back to Atlanta. But I'm still curious why that bat stayed in Cincinnati. <laughs> Oh, that's didn't. cool. Did you see Hank Aaron's 50th anniversary was the other day of yeah. him hitting 750? Yeah. They oh, it makes me feel so tied. old. I mean, that's the, I was 12. I saw it on TV live. We knew it was coming because he had tied it. <laughs> so, I mean, there are not many sporting events that got covered like they do today. But those big moments, they went, uh, all the TV channels went to it. Oh, they, so, weren't, they weren't covered the way they are today? No, I mean, that's, I was laughing with Renee earlier. I'm cheap. I won't subscribe to TV for the baseball games. So I'm listening to my Padre games on the radio. That's the way I used to listen to them. And it's probably good for your brain. Well, and you can actually. your imagination. The stuff we have on see right now. So we're watching this right now. I'm seeing every pitch, where the pitch is. Renee used to watch football like that. Cause yeah. Like one year, I don't know if he was being cheap and he wouldn't buy it out of principle or or you couldn't get it or something. And then he was watching the X's and the O's for football and watching the line room. And I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, just spend the 300 bucks. He's like, no, it's principle. Oh, I stopped. I'm that way with baseball. I, you know, <laughs> but they're all moving that way. Everybody's yeah. on subscription now. So new way of doing business. And it worked. Otani. Otani single to right. Yeah, you want some air conditioning? Otani on base. Come on. Throw him out. You know, I gotta check that out because I do have T Mobile. That's I gotta check on that. Um I thought that was I could too, so. Yeah. And this could be one of the better years that we've had in a long time. All right, Shrugger, go. Cool. Yeah. Hi, Shrugger. I never said morning to you. Top of the he morning. Was, he was the first one in today. Yeah. Okay. New line order. We got eight more teams left, guys. And he said good morning. Morning. Or hello. Hello. Yeah, it's 1130. We're almost out of morning. Huh? Yeah. See, we still got Washington, Philadelphia, Colorado, Miami, Tampa Bay, Seattle, White Sox, and Houston's got a pretty good team, don't they? Didn't they like play in some like kind of... So. Didn't they play in some of the game last year? Or? I don't know. <laughs> To package this. So Robbie said hi. Oh, hi, Robbie. I know you're always in here with us. Aren't you sweet? Hiya, Casey. Hiya, Robbie. <laughs> and then, um, so I'll package this. I'll do the eBay. Then I have to drive across town to go get the 20 boxes of is it Heritage? Is that what I'm picking up? No, we already have that. What am I picking what? up? 20 boxes of what? Uh oh. Oh, oh. Tops Chrome Black. Oh, that doesn't release till next week, though, does it? I don't know. I'm going to go Okay, then. I was running Oh, I like that. Out. And then I was going to cook fish. We could drool so over we that. We could eat healthy. <laughs> I don't eat healthy. <laughs> See my breakfast bar. Where's your breakfast bar? What is it, a candy bar? 
not good for you, Rick. Oh my goodness. Yes, <laughs> That's not healthy at all. Hey, I'm 62 and still getting around, ain't it? Well, I shouldn't say that. I was eating sourdough bread. But... Right? You're 62 and getting around. I don't know if That's crazy. You know, because remember back in the day, people used to drop dead like at 44. I know. I've had five Rob and Danny, so when I cut out the cigarettes, <laughs> they said. Doctor kept telling me it was cigarettes, and I argued with him. And the last heart attack I had when they put in a stint, I said, I'm "Telling you right now, I'm going to give up smoking, but I'm going to smoke the next time in the operating room, and I have an heart attack or cigarettes." Wow, yeah, <laughs> smoking's bad for you. Yeah, Black April seventeen. Yeah. Oh, is that when it's coming out? Okay, That's thank be some you, Shaker. I can't wait to see that. Oh, that Elliot will be a hot chase. Yep. All right, eight games left, guys. We've got Houston, the White Sox, Colorado, Miami, Philadelphia, Seattle, Tampa Bay, and instead of saying Washington, I'm going to say Juan Soto for Juan what Soto. Is it, nine bucks for, for nine dollars. <laughs> I can't believe Soto's in that, but not in the Padres. He spent the year with us last year. Yeah. Oh, is it because it's 2024? No, he, so he's on the Yankee team now. Yeah. So they made him in Washington. Why is he in Washington? <laughs> that's where we got him from. Oh. So it was. <laughs> well, that's well. Maybe they're just trying to make something nice. That's going to make the Washington team set pretty nice because people got MVP. That'd be a nice to pick up one autograph. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You need anything for me, Rick? Nope. I, I try and help you, but I, I don't know about today. <laughs> <laughs> And she thought somebody had hacked in the system today. Oh, I know. She's like, can you believe it? Daddy's awake. I'm like, yes, I know. <laughs> She's like, there's some kind of malfunction going on here. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. So you can tell Renee is tired okay, because Daddy wasn't even going to worry about him being awake this early. But we do want to start, um, you know, uh, Robert, myself, Renee will all start breaking more and more, and we do kind of want to spread out. He gets the, the best products at the best price. Like he says, if you're not shopping with us, you should be shopping with us. We have eight teams left. Still 2-2 two -two and Muncie though. She just went downstairs, Lyle, so she'll be back up soon. Welcome in, welcome in. We got eight teams left. Going three boxes. All cards ship. <laughs> and again, I say the two best teams we got left are it's funny that Washington is a nine dollar team. Ryan and the Staples both bought in. Thank you guys. The Mariners and the Rays. Thank you, Shriker. Takes us down to six. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is off the board. Seattle is off the board. Six teams left, guys. We have the Sox, Colorado. Miami, Philadelphia, 
or Washington in Houston. Three boxes. All all cards are gonna ship. Dodgers didn't score, did they? Nope, still tied. So, Phillies do. All these checklists look good to me. That's what I was trying to figure. Is there 600 cards? Striker, is it 500? 500. 500. Because all the checklists do look fairly re spread out. Yeah, the inserts are, I mean, <laughs> I am interested to see more of it. I would, the box Renee opened the other day was cool, but I don't, wasn't on fire over it, but some of these newer players and their new teams, it's going to be kind of cool. See some of the inserts of them, some of the triple patches, I think there's some triple autographs in here. the short prints. I haven't seen a box top yet. <laughs> so it's uh the Washington which again is loaded with Southern Philadelphia. I really like that pirate checklist. Those uh, those are some cool looking cuts. Even on the um, the Philadelphia, you got some great Hall of Famers in the Philadelphia stuff. You got you know Harper, of course, but you got Mike Schmidt and um, what else did I see down here? Steve Carlton. There's, a, there's actually a lot of variations in the Philadelphia checklist. I like when they make the cards a little bit more interesting. Casey, Lau from Minnesota said hello. Lyle. Lyle. Lyle from Minnesota. Hi there. How you doing? I said you went downstairs. So. I know. I'm here. I'm going back and forth. Six teams to go, guys. Almost there. No way. You sold three teams? Wow. Woo! Give it up for Rick. <laughs> All right. Twins hey, guys. Over. How's everybody doing? Who do we have left? We have Colorado Rockies, Miami Marlins, um, Philadelphia Phillies, Washington Nationals, Houston Astros, and Chicago White Sox. Did you guys check out the prices on these teams? They're cheap. That Soto team at nine bucks. Man, for the Nationals, wow. Miami Marlins are nine dollars. Philadelphia Phillies are nineteen dollars. Washington Nationals nine dollars. Houston Astros seventeen. Colorado Rockies nine. Chicago White Sox nine. It's cheap. And at Houston, I mean, why are we charging that for them? Just because they played for World Series? I mean. I love it. I love it. You guys buy in, help Rick out, help an old man We're out <laughs> before he has a six heart attack. Oh, I shouldn't joke. That's blasphemy. Oh. Sorry. No, it's, it's I have no more. Yeah, now right. I have agreed with them. Uh, cigarettes, I did it. And that's, so again, the doctor said, You never read the side of the cigarette pack? I said, Do you read bad news? <laughs> I gave up like on the Cheryl. <laughs> our, our former employee, she used to be like, I used to tell her, Miss Cheryl, you need to quit smoking. It's bad for you. She's like, well, nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> uh, I'd go in and tell the doctor, hey, check my lungs. And they're like, man, you got great lungs. Well, I 
Guess I shouldn't quit smoking then. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what we need to do? I need you to package that and I have labels. We need to ship all the Kobe Bryant shows shows shoes to Heritage Auction. Yes. So I'm gonna send them like fifty thousand dollars of shoes. Yes. Let's get rid of them. Do you know where all of them are? They're right there's here. There's some here, there's some on the eBay listings and there's some on the shelf back there. I think I'm gonna bucks. send them like thirty pairs or so, twenty pairs. Get the money. Get the money, they're just sitting here, I have time to mess with them. Yes. Are we doing six teams Six, left? six teams six to go. Teams Still got left. Washington, Philadelphia, Miami, Colorado. And right, let me sit down for a second. Minnesota just took okay, the lead so over the Dodgers. Uh uh. I'm rooting against the Dodgers. I'm not gonna lie. I am What's too. up, Lynn from Minnesota? <laughs> Lyle? I know. Lyle's so sweet. Lyle, get your butt in the game. Get a team. We have six teams to go. <laughs> All right, boys. I'd love to rip this really quick. And then we'll work on our second break. Like I did on purpose, three box breaks. So it's affordable to everyone. Actually, every spot that's left, 9, 9, 17, 9, 19, and 9. We're like 60 bucks away from ripping. Actually, no more than that. 80 bucks away from ripping. Let's go. Philadelphia has a nice checklist, too. I was looking at three Hall of Famers there. The Nationals, that nine bucks for Soto. Guys, if we get any kind of cut signature, if we get any kind of cut signature, that is not included in, uh, that is not included in, um, what am I trying to say? Like, not in a team? It's going to be randomized. So there's like all kinds of crazy cut signatures in this you can hit. Yeah, For like even, cheap prices. I haven't even looked at that yet. Yeah, no, you can, like, you can be in a $9 like, team and pull a $1,000 card. How, like, how? The value is so easy in this product. We have six spots left. Let's rip something. Come on. Let's heritage it up. Uh, let's see. So Dodgers are losing. That's always good. Yeah, but they just dodged. There's the Stapes. Stapes took another one. They dodged. Why? Because he's a gangster. Dodged a bullet there. They had first and third. Otani was on third. Who did he just take? Uh... Nationals are still there. Marlins are there. Oh, yeah, he took Philly. That's a good pickup. Philly's gone. Straight up gangster. Stapes. Yeah, Bill Gates David cards. Bowie. Bird Reynolds. Oh, Bird Reynolds probably cool. David Bowie. David Bowie, I bet you, is at least $1,000. Man, I saw somebody's one one cut come out of this. Where? Well, David Bowie wow. is kind of a cult following. And then Elvis, wow. obviously. That's kind of crazy. You kind of get Elvis in here. Well, I thought I saw Ansel Adams. Ali Ali would be huge. Yeah. Mick Jagger would be huge. Steven Spielberg would be good. Ansel Adams, that's probably true, but it's probably not as big. Well, but that's, he's the photographer, right? Yeah. Sick bought it. Guys, so even when you buy a cheaper team, Sick just picked up, like, see what he got. I think he got not the Marlins, not the Rockies, not the Sox, not the Astros. He took Nationals. Even when you buy a cheaper team, obviously it's always hard to hit cut signatures. But you technically can get a nine dollar shot at like a thousand plus dollar card. That Washington did a good job with Soto in there. Yeah, Washington's a great team. So <laughs> it's like he's a all short print stuff. I mean, it's How do we feel about Astros? Did you say Astro checklist is crazy? What's up, Sports it's, Mike? It's a decent one. We have a nice cheap break today, Mike. <laughs> we have three nine dollar teams left and a seventeen dollar team. Schreiker says it's not the best for Astros. Yeah, it's not a monster. How about the Rockies, the White Sox, and the Marlins? We have forty-four dollars worth of teams to sell, so we can break this first one. By the way, if you have multiple teams, yeah, single show is gonna be a while, Mike. We have no plans of doing singles anytime soon right now. I have Bowman Black coming up next week. We are building the second studio right now. I mean, the second studio is built. Well, I'm going to rephrase this. The second studio is the first studio. We are rebuilding an exact copy of this studio with the tables, with everything. And then as soon as it's done, I'm going to spend like $3,000, $4,000 and get some really nice chairs. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that on here for singles. Or on Fanatics? Is, is there, there's no place really to set up like a store where you have No, they're supposedly working on it. They said, but no, I tried singles on Fanatics. It's not Oh, yeah. Man, no, I'm, probably not, Mike. I want to jump to that. Man, I really want to do that. I got cards and twins. I need some bangers. I'm in a slump. All right, I hope we get you, DJ. DJ. I can't promise, but I will try, my friend. I will try. You know, you know how breaking goes. 
Like, I mean, I've freaked a lot too. Do you have a month where you just can't hit a card to save your freaking life? And then as soon as you don't buy the team because you're like, I'm just in a slump, they pulled a 101 God card. I'm off for that kind of years. Yeah, it just, it just goes, you know. <laughs> Goose Sitch and Cast Out is okay. Goose. I know, but then, then, then you're going to run where, like, no matter where you buy it, you hit, right? So it's just that's just how breaking goes. It's just, that's why we call breaking damned if you do, damned if you don't. I got to dig out my picture. I love Goose Gossip in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh and San Diego. Yeah, we are rooting for the twin strike here for sure. We always root against the Dodgers <laughs> as Padres fans. You know, the Dodgers have a freaking amazing team, so. <laughs> Funko Network is rooting for the Dodgers. He's like, shut up, Renee. <laughs> Astros has to come tuck it. Yeah. I have to ask you a question, but it cannot be on the stream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need the secret fanatics code thing. I think I know what it is because it won't let me log into shipping. Oh, that's funny. Uh, oh. That's <laughs> Morgan Bell. That's, oh, I, I still can't believe the first, the second Padre game, the first Padre game when Cronesworth got that hit out to him and, and went through the pocket of his glove. Ripped the glove apart. Well, I know Seattle sold is um and I don't see Julio on the checklist, but I see him on the pictures. Four teams left. Sox, Colorado. Houston and Miami. All right, sell those teams. I'll be right back. So the White Sox do have four short prints. And the White Sox, I, I know they're off to a bad start, but dang, they got a bunch of rookies. One, two, three, four, five rookies. And Goose is in it. It really is. I would that, and I like Houston, but I think the White Sox with the rookies. That's uh, probably where I would go. Colorado, Colorado definitely has a smaller list. Three short prints, one rookie does have. Colorado does have a Larry Walker, King Griffey Jr. combo. Thank you, Dave. White Sox sold. Let me change back over to this chair. Thank you, Dave. Good luck on that. There's a pretty good checklist. Um, Houston, Colorado. Almost there, guys. Three to go. Boy, you got Houston, Colorado, and Miami. Colorado definitely has a smaller list. Um, you do have three short prints and a rookie, two rookies. Tovar. And Miami and Houston. Yeah, Colorado does have relics. They've got... Um, Riley Green has a lot of variations on this one. Houston, of course, you got three short prints, but you got um, Kyle Tucker Auto image variation. Rockies are gone. Thank you, Jerry. Rockies are gone. Colorado out of here. We got Miami and Houston left. Two to go, guys. Three boxes, all cards shipped. 
Um, Miami, do they have, what's Miami got down there? They have Tucker. Um, Miami. Yep, you got one rookie at Miami. Um, you do have Altuve, Stanton. Hmm, that's interesting. You got a Stanton, Altuve, MVP card. Um, Chisholm. Alcatero. Man, that kid is hitting. Nickname variations. Chisholm Jr. Astro relics for Ver Bergman, Verlander, Tucker, and Finn. Got Houston and a Miami to go. So where are we at? Houston at 17, Miami at 9. Minnesota is still up. <laughs> so we have seen one of the, the coin relics. I'm interested in seeing one of those stamp relics too. I know there's probably cheaper stamps, but I'm interested to see the stamps, whether they're canceled or uncanceled. Miami and Houston left. Two to go. We do have another break listed. I know this was a little slow to go, but if you're interested. Sell out. Two to go. Come on, people. We got Houston and Miami to go. That's a $17 team and a $9 team. Yep. Who wants to buy the last two? Ah, oh, there we go. Miami's gone 17. Somebody pick up Houston. Somebody pick up Houston. Let's do it. Let's get ready to break. Houston's got a pretty good team, too. Yeah, yeah, I think they're off to a good start. At least they were in the first week. Where's Gigi when you need him? Sold out. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. I'm going to reach across here again. We're sold out? Sold out. Nice. Should we take the three boxes on camera or should we just take random three boxes? It doesn't really matter, right? I would ask them. Do you guys want the three uh, boxes on camera? Where did Casey put that? Oh, it's on top. Three boxes on camera or another case? Or another three boxes? Sounds good. Three bo Stapes says he has three boxes on camera. Uh, he was the first answer. Good. Robbie wants camera. Don't drive while you're on your phone. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Man, these boxes are heavy. It's a lot of cards. I mean, even even in this break that you're buying, uh, even in this break that you're buying a nine dollar spot in, there's still two hundred. Uh, there's still two hundred some cards in this break. It's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> unless you don't hit it. Unless you don't hit. Yep. <laughs> Well, the deal with this, yeah, I mean, we ship everything. A lot of breakers don't ship everything in this product, just so you guys know. And really, looking at the variations, there's no way that you're going to catch those variations. And, and Actually, a lot of variations you can catch because they turn them upside down, I think. All right, let's make, make the list. So here, pay attention. This is what we have to do. When a break is done, we click this little down arrow. You see that? Yep. And it's going to tell us break 800, so it should go live. Then we click our label live down here. And then we already have the second window open. So import file, it, it's automatically a download, break 800, import. And then if you can always check, so Arizona Diamondbacks, if you ever have an issue and you just want to verify, so Arizona Diamondback type one, yep. Diamondbacks type one, right? Then once we have that, we, we already changed his name of file, so break 800. So we just want to make sure that's correct. We print, then we click on print. So it's going to do that 30 second countdown. 30 second countdown, boys. <laughs> All right, let me get a little bit over because now we're going to go and break a window. So we're going to go over here. So usually I try to have to break it, kind of be on the right hand side so they can still see Chad and interact. There we go. 
Okay, so this will open up. I usually just pull this over because it'll freeze the screen. You know how to pull over windows, right? Mm -hmm. So just right here, you notice? Yep. Okay. So so we have this list. So this is the important part. You click print, but instead of clicking print, we don't click here. We have to go here. And then over here we click print. I don't know why somehow it's just like this way it works, that way it doesn't work. And here's our list. And then again. Uh you still have they send your shipping or anything? Let me send a message to Hunter. D did you send an email to support? Here, let me send a message to Hunter. In any response? Here, I'm gonna send it to Hunter right now. I'm so curious what you hit in that box too. <laughs> yeah. I just sent Hunter at Fanatics Life a message on Instagram. I don't know if he's gonna respond right here to me. No, huh? nope. So I was like to show it again. Uh, and then, oh. you know, once that's done, we just close this window out and we're back to our main screen. And then you can go to OPS if you want to, or like I think we we're watching the Dodgers game at the same time. There you go. Uh, I sent him a message. Uh, I don't know, he might respond in two minutes. Hold on a second, this is doing worse. Okay, stop it. He might respond in two minutes. It might take a day. I don't know. Uh, if I don't hear with him within 24 hours, you can come to our next break. And uh, you can come to our next break, and then I can send a message to somebody else. But I'm not going to barter. I have, a, I have a couple other contacts, but I'm not going to barter them. I don't think they even know about it. But just so you know, that was a Fanatics Life giveaway. That wasn't a Bargain Hunters giveaway. Even though it was through us, but... They ship directly, so I have like I have no control. Like if we do anything, it's the next day. Oh, there's Hunter. There's Hunter. Hey, Hunter. Well, that was fast. That was about a 38 <laughs> second response time from our man Hunter. So he said they are coming. So but I also got to remember it's a bigger corporation, everything. So I'm sure they have to. Uh, what's up, Bill? We're about to get started. I'm sure they have to do all kinds of paperwork, sign off, cross the T's, cross the I's. That's why we use Fanatics. Yes. So, I mean, if Fanatics says they're going to send you a free box, don't worry. It's going to come. All right. No problem, Hunt. I appreciate it. But that was a quick... I just sent him a message on Instagram, and, like, he responded within, like, 38 seconds. So I think that's pretty freaking good service. By the way, guys, here's your uh, teams. So you'll get it. Don't worry. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. We'll buy a couple teams for the next break. Bill, I was by Hunter for president. I know. That's a nice box, boys. I had five cases. I was supposed to get six more cases, but my rep, like, I now in his defense, I talked to him on Sunday. He forgot to put in the order, and by the time we touched base again, they were sold out, so. But in his defense, I did put in an order on Sunday, so it's all good. I just need Hunter Dork on NASCAR. Hunter on NASCAR? Oh. <laughs> I don't think Topps is buying NASCAR yes, right now. Yes, they will. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to buy panini. Him. We need panini. <laughs> All right, begin unboxing. So, you break on, so then you click begin unboxing. Yep. Now everybody in a break should get a notification. Guys, three boxes, all card ship. I'm only going to top load uh, the top rookies. What is this? Is it a regular? Yeah. Let's crack a couple more. Let me crack for me some. I'm only going to top load like the regular rook, like top rookies like Ellie De La Cruz, <laughs> Dominguez. If you see a play or something that's like super cool, we can sleeve it. And then we will top load like the variations and the hits. We'll top load the variations, the hits. The rest is just gonna come in team bags. Most of those heritage cards are not that expensive. Um, not the variations, because there's a lot of, if we notice a variation, we're gonna top load it. But what I meant to say, we're gonna top load the short prints. All right, here we go, box number one. I talked to Throne last night, he's like, you're gonna hate breaking this. I'm like, I'm. There's a lot of variations. All right, so we got an oversized Jim Palmer, Orioles. Now, how are we going to send this? I guess we can just lay it with the Orioles. So what you do, so just put that straight in the break box, and then Casey will see it. And then maybe um, 
Maybe right on the uh, Oriole sticker itself. Oversized card. Which is kind of cool. We have no way to protect that though, Six. Sorry. It, uh, it's not worth it for the product. It's, yeah. it's just not. I mean, it, it's cool to have if you're an Orioles fan and for your collection, but it's not really. You know what I mean? Yeah, I so That's interesting. So this one had a top loader. Yeah. The one we did the other day had a 1975 five back. You know, it's two and a half with Trigger said two and a half. One in every two and a half boxes has the. Top Let me fair. Will you put that on the table over there? And then what I'm going to do, uh, I mean, everything I put here is just like you can sort right away. Like I said, we sleeving and top loading very little. And I'll probably just do it in between. All right, here we go, boys. Good luck. If you see a card that you like really want, all right, we got to pay attention. What is this? Phillies and Twins. So that's going to be around. We figure these out later. Hopefully you get the same amount of each. Yeah, the same team, Braves. And yeah, so... Man, these are kind of a pain in the butt. Top so loaded all white socks, please. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is like, damn, I got the white socks for nine bucks. I can actually make money on uh, <laughs> the sleeves. Yeah, I can actually make some on the sleeves. And the top loaders. Oh, Mike Trout, New Age Performers. So that will sleeve. And that is not a short print. That's an insert, but we'll sleeve that one. So I, I asked Throne, he said he wasn't even sleeving those. But since it's Mike Trout, we'll sleeve it. Again, on this product, guys, very little stuff gets sleeved or top loaded. It's just not that high enough a product. But the reason I still do it, number one, it's a cool looking product. Tops did a killer job with this product, actually. I mean, the cards look amazing. And uh, so I'll put sleeves over here for now. The cards look amazing. And it's kind of funny, you know, you don't always have to buy them for $200 and $300 and $80. It's fun to be have, have your team at 9 10 20 bucks. I think the most expensive team in this was like what? 49 bucks, Devin Sweet, Agunda, Manoa, Corbin Carroll, so we'll sleep these in, so James Outman, top load of White Sox, Mookie Betts, he's killing it, these are nice, nice cards, okay, I think we're going to have our first short print in here, we can start, so, so Nathaniel Lowe, that's a short print, so that will, will top load. A lot of people will chase these short prints. At least shout out to Tops for making it easy with noticing, um, making it easy with like turning the short prints around. Yeah, the, Did you see the, Stadium Club packs? But I don't think the variations are. The variations. I mean, yeah, if we we'll notice look at one. This list of variations. Yeah, if we notice one. So I mean, if you get it, check if you have variations. This is just one. Yeah, it's just regular. What we got here, Bryce Harper and American F. Man, I don't know. I should have figured something out how to do these. Probably what we're going to do, we're just going to do a regular spin between national and uh, and then they go all national or all. A lot right. of times if you get the same amount, you can easily do them and then just do. Yeah, if we if, you mean if we get the exact same car twice. Right. Yeah, no, that, yeah, <laughs> if we do that, that'd be fine. We'll figure that. We'll make it fair for everybody. Is there any gum in these? No, Dave. I was thinking about that the other day. Do you know how much gum and pops I have to make now for all the different series that they put out? Yeah. <laughs> and what would that do to the Chrome cards? <laughs> Can I have another uh, short print coming? All right, I think that's what we're going to do with, when if it's a National American League. We're just going to, they're all going to go to American, they're all going to go to National. We'll just do one wheel. Again, they're like two cents cards, so it's really not right. that big of a deal. Corey Jocks on the short print. Luciano. <laughs> he wants the gum top loaded, yeah. <laughs> Actually, Dave, is the t he wants the gum preacher. So, uh... These cards are nice. I mean, they totally, like, breaking this totally makes me feel like 1990, probably like 1993. Even though it's 75 design, but they feel the same. The packs feel the same. And I probably had these little cards as a kid. So this is the year that I quit. Like, you were talking 75? About yep. Oh, so fine. I did 73, 74, 75. I was 15. I was <laughs> starting to... Then and now, Houston, oh, Roger, Red Sox and Dodgers. So that's a different variation. 
I mean, a different duo team. So we'll do these different. That's actually nice. That's no Tani. Put this over here. And an Androhini. <clears throat> yeah, somewhere in the 90s I quit because I discovered girls. Well, that's what we always laugh. I was a Boy Scout leader, too. <laughs> so that's when I left. And about 15, 16, you start smelling perfume and gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Cups and a short print. You did a lot of scouting. Going to the Rangers. Garcia. I guess I can top load all these in between breaks, right? At the end. Just save time. So while uh, you sword. No, it's okay. Just keep on sorting. I'll top load these at the end. I mean, really, while we look in the heritage, there's going to be a chrome card in here. There's going to be a hit card in here. There's a pottery rook in there. Who? Alec Jacob? Yeah. I've pulled him before. I feel like I did, at least. Evan Carter. That's that's the range that's doing really good, right? Yeah. Evan Carter, yeah. And that's, that's a black, so that is a, that's a different... That's a variation? All right, we'll talk about that real quick. A, um, there's Evan fewer Car of those black... And black that actually stuff. looks good. Okay, Evan Carter, variation. Yeah, Boraza. Uh, what's up, Borza? The Texas, uh, right there. Purple. Yeah, and black border cards. Hard to break. Yeah, so. How's that one look? Uh, uh, it looks really clean. <laughs> Julio. Yep. All right, so we'll look for the black variation. Limited to 50. What do you mean limited um, to 50? It's numbered? No, they're not numbered. I. There is something short about these black. They are. Ryan says blackboard is limited to 50, just not numbered, I believe. Okay, cool. Good to know. Guys, if you see something that I miss, honestly, I was going to give all this product away. And then we decided to break it last minute. I'm like, you know what? Just for the culture, just for the people. Let's do cheap breaks. Then and now. Slate C Sony rookie. Um, I was like, let's just do cheap three box breaks. So, because we do have a, a lot of the breaks we run expensive, right? So, and we, I do get a lot of falling also that maybe might not be the biggest sparks card, card collectors. So now you can break with us like in a nine twenty dollar team. It's really, it's not gonna kill you. Battling leaders. Oh man, it's like a lot of teams we gotta figure it out too. All right. Bryce Harper, Ozzy Albies, New Nolan Arenado. Seth Lugo. Alright. Alright, so that blackboard, if it's limited to 50, that's actually a great rookie. That's, a, that's, only, rookie, yeah. that's actually a nice hit for the Texas Rangers right there. He's the guy that's doing better than I for right now, right? Yeah. Joey Voto. We're gonna have a short print. Short print Alex Diaz for Cincinnati. Going to Cincy. What's the biggest, so you seem to know, Ryan, what's the biggest short print we're looking for that is not numbered? Do you know? They have super fractors in this. Oh, really? There's chrome cards and super fractors. Well, I know there's chrome cards and I didn't know there was super fractors in this. Yeah. I mean, look. They are one one but, and there's a lot of those made, but. These are ready to go. But still, I mean, you're still buying a nine dollar break, and you have a chance of hitting a several thousand dollar card. I mean, I'm super that, practice is that Evan Carter? I'd like to know. I'd, I'm not that's sure it, how that's many of those cards he's even got out. Did he even have a Bowman card? I, I don't even. I don't, know. I don't remember. I'm not even sure he did. It's so funny. As much as we break it, all starts to look the same after a while. To be honest, Yankees, Blake Snell, and Garrett Cole. Tuki to Saint. Tuki to Saint. If that Rangers card comes back up, he's a tenants only limited to 50. That's a pretty good card. Pretty good. Yeah. I was really surprised when I saw how good that kid was hitting. Because we are just really hearing about Langford right now. Which yeah. is a good ball player. You know, with the hands or butts, Langford's going to be good too. Ellie Morgan, variation or short print. like heritage I think it's a cool product 
you know, not not everything has to be about the money, right? That's a nice rookie. Not not rookie all star, brother. <coughs> as one so one soda as a killer signature in this. <laughs> this must be a very vari variation all white. I'm gonna talk about that. That's a that's a variation. Anybody know the all white variation? That's the only uh well it's not a short print. Two forty six it just must be yeah, Bill says white is too. This is just hey Bill, nice to see you. This is just a variation, just like the all black, all white. <coughs> just by noticing. Sorry guys, first first time we're really ripping it. I mean I did rip a box the other day, but different. I love Bill. Bill is a true collector. This man goes from ripping dynasty to ripping heritage. That is a true collector. And you can pull some cool stuff in here, obviously, too, but a lot different. Yeah, no, you still can have cool stuff. I've seen some. We were going over the checklist earlier, Bill. So actually, if you just want to rip carts, but you don't have to budget, which I know is not your issue. But if you don't have to budget, you still can buy into, I mean, the way I did this, most spots are like $10, $20, right? And I actually do three boxes. So we can ship you everything. I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but most breakers are not shipping all cards. They're only shipping rookies and hits. So I wanted to ship everything because I feel like this kind of takes us back to our childhood a little bit. Baseball flashba flashbacks. That must be also some kind of variation. Jordan Lawler rookie is kind of cool. Um, let's just talk about this. This is probably an overkill, but why not? Um, what was I saying? Be back to your childhood. Yeah, well, this card does not want to go in here. There we go. Um, takes you back to your childhood. Yeah, so you, you can come in a cheap break. And then you still, I mean, you still have the possibility. Guys, if we hit like an Elvis Presley cut out on this, which somebody's going to hit it, why not us, right? If we hit something like that, every team is in it. So you have a 1 in a 30 shot for a $9 team. To the cart that's at least a thousand. Oh, uh, Bill, that Mo Muhammad Ali is in here too. So I was surprised. So, and you know, Super Fractus, anybody gonna have another short print coming up? Super Fractus can be anybody. You got a habit of hitting Ellie Cruz. Ellie Dela Cruz, yeah, I had to. Go ahead, his Super Fractus. Yeah, that would that would be crazy. Sorry, did Tatiana send you and did you post on Facebook the video yesterday? Uh, you sent me something, but I didn't post it. I'm going to post it after this break. Send me a message. Because right I had a message for each day, and she did No, I think she did send me something. Maybe she, I just didn't do it. Maybe she didn't do it on... It's okay. It's okay. Well, because each day, because I try to go Monday through Friday. Mem card. So that sucks. I want autos. This is our mem card. Going to the Blue Jays. Dalton Varsho. Game used bat memorabilia. So that's the mem card for the box. See, that's probably going to be a 60. What do you got this? No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Was it 100? Let me see. It should have been a 60. No, I need 100. Let me see. It feels like a 140, but it's okay. You got a team bag, a regular team bag? Autos are hard to hit in this. Going to the Blue Jays. Numbered, not numbered. So we get one auto or relic per box, so it's not really the relic we want. I mean, it's good if you have the Blue Jays, you're very happy. You're very happy, obviously. But we want to find better. I know I'm Dave, it sucks, yeah, it's like. But this is like Alan right. Ginter, right? Alan Ginter's the same thing. A lot of the. A lot of the stuff you hit is like so so. Oh, I would rather that or the nickel. The nickel, because it's number 215. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mag Margaret's Thatcher flashback. Oh, that's another one we have to randomize. <coughs> what if that's her rookie? If that's her rookie? Nah, that, somebody must have made Margaret Thatcher's. It's always funny when people say that to me. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> okay. Dave is laughing his ass off. Well, you got the gum, gum coming, Dave. I did pull an Altair 8800 card when I did that test box. That was kind of cool. Short print. I should have been. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, you were talking about that. I was, I was kicking myself because I had one of the old Mac 512s that had the, the zip up bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I sold that for $300 or $400 in Seattle, I'm, and that was 30 years ago. What's that worth now? Well, I remember when, when the 8088 came out. So oh. my dad actually bought it in Germany for the business. It was like $10,000. You ever play Pong? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've had all that. <laughs> I got out of the service because our computer still took up rooms. <laughs> that's funny. Piece of a wig card, that's funny. No, it's just a regular card. Oh, we got something in here. We got some color coming. We got chrome in its color. I'm excited. <coughs> okay, we don't want to show it yet. New age performance. That's an insert. So these would just sleep. I mean, I tapped the throne. He's not even sleeping in it, but I feel like we should sleep those. <coughs> Cardinals. 174 to 175. Nolan Arenado. Well, you said you're in a try spell, so you only get one per box. <coughs> and that's more than a basic chrome. It's actually a little color, so... Was it one per box? Did you get a chrome in that other box? Yeah, one, but it was just a regular silver mm -hmm. chrome. It's still numbered. It was numbered to... I think the base chrome is to 375 in this. Well, actually, this is at a 575, but it's a color. I mean, still, like, you know, in the whole break, there's only three chrome cards, so... Yeah. That's your piece. Yeah, so that's perfect. So that's nice. It's a nice-looking card. So, that, that white was a short print. Right? White is a short print. Mr. White here, give it to me. White Sox got a short print. Yeah, some of these cards, I mean, we're still learning. I'm sure yeah, we're going to miss some short the, prints. But. Because they've got these name variations and the team switch. Yeah, don't colors. look that long. Just keep yeah. on sorting. I mean, we'll get most. Again, most of these short prints are nothing crazy right. either, you know. I mean, the, uh, the short prints are okay. And that's not a short print, it's a variation. Right. So the variations are not going to be that crazy. The short prints are a little bit better, but. The short sprint is one in every three packs, so like seven per hobby box, so that's a little bit better. Yeah, no, this is a good product to break for your PC. And Lawrence France going to the Mariners and the short print. So the short he's, print. He's having a good start to his season. Yeah, a lot of people will chase the short print, but I don't know how many people are going to change their variation. I mean, that black one is cool. But I mean, you'll know in a couple of weeks when people start Between Heritage and AG, you got a couple. Of, you have a few of those serious collectors out there that really do like that to only chase do that those product two products. Yeah, because yeah, it reminds them of the old stuff. All right, let's see. Box number two. Let's see, keep this over here. My friend Robert, he's gonna break. He's like mm -hmm. a hardcore Alan Ginter. I Eric. like Alan Ginter, but I'm trying to work on that small set, but it's just. Uh oh, we got a seven. I think that's a buyback. 1975 at grain pool. Nice. A little damage on top here, it looks like. Damage in the corners. But that's an actual 1975 going to the Mets. I do like that. I think that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And it has the 50s anniversary stamp. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I mean, it's probably not super valuable, but it's still mm -hmm. cool. If it's bad. So this is a great product if you collect cards for your PC, right? Yeah, I remember it. Great. Cool. This is a great product if you just want to add stuff for the PC. Like I would buy the Padres in this. It's not. A, I mean, Padres are not even expensive. I think it's like fifteen dollars in this. Product. Yeah. Well, even the I keep looking at the Washington with Soto. I mean. Yeah. I made a mistake. I should just freaking bought a bunch of high-end soda cards. I don't know what I was thinking. Especially, that's like, that should be the play. If you want to make money flipping cards, just buy players that are good in the Yankees sign. Just go automatically up. That's like, one thing that really surprised me in Phoenix. I traded for a couple Soto autographs. You guys want rookies, and I'm, I'll take Soto. The legend. Yeah. Curse that. Oh, that's an auto. That's a real auto. Oh, we got a Mem and auto. Boys, we got a bonus card. Mem and auto. It's supposed to be an auto or relic in every box. Okay. Guess what? And cursed out rookie auto. That's a very nice hit. Oh, it's a new box. Nah, thanks, Robbie. <laughs> Got me all excited. It is the second. Yes, okay, never mind. It's the first pack in the second box. Well, that's a nice hit, though, for whoever has Baltimore. That's a very nice hit for whoever has Baltimore. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sick. I mean, not sorry. I mean, you're happy. That's a big auto, actually. Ori Orioles paid for. That's a nice rookie auto. There you go. 
I thought we were still in the same box. Sorry. <laughs> First auto. And it's nice, nice on card auto in the blue ink. It's like the old days when they just like the doesn't really match. They just sign on the card. Sixty out of nine ninety nine blue jays pitcher. Damn, I numbered up to a thousand. That's high. That's like uh Hey, what's going on at your life right now? I'm breaking. Can I call you back in a little while? You, anything important? But whatever you say is on stream. <laughs> Don't talk about your hemorrhoids. Uh, it's going to be weird. Make sure you guys spend all your money with Renee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, br I'm actually breaking heritage. Oh, you are? Awesome. Yeah. I'm, uh, where are you, Fanatics? Uh, we're in Fanatics right now, yeah. Uh, I'll be over there. I'll I, see you there. I decided to break it just because... It's not really like a it's not really a money break, right? The work we do and everything. But it's kind of cool because then the 1975 flashback cards and also I think it gives a lot of my followers an opportunity that might not spend crazy money on cards to be in a break with us for 10 20 bucks, you know. You doing percies or cases? We're just doing team breaks. We're doing three boxes at a time, which is like 600 cards, but get this, I ship every card. You do percies? No, I don't want to do percies. I just ship every card. This is not about selling this product. This is literally just. No, it's, uh, it's about letting you guys get in for fifteen bucks a team or whatever it is. Exactly. Yep. This yep. is this is more about community. Like, trust me, if I want to choose a product for my business, even though I like this personal, and I would totally rip up. Uh -huh. Like, this is a product I would come to your shop and just rip with you, and you know, right. take the cards I want for my PC and give the rest to kids. What, what are we gonna rip on our flight from Atlanta to San Diego? Uh, I'm bringing your case of Alan Ginter. <laughs> Big old, uh, that sounds like it's gonna weigh too much for the flight. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure something out. Yeah. All right. So. Talk to you soon. All right, man. I'll catch you later. I'll call. Later. I'll call you later. Probably by the time I sell the second break, we'll see. I'll, I'll call you in between. All right, sounds good. All right, bye. All right, later. It's our friend Jacob at Ross and Ross Cars and Collectibles. I gotta get over. I've never been to a shop. Yeah, we'll go together. We'll go to lunch. He's a nice guy. That's what the best part is, community, you know? Uh, oh, four different players. <laughs> Shit. All right. Some of this randomization is going to be pain in the ass. I think, I'm like, the duels, we're just going to do one randomization right and left. Yeah. Uh, unless somebody objects. And then we'll just do their team. Cole and Sully. But, I mean, pretty much my chat usually trusts me then and now. I mean, again, they're not high money. Right, I'm sure. not saying that last name. What was it, Kokuchi? Yeah, I mean, I, like, I don't think anybody's going to sweat. These are not high money cards. Unless you guys want to randomize the next hour. I mean, this is, what is this, like a 10 cents card, maybe? It's like, it's a cool card for the PC, but it's, it's nothing to worry about if you get it or not. Unless you're crazy. All right, here we go. JJ Playday in a short print. We'll take that. Look with the nice baseball sunglasses. Yeah, we'll figure it out at the end. We'll, we'll, we'll do what's easy. Again, like I said, I mean, it's nothing. And if anybody does have an issue, just let me know. We'll figure it out. It's nothing to really worry about. You are crazy. I could have told you that. But hey, you said hit for you. I hit for you. We hit. <coughs> we did, what did we just hit you? I feel like we just hit your Chrome card, right? Which in this product is actually nice. That'd be overpayment, probably. What'd be overpayment? Give him a Rick for today's pay. Uh, <laughs> he's not getting paid. <laughs> John Gray Ranges. Yeah, he's getting paid. All right, you know what? I have to... Are you coming the tomorrow? boxes. Are you coming tomorrow? All right, then just come tomorrow. We'll figure it all out tomorrow, so okay? Yeah. Right. I know you don't worry. We pay Rick and Hemorrhoid Green. <laughs> Pay with Alan Ginter base. I don't have any base. No, but I take Bowman base. I do have some Bowman base still. I uh, I'm surprised how many Langford base and the rookie base cards you can sell for three bucks. Yeah. I mean, white I, variation. I agree. I'm not grading base cards, but there's a lot of people that's again affordability. I just some think guys, some stuff kids, kids. That's the only thing they can buy. Is 
I mean, this, Bowman base. look, this is what I thought as a kid. And look, you get oh. variations, you get cool cards, and this is what I mean. That story the other night killed me with telling me about that card shop owner to deal with. Yeah. Because I oh. don't like that. <laughs> hey, what's up, Throne Sports Cards? Hey, Throne. Guys, Throne is doing case breaks. He ships every card. And actually, he really wants to give back to the hobby. Every card will be top loaded. <laughs> every card will be top loaded. Oh, look at that. That's cool. McCovey's pinch hint. That's a cool little flashback in my card. Throw on you. Dave's interested. Yes. Yes, Rene. Coming over to do that for me. He's, isn't he nice? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we actually did just hit a nice uh, Baltimore rookie on card auto. That was nice. Short print. P. Betty. Going to Boston. Yeah, Dave, go to Throne Sports Cards. He's going to do a case. And every card will be top loaded. Top customer satisfaction. Told you. <laughs> Dave is in. I got you new customer Throne. I don't know if Dave rips with you already, but he's interested. You know, I'm not reading all the names, which I usually do, because it'll just kill my voice. And since the base stuff is not that good, I'm not reading every name. You guys get to see them. We'll read the names on variations and stuff. This voice thing's been one of the scariest things I've ever dealt with. Well, I mean, whenever you got anything medical and uh, oh, I can take Corbin Carroll, new this. age, baby. When you got anything medical, you, you don't know what it is. You know, it's always a little scary. <coughs> Can I read the stats? Oh yeah, Throne will read all stats and commentate and commentate. This case is gonna be like a week break. New performers, Mike Trout. Throne, do you sleeve these? I'm gonna sleeve these right here. Not top load, but just sleeve. We basically been only top loading the short prints. There, I don't know if you know yet, Throne. Uh, I don't know if you open. There's a black and white variation, which is pretty easy to spot. I know there's some, okay, Jason Dominguez, that's going to get top loaded. The sleeve might be worth more, yeah, I know. But you know what? Not if it goes, again, you know, you and me talk about this all the time. So if it goes to your PC, nice hit for the Yankees, we'll take that. If it goes to your PC, right, you do want it in good condition. Bye. Love you. Bye. Drive safe. Uh, no, we got. Alright, there, there, there is an all black variation thrown. Um, let me see that black oh, Texas yeah. Ranger real quick. It was Texas Rangers. So we had somebody in chat say that these are actually, they're supposed to be, they're not numbered, but supposedly they only made 50 of this. Evan Carter rookie, so all black, and there's also an all white, all white version. So I'm, I'm surprised that they only make 50 and not numbered, but. So those are variations we had easy to spot so far. <laughs> and then the nice thing about... Here, this is going to... What do you do with this throne? <laughs> do you randomize everyone? Like, I think I'm going to do uh, just like left or right. Left or right side. Fire. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, here go. All right, boys. After the three box breaks, we're going to run 187 randomizations. Tommy Edmund. All cards ship except... Doubles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All card ship except inserts. So see, this is what I told you about. When you get to the short print, they just turn around. So this is going to be a short print. Anthony Sander. Also number two nine. So. Fire. No, I think what I'm going to do, we're just going to go right side, left side. Whatever's on the right side, left side. That's And that's just one of my people sorted. And then when we put them in, just kind of put them in the middle of the pack so it doesn't throw up shipping. You're still slow with spotting these, huh? No, I'm in there. Uh, I, I got it like, I, I got like, pop, 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 pop. I can do it super fast now. The alphabetical would be done. But that's not, they're by divisions. That's just what you need, divisions. Throne, do you sort by division? I bet you he does. <laughs> actually, Throne is the only other break I know that actually uses a sword tray. A lot of these guys just have them on a the tabletop, I which I think is crazy. I'm like, why sword by height. Sword by height, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Well, guys, I can tell every team is getting cards. I received it. It's sword mine by color. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna do a color breakdown. Every team is gonna get cards already. Viking program. NASA launches Viking one towards Mars. Actually, I think stuff like this is cool. But you don't like Alan and Gintry. I do like Alan and Gintry. I just think it's too many damn cards and too much. Honestly, I hate the mini cards. And when I was breaking it, I felt like a bad breaker because they just slip out. And that's why I actually, I like the minis because I think they are going to be the thing that gets thrown away and destroyed. I, I just saw on a list, on a release list, that's going to be Heritage Mini coming out. Yeah, well, actually, I think, I think there's, I it's, thought I saw something about minis in this. Oh, well, maybe. I could be wrong. Uh, happened Hold on. Times. Hey, baby, short print, George Kirby for uh, <laughs> Seattle. All right, just tell them to put... Oh, it's the desks? No, it's uh, paper products. Oh, just tell them to put it in front of the warehouse. I'm in the middle of a break. Okay, thank you. Bye. Do you have time? Oh, you don't have time, right? If you can put your numbers in it. Is it one pallet? Yeah, it's only one pallet. It's all free for us. Okay, just tell them to put it right in front of, like, against the warehouse. Not against the warehouse door, like, five feet off the warehouse. So I can get out the four yeah. critical pallet jack. All right, bye. bye. Sorry, boys. Well, that's good. That just arrived. Just got five thousand dollars was a top lotus. Oh, here we go. Short print, Mr. Mike Nelson Trout. That's a nice hit for the Angels. Short print on Mr. Trout. After this, um, so, after this, I have to um, go pull up Paladin real quick. Trout with the Angels. Throwing swords by Zodiac. <laughs> That's funny. Now, Throne is a friend of mine. Not as pretty as me, but he's working on it. So we got here Marlins Ray, so it's another randomization. Man, we're throwing a lot of randomizations. Price Harper. We have another short print coming. Jake Rogers on a short print. We already hit the Gromedus, we hit the auto already. So it's probably just looking for short prints. And I have not noticed any of the color variation. It's hard. I mean, image no, you, you have to have break to, a lot of it until you finally recognize. I told everybody they'll have to go back through their. Cards. There you go. Here, thrown. I don't know if you're still here. That's your wide variation. Should I can see if you see anything on the wide variations if it tells you how many of those are made. Somebody said fifth black is fifty. Guys, we have another break on deck right after this. There's twenty five teams left. Tani with the Dodgers. We'll sleep that for you. Fall of Saigon, the Vietnam War era ends. Kyle Tucker. That was a crazy time, huh? So I was. Were you over there? No, but I was looking. So I'm, I'm too old to have been, or too young to have been there in Vietnam. But we, it, we both know it's too old. But okay, we'll just. Well, what's funny is I can look at. When they first started the draft, I think my date was called like 18th or 19th November. <laughs> I would have been one of the first guys drafted for my birthday. Kelly variation for the Diamondbacks. I mean, short print. Well, that's good. Lucky they got drafted. Yeah, I mean, I was. I wasn't on this list <laughs> when I did go in. I used to know a lot of veterans, Vietnam veterans. That's White nice. border is 1 in 12, black wow. border 1 in 100. Black. Well, 1 in 100, then I would, well, I mean, maybe. All right, here we got Royals oversized card. George Brett, 
kind of cool, but I do hate to oversize. I'm not really a big fan of oversized stuff. To be honest. All right, last box, boys and girls. Just fold and put in your box. Oh, you got the. Do you want it, Robbie? You want it, right? Just fold it. It'll just be loose on top of your package. Paper. Yeah, we're gonna paper airplane it. I like the way DJ DJ's thinking. It is a George Floyd. It is George Floyd. It's cool. It is from Michigan. Oh, no one is so happy. Short print. Michael Soroka for the White Sox. What's the most famous baseball player from West Virginia ever? Probably Brett. Brett? Right? <laughs> Basketball's better though. Who's the most famous basketball player? Younger. Oh, wait a second, Virginia? West it's, Virginia. It's not Jordan, right? No, West Virginia. Uh, I don't even know, like I really don't follow this. The logo. Jerry West was a very Oh, Jerry West. Oh, West, okay. In 1959, West Virginia, the only time we ever played for the National Championship of Basketball in California, beat him on a last second shot. Jerry West never won the championship. Esther Ruiz, this must be some kind of variation. Brown? I feel like this might be a variation, too. Uh, I'm not sure. No. I don't think. Maybe it's not because I see a bunch over there. I don't know. Guys, if there might be some variations that I don't really catch, I don't think they're major. I think black and white is the big ones here. So, unless I see something that really stands out, for say Rodriguez rookie, cool looking shot. Apollo test project. Boom. Was that your phone? Yeah. Hey, pick it up just in case I don't want to roll over by accident. Then you'd be all mad at me. Oh, I, so I did run over my phone when I was on that trip to Sacramento two months ago. Didn't have insurance. I didn't pick that up. Yes, Mia Grandel, White Sox. I only break phones when I don't have insurance. Oh, I'm th I never get it. I've never broken. What it number was that, Esther Uri? What are you talking about? Did, did I just miss a numbered card? You seen Esther Uri? Thought it was a variation. Oh, okay. Oh, um, three hundred. Three hundred. It's a. It's like all brown, but I, it probably isn't. Missing for similar signature variation checklist. No, it hasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can't. Mean, there's a lot of errors, variations. No, uh, they probably do it on purpose, where in case you have that little signature copy, you have the straight card. Owen White. Curse that rookie. Rick sorting in slow speed over here. <laughs> the problem is he's a collector. He's freaking admiring every card. He's like drooling. Guys, if you guys find any drool in your cars, it's Rick. Aaron Judge. I, it's, I think it's kind of... I mean, honestly, this is not bad base because it's like 1975, right? And it's like different, right? So we're going to have this look next year. It'll be a whole different look. I think it's cool. Like, I think a product like this, we should send base. Bowman is different. It's kind of the same most of the time, right? It's a different type of product. Like, I don't send paper based. It's just not worth it. I just did send somebody like two boxes of paper base. They didn't even say thank you, man. I'm like, damn, it's a pain in the ass. I only did it as a favor. I think you at least get a freaking thank you. There's a young guy, too, I'm going to have to. Give him a lesson. Tell him it's like, hey, don't do. Oh, here. He drove you crazy that night. Too. He's a rookie this year. So remember, I told you. Uh, remember, I told you that night we had an MLB player breaking with us. 
Yeah. But how, why is he a rookie in this? He's been caught in and out several times already over the last few years. But he didn't play enough to make the rookie checklist? Is Probably. that what it is? I mean, there's some guys. So I had a woman come to me in Phoenix and ask. She was looking for her dad's card from the 70s. Yeah. And she said, I know he played for three years, but he wasn't on the big team many times. And I said, you know. If he didn't have the bats yet, maybe that's. A lot of times that happened. They'd sign a contract with Tops, but they would never have a card made. <clears throat> so on the other platform, this guy was breaking with me. He bought into like six of my breaks. Super nice guy. I talked to him afterwards. And I asked him, I'm like, you're not the same guy as the guy in the MLB, right? I'm like, I don't want to be rude. None of my business it doesn't matter. I was just wondering. I so, but I he breaks with us. I can't remember the guy's name now. In Phoenix, I was sitting there talking to a guy, and when he left, the guy was just like, I forget who he is. He's one of the Arizona players. All right. If I hit a second card of his, do you, I'm by it or something. I don't know. I want to send it to him. He probably doesn't care, but. Yeah, so he was breaking with us. I talked to him. He actually said he'll come on studio and break with us on studio. Oh, yeah. Should but I think he's a free agent right now. Okay. Like, with, he was with the Nationals, and they wanted to, like, he, he wasn't happy. He chose free agency. I don't think he's in the league right now. But he's been, like, in the league off and on the last five, six years. So that's why I'm surprised that he's a rookie this year. Is that your team, Dave? Do, 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 is that your team? Did you buy the Nationals? No, Seth, six team. No, no. You cannot give away other people's cards. <laughs> what? Mark Connor and I. Yeah, Sigrid, no. No, no, that's okay. Mickey Maniac. Mickey Maniac. Yeah, he was drafted by the Yankees. He was actually a big... He was one of the bigger prospects at one point. And then at the end, he was with the Nationals, and they kept on sending him up and down. Uh, what's your team? Tell me right now. So I will forget. What's one of your teams, Robbie? Twins of Miami. Uh, let's see. Which card do you want signed? Doesn't really matter, right? I have black marker right here. Or red marker. Let's go red. It kind of should pop on. There, at least this kind of looks like me. You want the back or the front signed? Wait a second. DK said, will he sign one of my... Okay, DK, yeah. Front, okay. I'm trying to sign it all careful. Well, your car just increased by a quarter of a penny. It just got increased by a quarter of a penny, buddy. Let me put that with the mouse. Actually, let's put this in my sleeve now. <laughs> And you know, because it's my signature, it just increased by 50 cents because of the top loader. All right. Can you use lipstick one of your cards? Uh, Robbie, we just asked hey. why for you. What? Rangers. That looks dark, the signature. Well, like it's a real signature? It, it's not. It's, it it's passive. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it's doing this. Actually, you know, it does. This might be a... It does. <laughs> Can, uh, look at the other that one. That is the signature. Nice catch. All right. What is this? But why aren't they... They're not numbered? No, they don't number the signature. But it's... That definitely looks different than all these other signatures. <laughs> I, I, Texas! You saw it earlier? You guys right. say no? All right. I'm not sure. It's Guys, it's like a really... It's maybe just because he used the to rest of them all look lighter, but you did just pull up that other one. That one is as dark as this. No. Funk, everybody says no, it's not. The number is 274. Yeah, no, he just used a thick mark. Everybody says no, okay. Uh, we'll trust our chat. I, I don't know if I showed all these now. No, I did. Wide variation. And Robbie Crossman. No, it's not. It's just he, he, for some reason, they used his in a fat black marker. 
Yeah, like, because I didn't notice it. Damn, but hey, you know, thanks, chat. I mean, we rather double check than make a mistake. And that's why I say, make sure you always look through your your common bags because you never know when somebody just might miss a card. These image variations definitely we're not catching those. Someone set the back with it say ROA, okay, rookie autograph, okay, that makes sense. He's having, he's starting to look really good for the Padres too, Kim. Well, he has, he's two time All Star. Uh, but you know, the other night he had two errors in the same game. <laughs> no, that's not good. And we've moved him back to shortstop. <laughs> Aaron breaks Ruth RPI record. And Kim is not in very many sets, but the Korean following is unbelievable. Well, same thing. That's why, like, I was people ask, like, you know, buy Japanese players mm -hmm. because they have they have their own following itself. You know, country players. Yep. I've had multiple real one autograph. Okay. Multiple times that people have walked up and took every Kim card I've had. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now you know the Cruz rookie. All right. Take one. That's the first one, isn't it? So I did do a test box just to see this product, and we did it on camera on Monday. Yeah. And I I did pull an Ellie Lilla Cruz yeah. rookie. But that's so it's not easy. I mean, two yeah, out of four boxes. Two out of four boxes, yeah. <laughs> Which correlation could be different on others, but but that's good. I mean, it's, it's not overprinted at least in what we see so far. Sunny Douglas Gray for St. Louis. Yeah, good short print. Good start yesterday. Yeah, no, yesterday's game was because everybody's like, oh my god, like I talked to other dealers and stuff, and they're like. Oh man, I hope Ellie does good. So the product that's good for this year, obviously, he's one of the, he's dead chase basically, right? So um, there's a soda. Yeah, we already pulled a couple sodas, I think. I haven't seen one in the Washington yet. It feels like my he's a player, PC. Yeah, you know he he's badass. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. Guys, next break is gonna be 801. If you want to get into the next break, Adam, I saw you just bought into 802. And if we're busy, these, if these breaks sell fast, we can do more. I can also do half case breaks. But I kind of feel like at this price range, any, everybody can buy in. Austin Riley, New Age Performers, Devin Williams. We have not hit the auto in this box, right? No auto, no chrome card. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Some to root for. Also, only one Dominguez so far in four boxes. And no nickel. No nickel. <laughs> the odds on that is kind of crazy. <laughs> like when I saw it, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Gotta get that nickel card. So I, that's why I'm curious. I mean, that one on one nickel, I'm, could that possibly be the most expensive 75 nickel ever sold? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> if you hit the one on one. Did you watch the Yogi Berra documentary on Netflix? No. You should watch it. It's good. Freddie Freeman. So I had bad experience with Yogi. Why? <laughs> I went to get his autograph one time. I paid him like 125 bucks to sign a bat. He was drunk as a skunk when I walked up. And that autograph on my bat must be that big. <laughs> I was like, dude, I said, come on, it's a baseball bat, Yogi. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed watching it. I'm going to rewatch it with Casey. That's funny. <laughs> and he seems like a good human, though. He was. And I Carlos funny. Santana for the Brewers, short print. I, I really enjoyed watching that. Also respected, you know, he had one woman, married her for like 200 years. I, I like that, I think. I wish people were a little bit more old fashioned like that, you know? That, like, as soon as we become stars, get like a different girlfriend, wife every week. Yeah, I hope I well, look at this, Jim Palmer. That's a, oh, that, oh, that's a 1975 buyback. That's the first mm -hmm. time we've seen that. I was like, this car nice. print looks like totally different. Well, usually the buyback's on top, so going to Baltimore, you got a 75 buyback of Jim Palmer, <laughs> kind of cool. I think it's got Baltimore. How late is that in his career? Uh, it's 75. Palmer would have been. Let me get here. Like roughly 67. Season 10. 
Oh, it's it also hand. Why is it hand numbered? Is it signed? Oh, yeah, the hand numbered. No, the other pie bag wasn't hand numbered. I don't think it was. I've never noticed a number before. Maybe they're only hand numbered if they're inside the box. Or is that the auto? Oh, that's an auto. That that might be. Because it says 1975 Cy Young Award Autograph Edition. That does not look like a real you know auto. What? I was just gonna look at the 75 card to see if it's. It's hand numbered. Because I think hand numbered what they said were gonna be in the autographs, but. But I, I mean, I, I'm telling you. Yeah, it doesn't look. I mean, I don't want to take it back out again. So, oh. hey, just so you know, either way, we take... I know it's cool, but I'm telling you, sick. It's it says it's ordered right here. It's hand-numbered in the back. I just don't feel like this is a real auto, to be honest. I mean, I could be wrong, but... I guess, what's the card number? The card number is 335, and it's numbered in the back. So, it's hand-numbered for sure. The auto just doesn't look auto to me. Unless they forgot to get them autos. 75 buyback auto checklist. Out of 75, yeah. But I mean, I'm just sorry. That does, this so like, does that look like a real auto to you? So do you have any 75 cards? Where the 75 is all signed? Yeah, that would be cool. I don't know. It does not say RA. I'm betting this is. All right, Rick. So, I mean, he must have used. So the only It'd thing, a really thin, like a marker. really thin pen or marker. Yeah. Does magnifying glass? I can tell, man. I mean, it's hand numbered and stuff. It looks like a fake auto. I mean, I, I don't. I, mean, I don't think Tops would get that. Oh, Rick is pulling out a, a magnifying glass. Let's see the seventy-five if they had. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Honestly, you have to take it out and touch the card itself, but I don't want to do that mm -hmm. since it's going to get graded. I mean, it's already a 50 year old card, but I don't know. Hey, either way, I mean, according to what it says on here, this is supposed to be a real auto. I'm not sure. I, I'm, it probably is. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we want you to be happy, sick. I mean,. According to everything on here, this is actually a real auto. That's actually pretty cool. 1975 buyback auto. It's actually a nice set. If we don't hit another auto in this box, this is definitely auto then. It's just really hard to tell. And who knows, maybe they had a buyback that he signed 30 years ago. I don't know. And I can't remember 75. I don't I don't think 75 actually had autographs on the front of the card. Can, can somebody do me a favor? Schreiker, can you look up the 1975 card? I can get on Beckett. I was going to try to look at Beckett. LX, somebody says it's a numbered buyback card. But right here it says autograph edition. Cy Young Award autograph edition. Schreiker says if it's numbered, it's one in 23,000 packs, basically. Somebody go f pull up the 1975 card. Yeah, LX. See, that's what throws me off, too. Because it says it's the autograph edition. I, I bet you this is Schreiker. Go, it's card number 335, 1975. The 75 cards have to facet, facsimile auto. Really? All right, you know what? I'm going to put this pack here for a second, boys. Now we need to get on the bottom of this. Because now we all look like idiots. <laughs> Guys, this is what we do in storage wars when we don't know what we have. We research what card number this is. Like she, like she. Okay, so it is numbered here. Okay, what's this thing? <coughs> yeah, it does look the same to me, huh? Hmm. I mean, it had two things. Leave it to the experts. Hit your buddy up. Honestly, to be honest. I, I think this he was suppo this is supposed to be auto and he forgot to auto. I that's like an auto. Right? So because I'm looking, this signature I see right here is not a real auto. It's the exact same one there. But and I, I don't think you would call it autograph edition on a facsimile. Unless you're crazy. I almost feel like this is supposed to be signed and they forgot to sign it. Oh the Dodgers lost, yeah. 
Sorry, sorry, Funko. So it's still a rare card. Card number three. Yeah, I feel like he's supposed to sign this. They didn't sign it. Or somebody who doesn't know says, oh, it's already signed. We don't have to give it to him. I don't know. I mean, sick. I would do some research. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Call Tops. Be like, hey, it says auto, but there's no auto on here. And they'll probably send you something. I mean, it's still out of 75. It's 1 in 23,000 packs, so I don't know. <sighs> I mean, he's not going to know that. He, he's in charge of Fanatics Live. He's not in charge of production. That's interesting. All right. Well, sorry. I wish I had a better answer for you. I just don't know. I was confused. I, I'm guessing they forgot to have him to sign it, to be honest. I don't think anybody would call it for simile in auto. Short print. Cal Rider back. Harold Ramirez for the race. Uh, I can. I can send you an empty pack. Yeah, I'll do the next one. Um, Alright, can you give me a team bag? Mm. So we'll do a team bag to special. Alright, thanks. That does seem strange. I, don't, I didn't see on the checklist. I didn't see an autograph on the back. No. It, it, somebody talked about it earlier. Here, I'm going to put this down here. I, I'm pretty sure that... Um, I don't know. I, mean, I would say they forgot to be signed. But it's on the checklist that's signed, right? So I, I did have, we were opening up Bowman. We were opening up Bowman. And uh, we, we pulled some cards that were in auto. And actually bought one of them. Yeah, yeah, no. And it, also, if you have any problems with them, just tell them you bought it on Fanatics Live from Bargain Hunters Breaks. So I'm like, I mean, I don't know what they call it. But they told me I'm, I'm like a certified breaker. So if you do have any problems, they can just check with me and I'll tell them, like, yeah, I broke this for my customer, Fanatics Life. Anything that you do in Fanatics... So that's an, another edge, guys. Number one, honesty stuff usually goes cheap on Fanatics Life because it's newer. And also, anything that happens on Fanatics Life, they take care of you. I feel I made it too thick. So anything that happens on Fanatics Life, they take care of you. And it's like everybody who breaks you on Fanatics Life, not everybody, but most, the, the old, the original breakers... They all like certified tops breakers. Not certified, but I don't know what the word is. Like tops knows we get it all direct from tops, right? So, so if you do have any issues, like if this is turns out like it's missing something, and you do have any issues, then you can just um, they. I, I would be a good reference. All right, we just sort this in because it's like weird to stack. Put it on the bottom. All right, guys, here's the pack. Sorry about that. If I really need to, I can always send somebody a message. Akuna and Guardians. Yeah, that's... If I had to guess, I think he forgot to sign or... You know, somebody was working on that and didn't really know and they saw the facsimile signature. I was like, oh, he's already signed. I mean, cool hit. I mean, still numbered to 75, hand numbered, kind of cool. This one kills me too. It's an asshole that a card again. <laughs> yeah, it's just... That one's a fat one. It's just like, it's weird. We'll see if we don't get any mem card or auto. Then that was that, that was supposed to be yeah. the same card, but again, I don't think he signed it. I told you I got that one card, NASCAR card, and it, um, the guy it was supposed to be a, a ten autograph, and he sent me a base card. So oh. I sent him the thing and said, "Hey, you know, send the wrong one." He, oh man, I'm sorry. Yeah, keep that one. I'll send you the other one. That's I got cool. the, the ten. It was on tape. Half the signatures miss. <laughs> Oh, shoot. The base is perfect, but the... the Padres, Campuzano, he said he's hitting good, too, oh, right? Yeah. Yep, he's very good. He's a catcher, too, so it's going to make it harder for Ethan Salas to come up. He won't, he won't be up this year because these guys are doing that well. You got Sullivan, they got three catchers. They don't, they don't need to push Salas as quick. Let him do one more year, put a phenomenal... I.V. Carroll? What does I.V. mean? Oh, image variation. Mm -hmm. Could be. Yeah. I'm not sure. Thanks, Funko. Funko, you're not mad at us because we root against you Dodgers, right? You, you have to understand, as Padres fans, we can't. You guys are too goddamn good. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, it is. As, as you guys are so good, we have. You're like the new Yankees. Even though the Yankees are good now, too. So don't, don't hate us, Funko Network. It just sucks being a Padres fan. In an off season, you sign every player. 
in a freaking league. And we got completely lucky two years ago, so we still got a shot. Yeah, we still lost. Don't <laughs> fucking die, just still win, you know? <laughs> it's like... Dodgers just signed Mickey Mantle and Babe Ruth somehow. Varsho under a variation. Or hope they don't have any gambling issue up there. Oh, with Otani? Well, nobody's talking about it. No, they get quiet. Dude. Oh, yeah, he'll be really good. You guys probably <laughs> got to sign him. We'll, we'll have him play one year for the Padres, and then you'll sign him. Nobody's talking about it, so, I mean. Must be over. Of course, did you hear what Pete Rose said? Yeah, yeah, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> if I had an agent, I'd be in a Hall of Fame. <laughs> That's, look at Dusty Baker. Look at this guy. He's just having a good old time. Baseball is the greatest. And all these like overweight guys, even though he's older, obviously. But Lennon, he's just having a great time. What a great card. Flashbacks. Trans-Alaska Pipeline. Is that the one we just shut down to? Huh? Probably. All right, one more pack, boys. You're good at catches, yeah. Oh, who's your catcher? Will Smith, right? Just got a huge contract. How's he done so far? I haven't even looked. I feel like we should have, okay, I think we have our Chrome in here. Josh Young. Okay, Chrome is in here. Image variation. Dominic Smith, I'm gonna top load that in a second. Pirates, Quinn Priester, rookie, 118 out of 375. We'll take that. Go into the Pirates, on the image, on the Chrome. And then image variation for the Nationals, Dominic Smith. All right, not bad. Everybody's getting cards, boys. Like, everybody's everybody's team tray already has a bunch of stuff in it. And um, he's only, like, halfway through sorting. Like, sorting Mrs. Daisy over oh, here. The Yankees are a little short right now. The Yankees? Or the uh, Nationals. Yeah, it's a $9 team, though. But, I mean, well, they'll the be... Solo come out. All right, let's figure this out really quick. Here. This is a pain in the ass. I'm going to do with this. This is crazy. There's a lot of these. Now, let me ask you a question. Where are you? Well, I don't have everybody here. Like, I should. I feel like I should just sort these at random. What do you think? There's no big card. These are not big cards, right? Right. And even these flashbacks. We, we can randomize the flashbacks, I guess. But even those are not big cards. Victory leaders. But then again, if somebody buys their team, then they'll get pissed off. Okay, we can't do that. We have to randomize it somehow. I know you don't care, Robbie. Then and now. You know what? We're just going to randomize these. We're going to go right side, left side. And then um, I'm not gonna look for duplicates. That's just too many. You know, this is the same card. Okay, give one of the tigers, one of the pirates on this one. That's what I would do, but it, it, who knows if if one person gets mad? Yeah, we go right side, left side. That's what we're gonna do. And then, guys, bottom would be considered right side, top would be left side. Yeah, I'll put up. A, I can put up a spinning wheel. We'll make it more fun real quick. Victory leaders, that's a four team that I'll just randomize. Alright, let me get my keyboard really quick. Right side, left side. Where's my random wheel? Wheel of names. Wheel of names. We should be able to see that pretty good, right? Oh, I changed that a little bit. There we go. Name. Right side, left side. Okay, we'll duplicate it a few times just to make it more fun. Copy. Then we go W, 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 W. All right, guys. Right side, left side. Good luck. Right side is considered bottom, okay? any Does anybody object that's here in chat to do it this way? If you object, you're just crazy. 
I probably should just answer them randomly, to be honest. <clears throat> but we'll do it this way. Guys, what do you prefer if I go right side, left side? Or do the way I'm doing? I mean, do you want me just to put some in each tray so everybody gets some? Nice haircut, thank you. I think right side, left side is the right way to do it, right? So at least the person of the team still gets it. I think that's the right way to do it, huh? Yeah, that's the right way to do it. No, you know, I think we go right side, left side, so still somebody that has the team. All right, good luck, guys. Bottom is considered right side. Let's spin. You should get a notification. We click begin break. So yes, you can buy in, you get a notification. It's going to the left side. You guys can see that, right? Let's go move this. It's going to the left side. We have a winner. All right, so all these are going left and top. You wanna do those next? Left side, top side. And then just don't put them on top, just put them in the middle of the stack. All right, let's, let's randomize these teams right here. Let's get rid of this. Let's open this back up. You're welcome, LV. So we're gonna have, um, yeah, left and top always. I mean, don't kill yourself. Even if you make a mistake, I don't really think anybody's gonna get mad at you. All right, we have one randomization. This is gonna go, I think they said go. So we got Tampa Bay Rays. We have Blue Jays. Oops, shift. Blue Jays, Rays, no. Race, we have Diamondbacks and Braves. No, 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 we don't want that. I don't like this interface either. But not too much. All right, guys, let me make open my window, make sure this wheel works. This is just gonna get for the one card. How come I don't see my stream? Come on, baby. My stream should be on top. Here we go. All right, this is gonna get randomized. Yeah, we started break uh, 800. We just finished, Jonah. We're about to sell 801. You should have got a notification. Randomize, guys, for this card. Going to the Blue Jays. Can you put that one with the Blue Jays? Maybe down there. All right, then over here. Guys, I'm just going to randomize each one of these. These flashback cards. I'm going to sleeve them too really quick. Let's leave them as we go. Did the cubbies hit? Uh, we're still sorting. Like nothing crazy. Not, like not the autographs or the, uh, the jersey cards. Not that I remember. This went to who? Blue Jays. It's on top right there. Left. Is that Blue Jays? Down. Got them right there. All right, so I'm just gonna randomize each one of these cards. I mean, I don't know what else to do with these. Every team will be in. I'll sleeve them as we go. All right, first one. Let's see if it tells me. This is gonna be Fall of Saigon. Actually, I think these cards are cool, but... Should bundle the flashbacks? Probably. But then somebody might, I don't know. Should we just bundle them? Oakland, so this one is going to Oakland. All right, guys. If I bundle this last four flashbacks, I can bundle, bundle after. But does anybody object if I just bundle them? They are not high value cards. Is there any objection if I bundle them? I'm going to wait 30 seconds. Again, they're not high value cards or anything like that. That's our last one, right? Okay, nobody else is objecting. I think they're cool. All right, guys, all, whoever wins the next one is getting all four cards. I cannot do after the fact. Sorry, Oakland, just because I haven't said it. Here we go. Randomize for all four cards. Did you guys see a wheel? New York Mets. I didn't even see the wheel on my stream. Crazy. New York Mets. So these are going to the Mets. Let's put it in the middle here. All right, that's it, right? So these need to be sleeved. I'll sleeve these really quick. I'll set up the next break. That's it, right? No more rent. We got everything, right, boys? 
So, hey, that gym bomber, we didn't hit MM card on that auto. They forgot to put the auto on there. I'm like 99% sure it's sick. Let's mark my listing complete. All right, let's get listing 801. 23 teams left, guys. Eight oh one. You good? I know it takes work, right? I can't see who that. Yvonne Rodriguez of uh, Texas. <laughs> yeah, Red Rangers. Who won left and top, right? Yep. Left and top, okay. I haven't seen your top card yet. No, it's only fine. Don't, Don't worry about it. There's only like two or three cards. All right, let me update this list really quick. Board. Let's put the table up. Let me put some boxes. Okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna just leave these cards really quick, and then I gotta go pull in that um, PCW ballot. Ballot. You guys having fun? It's not a bad deal right here. We got some hits for in here. Not a bad deal for the money, right? It's a cheaper break. Oh, I gotta do the teams. I forgot to do display text. All right, Dodges are gone. Funko Network with the Dodges, not winning today. Funko's gonna hate me, he loves me. Marlins, and he's probably gonna talk shit when they win the World Series. I don't, I just don't know what their third loss. <laughs> yeah, I know. We don't have to make Tom that, he probably oh, knows I'm that way. Killing me. I know. <laughs> Tomorrow's a new day, I know. Cardinals are gone. Reds are gone. Can't win them all. Yeah, I know for sure. Cubbies are gone. Orioles are gone. Sick. Orioles had a nice break the last break. Yankees are gone, right? All right. All right, guys. 23 teams left. 152 no. I took the future at 103.5. Oh, that they're going to win 103 games? I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Shit. What, is it even money? Yeah, it's winning two out of three games. Should, uh, can we still take that bet? Wonder if you can still like take that bet. I would buy that bet. Plus two seventy. So you got to bet two seventy. Oh, you getting points? So for every hundred dollars you risk, you get two two hundred seventy. Yeah, plus right. Yep. Oh yep. shit. Can you still bet that bet? Probably not, right? Or like an adjusted version of it. That is a good bet. I'll, I'll bet a thousand to win three thousand that they win two two out of three games. I mean, unless something crazy happens, you know. Like our star gets in trouble for gambling. Well. <laughs> What's the record now? You said they only lost three games, so what are they like? Nine and three? Nine and three. I Ten think. and three? Yeah, that's it. Uh, did you put a big bet in? I mean, you don't have to say it's none of my business. I'm sorry. I don't know why I ask. And the uh, size of a bet is all relevant, right? All right, these are ready to go to in their sleep. All right, so I'm going to go. Boys, I'm going to go pull that pallet in really quick. I'm going to put Rick on the screen, too. Ten and five, yeah, so that's. That's right on track where you need to be. And they'll probably just get better as the season goes. Yeah, I really believe him. Because Tommy is... Nice green cards. He's just bringing them back. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I, got, I just got a huge shipment from BCW. I got to go pull that pallet into the warehouse. And they made it on Fanatics. Green cards. Get your ass in this break. 801. Be a man. Be a man. All right. I'll be right back.
Just keep on sorting. Yep. And I'll help you sort when I come back real quick. All right, you still got teams in the stores, guys. 23 teams to go. I'm going to keep sorting these. You know, stand up too. Yeah, I got a lot of teams of storage guys, three boxes, everything's gonna ship. Look and see what down the Padre game comes on. I think it's an afternoon game. Let's find another game to watch. Philadelphia's up 4 3 over St. Louis. Seattle's up. Arizona's up. Chum Nuggle, thank you. And the Mariners. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's sell this one out. Of course, I got to get the sorting. Padres are still available. Pirates. Oh, I gotta take a picture. Sell the team. We sold Twenty-two. The Mariners. The Mariners is a good team. I took it off. That's funny. I didn't see Julio on the checklist, but I see a picture of his card. <laughs> double check that well, you know how it is with check. I, I was surprised <laughs> when you said it wasn't on there, but you know how checklists are. They're not always completely right. I need to take a pictures. Chuck Knuckle. Chum Knuckle. Wish I could read. All right, I'll be right back, boys. I'm getting this paladin. Show some love. So we, we signed a deal with BCW. They're going to be like our official supplier, mm -hmm. and they can take our pictures. So... Uh, so they send me a sample of everything they have so I know their product. So anything they have in the catalog, they send me. Yeah, I got, I got everything. Well now. <laughs> I probably ordered some of those, to be honest, too. So everything I, everything they have in the BCW catalog, we should have. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got teams in the store. We have a... At least one break listed, and we have boxes in the store as well. is up today. Tampa Bay is up over the Angels 3-0. Wow.
three boxes over there. I like BCW stuff, I do. Um, I like cardboard gold, but we've been seeing a lot of damaged stuff from them lately. Ignoring you guys, I'm sorting, but uh, I apologize. I am slow. <laughs> we'll get there. It does show that I was definitely a National League guy because I definitely got those divisions figured out much better than the American League. track how many teams we have. We have a few teams left, guys. Welcome in guys, we're doing a three box break of Heritage, just finishing up sorting out the last one, the other one's in the store available, I think we have five teams down, six teams down, plenty of good deals left, easy buy in point, and these are actually pretty cool cards. Welcome in, welcome in. Are you selling out? No. 
Getting you know? ready to. Getting ready to sell all of them right now. <laughs> 22 spots, boys. All right, let me help you. Huh? I'm getting close. No, you're good. No rush. Let's help you. Angels. All right, step halfways. You starting to memorize them all? Mm -hmm. I'm definitely better on the National League. Those are the National League teams. <laughs> it's so easy once you do so many of these. Dodgers, Phillies, Yanks. Oh, here's some more. What do we say? Left side wins, right? Yes. Twins. Oh, she's in the middle, on the bottom. Oops, just Blue Jays. Blue Jays had a nice break. Stacking the Blue Jays. They, they do, they do, so. I just noticed that Hank Aaron from Milwaukee. Yeah, no, I was one of you too. Uh, White Sox. Where's White Sox? Right? So we actually have a deal with them where we use their stuff exclusively. So we obviously still have some inventory from different brands. I don't know if you just said it a while ago. So we still have inventory from different brands. We're gonna carry that until we until we go through it. But then we're gonna have pretty much all BCW exclusively, and I'm also gonna sell you guys supplies at a better price than anybody. And not to make money, just to give you another reason why you break with us. So when you buy into a break, you can order your supplies at a really good deal. And it only costs you like 50 cents shipping per item. Which I'll probably end up losing money on. Red Sox. Right there left. Um, twins again. And Tigers. So I'll probably end up losing money on that. But that's just a way of us to give back to you guys. Nationals are getting some cards now. Blue Jays. Diamondbacks. Padres. Yeah, I think Padres actually yeah. might have got some of the fewer cards. Yeah. <laughs> but again, we don't have any rookies either. And it's like a 16. No matter what, everybody's getting something. Nobody is. Nobody's getting skunked here. Nobody's paying crazy money. Reds. Reds is the most expensive team. Cincinnati will get, baby. Over here. They got some short friends and stuff. They got the Elliot of the Cruz, Brewers, Braxton Garrett, Pitcher for the Marlins, Angels, Mickey Moniak on the short, White Sox. Yeah, no, we're happy with BCW. Nice partnership. Rangers. Maybe I'll go hang out at their booth at the Nationals and do some signings for free for them. They don't even know. I didn't even tell them I probably would do that. But uh, I hate doing stuff at the National because, or any convention, because I want to go hunt. Well, come to my show Saturday and sign tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I don't think it makes a difference there. Red Sox. Red Sox over here. Tigers. Rangers, Athletics, here we go. Guys, 22 teams left, let's get it sold. Brewers, Brewers right here. Cardinals had a nice break. Actually, it seems like, is there any team that's like really short? Not really, right? No. I mean, it might just be base, but every team is getting cards. See, that, that's why I did this. This is like, this is cool. You're getting some cards. Getting some cards for the PC if, if it's your team. Well, in some of these sets, it gets, you know, I'm a Gwyn collector. I don't think Gwyn's in this set. 
be one of the first ones he's not been in since he passed away. You should. That's oh, he's like in every Diamondbacks right here. That's not not a. He, it just looks. No, like is that is that the? I was trying to remember which one's the image variation. No, it's not. It was the oversized one. Oh, you don't put Diamondbacks right here. Rockies. Rangers had a lot of cards. Yeah. Well, they get a lot of championship cards. Yeah, a lot of championship cards. Yeah, so it is. Cardinals have a nice break. Reds have a lot. Braves have a lot. Phillies, not bad. No hard shell for the Phillies. Guardians and Twins. All right. Sick just bought in. Who did sick get? Who do you get sick? 21 spots left. All right, so you probably have to use the big graded card backs for most of these. You know how to do it. If you need a second one, you label it too. You do this now. You just picked up the Orioles and Phillies. Nice. Phillies had a medium break last break. It's a medium level team. Orioles had a nice break. You'll be happy. Uh oh, what was that? Oh, it's just a. But, but David, don't worry about it. I'll get it. It's just gone. Well, that sucks that they didn't sign it. That's kind of weird. 21 teams left, boys. Can we help you back some? Yeah, the Orioles had a nice last bat break. How come you're moving them over there? I'm going to bag them over here. Okay. Go ahead and I can bag some if you want me to. Do. Just, uh, actually, well, here, I'll bag them. I'll just leave them here, but then when you tag them with the tag. And then, can you give me some regular team bags too? Because I think somebody's just been regular team bag. Did you see any Jordan Westbrook? Um, what team? That's that's Orioles, right? Isn't he Orioles? Do you, can you check? Let me see real quick. Bill D bought in. What's up, Bill? Bill, by the way, I don't know if you want. Are you doing any more Sterling, Bill? Or are you like over Sterling? I'm totally down if you if you feel like doing st Sterling in between. Or oh, I still have Tribute. I have three. Yeah, I do have as a Jordan Westbrook rookie. You want to top load it? Probably since you're asking about it. That curse start is a nice one. That's signed too. Okay, no problem. What are we eating, Bill? I'm hungry too. You actually had two out of three autos, to be honest, except one of me got chipped. Yeah, one rookie here. I'll, I'll sleeve it for you at least. You actually bought him out of three boxes. You hit two out of the three hits. I get so much spam calls. So. And I get now I get it all in the emails. I just write it back to like all legit local companies. I'm like, oh, sounds great. Unfortunately, we have a policy when we don't work with companies that just spam us. There you go, Baltimore. We have a policy. If you spam us... Uh, yeah, I know you should. That's definitely a mistake because we know not the first time I've been called a spammer. Ah, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> you didn't call me. Just empty promises. Some of these might just fit in regular tea bags, the skinny ones. That one, this one did not. Yeah, so I thought it was and it wouldn't. Huh. Insta me. That's, that's <laughs> about as small as it is. And then good there, that the straight and stuff. Small one. It seems like look, it's like uses a little bit. That's probably borderline. I mean, it's okay, but it's probably borderline. Yeah. I couldn't even seal one. Huh? It wouldn't seal in a small one. Yeah, then just use a big one. Doesn't matter which one. They cost me the same money. I think it doesn't, it doesn't make no difference. Maybe I don't know. So. That, that card I was telling you about, I forgot. I have it somewhere next door. I showed it the other day. I paid my person like 150 bucks because I felt bad. It was in an HDA box. So I said, I'll buy it from you for 150 And then chat said I was crazy. I was like, I don't know. It's a variation, I guess. But I don't know. The guy who bought it from me, breaks. he broke a lot. I, I don't even remember who I bought it from. I don't even know if he still breaks with this. But he bro broke a lot with us. So I'm like, if you want it, I'll just buy it. I think I gave him $150 crate credit, you know? 
But yeah, it's like, you know, I mean, that's why I tell people all the time now. It's like, um, it's like, you know, I mean, it's, uh, we just crack them. I'm not Tops quality control. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure Tops will take, Tops is really good about this stuff. I've never really heard recently where anybody says, uh, Dodgers had to hit a bunch. Nothing crazy, but they hit. I never really heard of anybody saying it's like, I called Tops and they told me to go to hell, you know? That's Panini. That's Panini, yeah. Well, Panini doesn't tell you to go to hell, they just won't call you back. My list of redemptions is so long right now. It's, it sucks, though, too, because you've hit a good play with Panini. Yeah, if you were Panini, well, it's my it's PC good. guy. That's a kill zone. It's my PC guy, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like the best players of redemption, they never send them to you. you got to buy them from Panini employees on eBay. You know, frustrates me more that I go to a race and can get him to sign AJ Brown, yeah. It probably was worth... Like, it took me like a year and a half to get uh, John Moran Auto on uh, Hoops Premium, which is like him and Sign at the time were like the biggest chase, right? And by the time I finally got it, the value like split in three. When I hit it, it was like going all day long for like $1,200. Raw. Now, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth $300. It's like... Thank you, Panini. Yeah, no, Saw will be, uh, John will be good. Actually, Zion is, like, I don't know if you guys have been following. Zion is actually freaking killing it. He has a triple-double almost every night. And then the sixth seed. Zion is playing really good basketball. The reason nobody talks about it because they're always hating on him. They Yeah, they lost faith in the collector market, but... Honestly, Zion has way better numbers than Wemby right now. Hey, Shrika, if you're still here, if you're, if, you're, if you're working, don't worry about it. But somebody look up, we'll see what the stats are for Zion for this year. I bet you his average is more than 2010. It was kind of cool last night. I tuned in and saw some of the Celtic game and talking about Joe Mazzola, the coach, being like, <laughs> "Kid well, graduated with my son at WVU." I can't believe Joe Mazzola is coaching the Boston Celtics. That's cool. That's the kid was at Glenville State. I bet that college is smaller than any California junior college. That's funny. And he got hired by the Celtics as assistant coach. Yeah, that's awesome. Sick took another one. Which one do you get sick? Down to 20 teams, boys. Sorry, guys. It just takes a while to fill on here. The Nationals. Actually, Nationals did. I'm actually doing them right now. They did okay. Especially, I think Nationals is like a $9 team, right? Yeah. 23, 6, and 5 for side. That's it? Wow. I mean, that's still great numbers. I would have thought his like his assists. That's exactly where I kind of thought he was at, like in that probably that mid range. But I, I would actually I would have thought he had more than averaging six rebounds a game. Yankees did well. Yeah, I think so too, sick. And I still have a lot of 2019 sealed product, but I gotta hold till Jark does not play with guns. Or Sion kicks ass in the playoffs. It's going to be interesting. So many people put so much money in Wembyana. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes. They should have the number one pick again next year, so. I mean, he is a freak of nature. It's just going to be interesting to see what happens when he gets his first big injury, you know. Yeah, I like Memphis too. I, re I really like Jar. Jar was fun to watch. He just needs to get his shit together. He's not doing better than Wemby as an individual, but team-wise is better. But Wemby's still not really understanding how the game is played here compared to overseas. Sure, but also one can argue, you know, when you're in a shitty team, like players on shitty teams always put up crazy numbers, right? If you like the only really good player on a team, you're just going to take a shitload of shots. Look at Trout, yeah. <laughs> I, th I, I think it's different, a little bit different in baseball, but I think in basketball, you know, if a player really wants to, 
on, on a crap team, you can like uh, just pad numbers if like if they all suck, you just like screw it. I'm shooting thirty times a night. I always say when I see stats, I'm like, let me see, let me see what they're gonna do in a winning team. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I think almost everything I'm doing, I need the big bags. You took Houston, right? Okay, you're back. Okay. So uh, I would say let me let me see what they do in a big on a good yeah. Let 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 me see what they are doing on a good team. Oh, you wizards, yeah. Who, who did you guys sign? Jordan Poole? Didn't he have a game this season where, like, he had, like, zero points, zero assists, zero rebounds, and he played most of the game? And, like, the fan base was, like, totally pissed off. Yeah, okay, see, I hope Phoenix doesn't have to play him in the first round. I don't feel good about that. Yeah, Jordan, yeah. Remember when he was starting to do good in Golden State and everybody's like, oh, that, this is going to be our next superstar? I, I know I have some friends that are Wizards fan, and he's like, yeah, he just had 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. And I'm like, wow, did he get hurt early on? He's like, nope, played most of the game. I'm like, that's not good. That is not superstar numbers. I still got the worst story about the uh, Wizards. What's the wizard story? I went to see Jordan play his first wizard game. That'd be cool. Yeah, it's the first game Jordan ever missed because he was sick. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I had nosebleed seats, man. I couldn't wait for that game. That's funny as hell. <laughs> he was sick. <laughs> first game he ever missed in his career. I saw him get beat by the bullets. That's funny. I just pulled a, a, a Jordan, not a Jordan, a wizard jersey, a vintage one, because I was going through some boxes last night just making room in a warehouse. Only other rookies to do that would be like. Oh no, I, I'm not hating on being played. When Benyana is, he's obviously he, he's different. It's gonna be interesting to see how it goes. How old are you double uh, double played? And he could be an Otani. He could be one of those. Oh, when Benyana, I mean, yeah. especially I mean, next he's gonna get another probably a first pick next year. I actually thought he would get banged up a little bit this year. Oh, it's, I don't even know. It's a vintage, it's not a Jordan jersey. It's a Stackhouse jersey. If you ask me, like, next week, I can try to find it. Stackhouse was a ball. Stackhouse used to put crazy numbers on, but always on losing teams. Never on good teams, unfortunately. I used to like watching Stackhouse. Hey, will you put that back in a regular team, Max? Okay, and then you're just going to label them. We're done, right? All right, good job. So it. Um, how how old are you? Double play, nine one nine. You might be older than me. I don't know. Me hates on MJ. <laughs> no, he doesn't hate on MJ. He just said that he didn't see him. Oh, it's broke. I because I'd seen him play in Seattle twice. But I wanted to see him play again, one more time. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm going to be that last guy in the world that says Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. I think Jordan is to go too. Oh, Stackhouse? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I think Jordan. I don't even like Jordan. I think Jordan is to go. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm playing. He did things. That, <laughs> guys don't float in the air. You can't float in the air. Jordan can. I know. <laughs> I see. We haven't yet, sick, but we are going to go some Padres games. Yeah, the H question was for you, D-Played. Nothing bad. I was just wondering how old you are. I was going to point at another guy, and I totally just forgot his name. 
I just had a senior moment. So what should I do with that? I got two bags of ringers. And they won't fit in the other bag. Yeah, so what you, you do, a, so you do, you put the label on the first one that's up front, and then you write one out of two, and then you put ranges, two out of two on this one, and just put it back to back. And then make sure the first one sticker says one out of two. Ah, you are, you are 31, okay, you are young. Well, that's good, I wish I was freaking young. I'm like, almost, okay. Manny? Well, so, uh, what was the guy that was drafted as number one? Oh, Craig Odin. He was kind of like a way beyond a different though. He was he was so superior for different reasons, right? He was such a big guy, super dominating, and everybody is like next world Chamberlain, right? And um, Odin, yeah, broken, yeah. But man, when he came out, he was like the next god player. Remember that, guys? He was like, this is the guy, you know. And then he was just always injured. I I don't even think he lasted. Did he last five years in the NBA? Probably like on cheap backup contracts or like just hoping he plays a game. Well, who's your guy down in Phoenix now? Durant. Durant? I love Durant. My son did too when he came out of college. But boy, he got banged up early and just. Injuries, but still, he won championships. Yeah, Durant is a. been a great ball player. But, yeah, great. But I think that might affect him down the road. Yeah. Hopefully not. Well, I think what people hate on him, he's like, just switches too many damn teams. I don't like that. I don't like players that switch too many teams. But also you had, remember Yao Ming? He had like a couple of really good seasons, and he was like, he could shoot, he could post you up, he could do everything, and then bam. That's when I see Wen Bignano. Like, when he, when guys are that big, that's why I say, like, when, when they get those first injuries, they can really, really mess them up. And you know how it is with injuries in the NBA. It's one wrong fall, it's one wrong move, right? That's why I would say when people when people put up put, let, let's see when they play for a few years. Yeah, he was heavy for sure. He was a lot heavier for sure. But he could body Shaq. Remember Shaq? Even I saw Shaq do like an interview, and um, he was like, uh, like that's the toughest player he ever played was uh, Yao Ming. I still don't think Shaq gets the accolades he should. Oh no, Shaq is like one of the greatest of all time. And his, I mean, his rookie cards are worth. I mean, nobody <laughs> trades in Shaq cards. It's, yeah, I know. I don't know that he's ever done anything wrong either. And he's always been great in the public. He's funny, yeah. Charity guys. Shaq used to be fun to watch, man. It's like, oh, he's like three feet from the basket. Don't don't let him inch in that inch. Oh, Flat just went yard again. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's kind of life game. Padres playing already? Uh, 340. Uh, two more hours. I know I don't I don't get it either, Shaq. Like so, like thirty one. Um, you probably saw the end of Shaq's career, but man, Shaq was so freaking dominating. Like, like I don't know, Shaq would just destroy people. Yeah, the only thing they could do to him was go because <laughs> they knew he couldn't shoot free throws. Yeah. Check it back. This dude was so yeah, hacker Shaq. This dude was so <laughs> dominating. The NBA changed the rules. <laughs> That, that's like when you're dominating, when the NBA changes the rules for you. <laughs> Guys, we have 20 spots to go. We got personals to go. All kinds of stuff. Four hours in. Oh, yeah, big George. George Morrison, right? I remember him playing. I used to love the NBA. I used to watch from like 92 till... I'm probably just kind of out of date on the last two, three years with the rookies. Like now I watch some Suns games when I have time, but I don't have that much time. So, uh, I'm kind of outdated. But I will watch the playoffs. Shaq Fu, yeah. That's how I'm with college. Yeah, college bad. Like I never got into college sports when I was young. I would always say it's like all these guys. I mean, look, when you, anybody who ever played sports, and I did, I know it's hard to imagine, but I did. Like, sports are tough on the body, man. You get those injuries or those pain and aches, right? It's tough. And these colleges make like billions of dollars. They don't give anything to the kids. And if the kid gets like a free meal, they treat him like he is a traitor to the country. Yeah, so it's like. So I'm like, screw it, I don't watch college sports. I've never got into college sports because of that. Even though now they're finally starting to make money. Yeah. But it's like, uh... I don't want to be able to use one box. Huh? 
I only did we use one box for this. It'll fit in one box. Yeah, I was hoping to get one row. Oh no, I was doing no. So we don't want to do that. So that's actually a rule in our breaks. Right. One box per break. That's it. I, even if you're only using right. one row, each break is one 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 box. Yeah. yeah so one row per break. And one one box per break. Yeah, so I never watched college basketball because of that. I was just like, eh. I feel people should get rewarded for their work. I was born and raised on the college teams. West Virginia didn't have pro teams. So my grandpa and my dad, they were season ticket holders for football and basketball games for the Mountaineers. Yeah, I mean, actually, the atmosphere looks better than pro. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't it know. was fun, but. That's the one thing I wish that baseball just w wouldn't have like an open salary. Ca you know, they should have a cap and work with it. I think MLS should have relegation. The owners will never allow that though. Mm -hmm. Relegation is good for the leagues because you can have a local team make it all the way up. Yeah, Chris Paul is an awesome player. I like Chris Paul a lot. I was really unhappy when the Suns traded him last year. Did you hear his son is assistant coach for Connecticut? Chris Paul? No. I know you don't watch college basketball. Connecticut just won the, or UConn just won the, Hurley's their head coach. Mm -hmm. Their um, assistant coach is Bill Murray's <laughs> son. Oh, like Bill Murray the actor? Yes. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, he lives right here. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How crazy would it be if I could get Bill Murray to break some cards with us? Please. I think he'd be bored the whole time, though. Like, a lot of his stuff is, like, disinterested. Yeah, he's, he's so much excitement, you couldn't be bored. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I think he would excitement. be bored. I don't know, unless he likes cards. Golf. Golf cards, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get some 1985 Ghostbuster packs. That well, would be epic. You should go talk to... He shows up in Bar Bill Murray? Are you down here in San Diego sick? I mean, what's he gonna try? You probably even do it for like five thousand dollars. You think ten thousand dollars? I would pay that. I think. I think it'd be worth it. Oh, in Richmond, Virginia. Oh, so he goes to his sons. Sick. He's a big Virginian. West Virginian. Yes. Flatlands down there. Flatlands. <laughs> but I was giving my daughter-in-law's mom lives in Richmond. I was giving her a hard time. I never got an invite to the race this year. <sighs> oh, sick! I liked Maryland. I just, I just was in Maryland. I wasn't. Well, we were in Pittsburgh, and then we drove around like Virginia a little bit, Maryland, Pittsburgh. I thought it was really beautiful. We're at Maryland, big. Oh, East Coast, nice. Diamondbacks are losing to the Rockies. Oh no, Rockies are three and nine. They're not starting good. Diamondbacks are slow, five and seven. San Diego better play better against Chicago today. PG County, not far from DC and Annapolis. Yep, so I lived in Charlestown. So I've been, <laughs> you know, Francis Scott, he can do a pretty good song, but he can't build bridges well, can he? I don't know. Francis Scott Key, the bridge. I don't that's, know. that's the bridge that fell. Oh, oh is that the bridge? <laughs> well, he got hit by a freaking boat, you know, I don't think. <laughs> I actually, when I got up that morning and saw that, I had to look at that three or four times because I've been across that bridge. I'm like, there's no way that fell down. I thought That's got to be a makeup. It's the one that boat hit, right? <laughs> well, it was a freaking full size container boat. That oh, it, it's yeah. Wait, that, that doesn't matter how you build so it. So, the first thought that I had can the Coronado Bridge they have the same problem? No, it's much taller. Whoa. Well, well, that's bad for Amazon. It, 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 it's much taller. Supposedly, it's going to cost Baltimore, but it, it, it wasn't Baltimore, right? Yeah. Like billions yeah. of uh, business. Uh, one benefit with Baltimore, though, is they will be able to offload a lot of their stuff. So they can, they've got ports, Richmond, they can. Uh, Although some, some, a lot of the container companies, um, when that thing hit and they got those boats stranded out there, they called the shipper. Can you imagine getting this phone call? Hey, do you, uh, yeah, there's not a lot going into Baltimore. And it'd be easy to offload all Baltimore stuff hmm. to different ports. Probably be some good auctions. In fact, that's probably where that's 
for who or may not be a big four in there. <laughs> it takes them four or five years. But those boat companies, they actually told the, the people that were shipping with them, we're going to drop your stuff off at a, this location so for you to transport it. Oh, wow. Can you imagine? You're supposed to be getting in Baltimore and they say, hey, we dropped it off in Richmond. <laughs> I mean, what are your transportation costs, man? The only I guess at that point you would just be happy that you actually... Um, we don't do any Pokemon right now. We will do eventually. We'll have some Pokemon Breaker. We'll have uh, Rick over here break Pokemon. Yeah, I almost bought a pack of Pokemon today. I swear to God. Stop to get a cup of coffee in the gas station and Pokemon cards. <laughs> When's the last time you saw a card? Did somebody buy a tribute case? Oh, I shipped, I, I sent the wrong tribute case. I need to get that back. No storefront. Oh no, that's that's heritage. That's ended. No more storefront now. Only breaks, yeah. Oh yeah, no tribute is amazing. Yeah, we sold our storefront. Why does it say we have a tribute case in here? That's so crazy. Nobody bought tribute. Full case, one spot left. I made break 800. I don't know what the hell. I mean, Fanatics is like. Yeah. Unless this is old, hold on a second. No. This is break 800. So weird. Uh, what does it say? Seven. The only one who, person who would buy a case of trivia would be Bill. He's eating. He didn't tell me. So eight, eight. What the hell are you talking about? Personal Sterling Vivid. Guys, let's. You, anybody want to do a box of Vivid? That's actually a really cool product. You get five autographs. The cards look badass. We already pulled some nice ones out of there. Trivia full case is still here. If the price is right, if I can make money on it. Oh. Is it seal cases sick? I pretty much only buy seal cases. One spot left, personal break. Yeah, why does it say it's sold? Oh, you do? What's you? Oh, or who do you stream under? By the way, if anybody's watching the San Diego area, we are hiring more streamers. Yeah, I mean, if it's profitable, I'll buy anything. <laughs> Grey Blue Sports Cards, okay. I'll check you out when you go live. So Zig, I haven't met a guy in um, Burbank that has a shop in Richmond. Um, can't remember his name of his shop, but it was interesting because I was asking him if he had any NASCAR business, and he said no. Twenty teams left, guys. I I'll have to look. I cannot remember. I, I'll have to look. I think I grabbed his card though. Very nice. It was a uh, guy probably Renee's age. And a 22, 23 year old. Oh, you know what? Let me refresh. Yeah, that's that's funny to me because I I do very well when I go to the NASCAR town. So here I don't do that my NASCAR. But if I go to a NASCAR town, there's usually good customers. So. That's so weird. Yeah, that I really had a great time talking with them. They were out uh, at Burbank for the show. Yeah, that's a long long flight out from Richmond to Burbank for that show. 
Grabo's. I will have to look. That actually does sound familiar. Lottie just hit a 459 yard home run for a feet. That's crazy. That's a lot. 459. You know, for um, rookie of the year watch, American League, yeah, Texas has two, and Baltimore has two. <laughs> nice. Jackson Holiday, and then Coles and Concert, and Cole Cowboy. Cole Keefe. Langford is going to win rookie of the year anyway. And then over here, it's going to be Cherry, which has had a nice game. Well, Zig, tell him I said hi. I, uh, I enjoyed talking to those guys from Richmond. That was a very good visit. Scheme's still down. You know, Holiday got called up. But Scheme's ain't going to stay on long. He's really pitching well. Holiday might see that. I don't know. Holiday or Langford here. It's going to be interesting. Oh, you got even Evan Carter sitting the way he's pitching. It's still early. Yeah. But let's, let's see. You want to go restroom with me, okay? You know, no politics I on stream. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's funny as hell. <laughs> no. I don't know, Austin. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Only if you want to sip, don't worry. I mean, like, breaks on here feel slow. I don't know. Actually, I did a smaller. I usually, I usually do full case breaks, to be honest. I usually do full case breaks, but I was like, let's just do something cheaper where a lot of people can participate. But I know it's still early too, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, thank you. Were you happy? Hope so. Yes, man. Awesome. We try to do really well. So like that break we just did, everything is already team back, tagged, it's ready to be shipped. So we do have two. Yeah, breaks do get dead on Fanatics. It's just, I mean, it's just still a very new website. We'll get there. Yeah, it's all good. I'm just a very high energy person, you know what I mean? So it's like, when it's slow like this, it's like, uh. No, I love Fanatics too. I mean, I think it's the future, so. It always imagines, imagines me like, so today it's like really cheap teams with like 30 people and I'm like surprised nobody's buying in, but it's okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah, see all these usernames in here that like none of them ever chatted. And I don't think none of them ever really bought in, so. Oh yeah, Adam just bought in. There you go, Adam and oh, he bought an eight oh two, bots. I don't know if it's bots. I don't think it's bots. Adam, right? I, 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 unless you didn't get your team, but right now we're trying to fill eight oh one. Just so you know, that's the next break. But I mean, unless your team was already gone in eight oh one, eight oh two. No, yeah, N NBA and NFL. I mean, Fanatics is the future. They just got to. Uh, the software still needs a lot of work. A lot of work. But we'll get there. I wish they did. I know you're not. And don't worry about it, Adam. It's just, I just want to make sure. Like That's what I figure. That's most of the time when people want to get their team, right? Um, I just wanted to make sure you know that you that's not the next. Because sometimes I had people like, oh, I thought about it in the next break. I've seen you around, Adam, I feel like. So the veterans know. Uh, I wish they were to buy. I, I don't think it's well, everything from I hear from the fanatics people that I know. None of them are saying they're gonna buy the Panini rights. I wish they did because it would be nice if we have all those brands. What rights do they have left? Well, we don't have any leak rights, but it, it would be nice if Prism continues, and you know, I like Origin and Obsidian and even Flawless if those products continue. You know. Well, yeah, they still get the license for NASCAR. Right? And that's they're gonna. But as bad as they're doing it. 
Over half the drivers were redemptions in this last set. That's just Panini. National Treasures is not going to be all autographs. Those are going to be redemptions. Don't you know the Panini company motto? We sell you shit we don't have. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you how they got stuck? Panini now has ended up getting stuck on this NASCAR because Pristine, they went in and signed the guy's contract. Oh, really? For their signatures. Now, if Panini wants to fill those things, they're going to pay Pristine to get the autograph. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, that's it unreal. was a smaller company. So actually, it's big on a global scale, but on America, it was small. I mean, everything exploded, obviously. But yeah, but they've been around for years. I mean, they did a stance uh, back in the early '80s. So when I got into breaking, when I really got back, I was breaking a lot of Panini product, right? And then you know, obviously, I got with Fanatics and Tops. The quality on Tops is just so much better. Oh, that's it's not even close. You know, you get very few redemptions. You know, most products have one or two redemptions, very little. You know, you might have a redemption on like a triple auto or something crazy. Um, my customers, when they do hit redemptions, they all say they're getting them really fast. I got so that's my nice. redemption back in about three weeks. Yeah, points is freaking ridiculous. Well, and then. I don't want no points. They always give you like, oh, here's 400 points, and no name players, 800 points. You know, it's like. Right, I mean, and we don't update our... We haven't added a new NASCAR autograph in 18 months. Oh, that's crazy. Well, I got all these points. Well... <laughs> I, don't Ugh. I don't know. I mean, unfortunately, I think they've really set themselves up for lawsuits. I mean, to me, that contract... I've signed a contract. I have a contract with them. They owe me autographed cards. I bought Jar those. Field just bought into 801. What's up, Jar? I, I can't wait till we get Topps Chrome football, Topps Chrome basketball. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm looking forward for all that. I think it's going to be amazing. Could you imagine getting a like dynasty? You know how badass dynasty will be in basketball and football? Look how nice the Formula One stuff is. Uh, I'd like to see them in NASCAR too. I'm sure they're going to do all lines. I mean, they spend a lot of money for the licenses. So you're going to see Tribute and Museum. and I'm look, I think Cosmic will be badass. I would like to see Upper Deck get back into some more. Upper Deck, the problem with Upper Deck is they still think it's 1986. They do. And the Formula One has been crazy. Um, uh, but Formula One tends to. And we do have some Formula One. I talked one time to one of the ex Upper Deck, like super high up people. And he's like, well, we don't believe in breakers. We don't believe in social media. I'm like, well. That's what most newspapers said, and that's why they're out of business now. Mm -hmm. they, well, they don't believe in online in general. Jay Phil just picked up the Phillies. Didn't you have the Phillies early already? Did you buy a second team, Jay? No, you just picked up the Phillies. I might have just clicked it already. Yeah, you have the Phillies. Sorry. Yeah, I used to like Upper Deck product. It's just the upper management. They don't. They're very backward thinking. Thinking. Yeah, well, and, and we, I keep wondering why they've got those guys signed exclusive contracts for their autographs. Why don't make some money off that? Zelda! What's up, young lady? Did you get your, um, did you get your packages? Angels. It's coming today. Nice. Cool. That was the one that went back to the post office, right? No, uh, she was worried the other day that uh, she didn't get a redemption card. And then she knew one break was missing, an entire break. Oh. But then she didn't know there was actually two entire breaks missing. But it was different shipments on different days, so she couldn't remember. She basically broke with us like a whole bunch in a week and she couldn't remember. Yeah, MJ so far. Yo, but so was LeBron, so eventually, who knows? Yeah, and, and you would think that they'd want to make some money because I, no, I haven't seen any new upper deck pictures or anything of Jordan come out autograph, so... I, I bet you once Fanatics does do NBA cards, they're going to do something to get MJC. You know how oh, popular? You know what I'm waiting on? What's that? <laughs> Bring him into a NASCAR set. He owns two of the most popular NASCAR cards. But he can't sign. And so well, he's never going to sign for Panini. To, uh, upper Deck used to make NASCAR. <laughs> well, if they get NASCAR back. That would be too cool because they also have Earnhardt Sr. under contract. So I bet That's you. That's why we've not seen an Earnhardt card. Metal has a Jordan Auto. Oh, I bet you anything. I bet you anything. Jordan, when 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 Fanatics gets uh, gets to NBA, 
they're gonna have Jordan in there somehow. It's kind of funny in NASCAR. You got him and Brad Dar, that both go to NASCAR Cup. Played together in college. It's funny. Basketball. Hold on, I'm just sending a text That's support issue to Fanatics. Uh, actually, I need to move this over here. Yeah, that exclusive does kill me. I mean, I was only like two feet away from Jordan at the Vegas race. <laughs> I'm just knowing I can't get him harder. <laughs> Did you guys go to the big show? What big show was last weekend? Oh, is that the one? <coughs> I don't know. In San Diego? Um, I don't go to the local shows anymore. I, I go to every show when I can. I like going to it. But honestly, I don't really go for business as much. I just go to find stuff for the PC. And I'll buy wax, but nobody ever has wax. So I, I had one guy, I mean, this is how people, and that's how the hobby kind of got messed up. Um, so they do that more with Panini, Zelda. You can see, you can compare, just check the market, maybe. And it'd be, so if you do it right when cards come out, it could be better. Yeah, so just see what the market is now, right? If it's like, when a product right comes out, it's probably not the worst way to go. If I were doing any redemptions right now, because I do NASCAR and that's where Panini's still filling up the redemptions, if it's not my PC, I'm selling the redemption. Because I got a real bad feeling we're never going to see the redemptions fulfilled from Panini. Yeah, but we're talking about Tops. She has Tops products. Oh, so, and she has Tops. She has a Vlad so Vladimir I, Guerrero. I would not. Then Tops, no, because they're fairly quick about getting better. I mean, if, if it right away comes out and it's a big card, then I would sell the redemption, just the card. Yeah, but Tops is in general super quick, yeah, so. Yeah, they are. They're good at it. So this is why, like, it's so hard to go to shows for business. Bill Donga just bought in. What's up, Bill? We're down Welcome to 17 Bill. spots. So Diamondbacks off the board. So I go to a show, and, you know, a lot of people came in. And, like, I would say, like, they're like the Walmart flippers. They buy the plasters at Walmart and try to flip them, right? So this guy has a whole case of 2020 Prism Fanatics football. Which was a good box, right? But that's that product dropped and price is trapped, right? Yeah. So like, I was buying stuff from them too before, and when the market was high, they're like, they're like, oh, I bought it for fifteen hundred, but now everybody's selling it for four thousand. I need to get four thousand, right? right? I'm like, all right, that's the market price. I pay it, whatever. But now the market dropped, and he's like, I, Renee, I can do like, I can do three thousand on this case. I'm like, dude, that's like ten cases listed on eBay at two thousand. Blowout is at two thousand. Like how? I'm like, I'll give you two thousand if you want to. I'll pay you cash two thousand. Uh, Bill bought another one. Bill picked up, and he's like, No, I'm into a twenty eight hundred. I'm like, Wait a second. When you make profit, you want to get all the profit. But if a product goes down in price, you expect Never me to bet. cover the loss. Yeah. I'm like, How the hell? What kind of business is that? Giants are gone to Mr. Billadong. I'm like, What kind of business is that? Well, and then I've had some of those same type dealers come up and want to buy my NASCAR stuff. Yeah. And tell me I'm overpriced on my NASCAR, and then the next week I see them with the same wax for 25 30% premium over what I could ever get out of it. They're just going to set on it. <laughs> yeah. It shows wax is hard because of the percentage, and it's not making it. I mean, these guys bring their wax to the show, they don't want to make anything off of it, which I don't understand. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like some of the people thinking is like, if I make profit, I want to get every dollar plus some extra. If something goes down, you need to cover my loss. I'm like, well, unfortunately, now we've got these smaller at our local shows. We're not seeing the, um, you're not seeing any of the guys that buy direct. Well, because there's a lot of rules you can't sell. I well, was you surprised. Gotta, you have a storefront to get panini, so your panini guys. You can't even get out. You can't even get storefront panini. Panini sucks. That's like that's why I just won't buy their stuff. Just won't break with them. 
Have you ever been out to Elko in the dealer shop? Yeah, but it's, I mean, he's a nice guy and his daughter's nice, but it's it's a yeah. baseball shop from 20 years ago. Like, I, I went in there and, like, I, went, I bought a whole bunch of stuff when I had my store. I forgot what I bought. I bought, like, something stupid, like, but some kind of space carts or Power Rangers carts. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the carts had, like, a dust layer this thick on it. Nobody's asked about these carts in 15 years, right? And he had, like, nine cases there. And he was, like, uh, $24 a Hobby Box, which is cheap, right? It's okay for... It's actually... That's what they go for. They actually go for less than that on eBay. But in my type of store, I get people all over the world coming in just to see us, right, when we at the store. And uh, I'm like, I can sell those packs for like $1.99 all day long, which gives me 150%, right, which is a good markup. Mm-hmm. And I always put those boxes on my counter, right? So I'm like, hey, how about I buy all nine at 20 bucks a piece? And he kind of got mad. He got like off on me. Oh. He was yeah. like, yep. oh, this is not a yard sale. It's like, you think you're in your storage show? I'm like, I'm like, don't worry about it. I'm like, I was just trying to give you business. Obviously, these boxes haven't moved probably since the Power Ranger movie came out. Don't worry about it. It's like it's a lot of a lot of businesses like that today. It's, uh, well, it's 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 the old time car dealer that just well, don't know human well, interaction. You know, last time I was over there, three of them, and I you know pretty much every time I walked in the door, about two three hundred dollars, and I was told I don't talk loud enough, and it really bothered me. Really? I said, okay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> don't miss me when I'm gone. Yeah. So I. I and, <laughs> and, 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 so and I've been buying from you since 1983. So <laughs> and, you're talking about the one on Santee, right? <laughs> yeah. So then I told him, I was like, don't worry about it. I don't care about buying. I was just trying to give you some business. It makes no difference. I, I have I have so many cases of old carts, you know, I of like no name carts. I love supporting shops. I yeah, really that's do. the only we reason. We need like, to keep shops in business, or we won't have a collector market. <laughs> yeah. So it's like I, I, I only was buying them to support them. So, but if, it's still when I support them, I'm trying to find something I, I really like myself. Or something I can't make money on, right? And then he's kind of, and I'm like, don't worry about it, just keep them. He's like, nah, you can buy them. I'm like, I don't really want them now. <laughs> he's like, come on, just buy them. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. All right, thanks, Sick. So it's like, but I'd, honestly, I've never been back since. I was like, I feel no, well, and, and I, I feel actually, no urge to go there. So I like support shops because I feel guilty about not because you don't order supplies online. If you're looking for a cardboard box, you don't order online because it'll cost you twenty seven dollars. Yeah. You can get a shoe box. So I like to go into the shops, but then when I feel guilty if that's all I'm gonna buy from the shop. So I try to spread do, some business to Do it. you know the shop that is off uh, Claremont? Some old guy guy. So I've been up to his shop twice and he was closed both times I showed up. Yeah, <laughs> so I go there. I mean, damn, you don't even have your door open. It says you're supposed to be open and I, I don't drove, think he cares anymore but No, they don't. That's and I struggle here in California. I think I see a lot of businesses like that here. A lot of businesses really don't care about. I wanted to open up a really cool cart. I wanted to open up a really cool cart shop, but then Panini says, "Well, you can't get any of our products." And now I'm doing breaking a lot. I'm like, "Do I really?" Oh. And the way the, the laws on California, do I really want to deal with public? But I went to that guy's shop twice, and both times I go in there, and I'm looking around. You know, just look. He won't even talk to you. No. And like oh, when you no. ask him a question, he's like, "Why the hell are you talking to me?" I'm like, and I was like, "All right, well, that was twice, and that, that's enough for a lifetime." I actually bought cards from him back in 83, Scottish Rite Center. He used, to, he used to do the shows. So back then, you know, you had the stadium right across from Scottish Rite. Mm. Ball players would be there every month. They'd do a show at Scottish Rite. Huh. Ball players come over and sign. Good times back then. Huh. Case hit carts. What's up, buddy? He bought into the break. Case hit carts. Guys, a lot of good teams still in here. I'm running smaller breaks just to make it affordable for everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Houston Astros are gone. K set carts. 15 spots to go and break 801. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. So then I don't want to deal with the. I mean, I know I can get a account. So I'm hooked on an idea right now. I might drive by it tomorrow and, and the next day. And see, well, I can't do it Friday. I'd love to get the number and find out what they want for it. So we closed down at Walmart down in San Diego, right around the corner from me. Oh, really? That was one of the neighborhood Walmarts. Back in the day, I understand that building used to be an indoor swap meet. Hmm. That'd be the perfect location for like a ninja exchange. The problem is, the problem is uh, in, in California, all the laws are terrible. Well, yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to hire security. Hold on, I heard somebody at the door. Make sure it's not the delivery guy with the desk. Will you take over? Yep, we'd have to hire security. But it's not security. The laws are against security. Well, they're, they're trying to change that. That's, 
guys, we still have Angels, Boston, the Sox, Cincinnati still available. Chicago Cubs, Colorado. Who else is out there? San Diego still there. Mets, Texas, Toronto, Tampa Bay. Another pirate break. That interests me. There's Clemente's and Stargo. There's cut Stargo autograph. Zig, I'd love to do that Chantilly show. It kills me. I lived, you know, 30 minutes from Chantilly and never went to that show. <laughs> then I get out of here and I get back into the card business. And, yeah, I would hope to make it back there either later this year or next year for the Chantilly show. That's been a, and it's been a consistent show for years. I mean, I got out of the hobby when I was back in Charlestown. I, I was in construction and I wasn't doing a whole lot other than the NASCAR stuff. So, um, never went down, but I used to watch every month and look, they always have a big lineup of autograph guests, uh, a lot of big stars too, which is something that surprises me out here. We don't have many autograph people at our shows. Oh, I do. I uh, <laughs> Yes, I'm a West Virginian. I have a 23-acre farm. I live on a golf course in West Virginia. And I'm stuck in a city. I'm like a zoo animal. <laughs> but I have a wonderful wife. Two great kids. I'm blessed. So I'll suffer it out a couple more years. <laughs> I will say San Diego is a beautiful area. It really is. I, you can't deny it. We have our issues, just like everybody has issues. Ours just seem to be more. <laughs> yeah, it's funny to say, because my son lived in, uh, he was in New Jersey and worked right downtown New York. And we were talking a couple weeks ago, and he said he still misses his time working down there. Because he'd have an hour commute on the train, so he would work. All right, I'm going to, um, I need to make a phone call. Mm -hmm. I'm going to post on social media 15 teams left. If you have to get naked, get naked, but sell these teams. Yeah, yeah well, in Virginia and guns in West Virginia, that's... Remember, push the team. Why we exist. Why does it not tell me how many teams I have left? Sixteen? Looks like sixteen teams. Manhattan and Brooklyn. So I spent time in Seattle, mainly back in West Virginia and in Cedar, so although when I say West Virginia everybody thinks I came from the country. Zig. And uh, but I was right on the border, so that's really the Baltimore, Washington area. It's not really West Virginia. It is, but that's about all that's there is the beauty. Zig, which one did you just pick up? Let's see. Boston, off the board. Thank you, Zig. Pirates. Oh, got it. Let me just pick one off. Zig with the Pirates as well. Thank you, Zig. Sorry I missed that one. When growing up, I was on the other side of West Virginia, so the Pirates were always my team. You still got Atlanta left. Chicago, Cleveland, Cincinnati is still there. LED Cruz. Welcome, my dad's team. Welcome in, guys. We're doing a three-box break of Heritage. All cards are going to ship. 
we are still learning the product. I think we caught most of the variations and stuff last time, but um, some of those image variations were definitely interesting. Mets, Minnesota, Kansas City, Atlanta, San Diego left. Tampa Bay, Chicago, Reds, Texas, Toronto. Oakland A's, Cleveland, Colorado, Detroit, Milwaukee, Oakland. Interesting. I'm going to watch this move. I don't like when teams leave their towns. Chosen, thank you. Chosen, put down. The Braves for Chosen, thank you. Good luck. Rays are sold. White Sox, Cincinnati, or Chicago. Thank you, thank you. that one. I better go through my list again. That's right. Mariners and Blue Jays. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I got that. <laughs> I'm looking for a name extra. <laughs> Arizona and Colorado tied up 3-3. Padres kind of need this win today, don't they? Yep. San Fran put up some numbers today. Wow. You guys, we got three boxes. Heritage. Everything's going to ship. We'll large leave the hits and the big rookies and team bag everything else. We do still have Minnesota, Kansas City, New York, Mets, the San Diego Padres. White Sox, Tampa Bay, Texas, Cincinnati, Chicago, with the A's, Toronto, Milwaukee, and Detroit. Yes, I am Bill got those, and I missed that. Thank you. Go back over my list, make sure I'm right. I think I got back. Ten Washington. All right. Thirteen teams left. left and probably let's see what's out there. Cleveland. Of course the Padres are always a good one. <laughs> Texas is Texas did really well in the last break.
three middle of the eighth in the Arizona game. All right, 13 teams, guys. The walk, the White Sox, the um, Guardians. Look at pulling at the Cubs, the Guardians. Colorado, Detroit, Milwaukee, Kansas City, Texas, New York. A's, San Diego, Tampa Bay, Texas, and Toronto. I like my decks to sit here. Hard to pick the truck. Uh oh. Casey said they're coming today, right? Um, I can't remember. I thought she did, but then I thought she said that the other thing came. She did say it was coming today. Thanks, Roger. That's right. The San Diego, Tampa Bay, Texas, Toronto. One of my customers that uh, is a Padre fan that comes to shows told me he just bought a um, condo block away from the Oakland Stadium where it's going to be. So he's looking forward to two more years. He's going to retire, and he said he's going to walk to every baseball game. Thirteen teams left. That would be. I was, I'm fairly close to the stadium, but. Um, when your team is popular, it's harder to get a seat. <laughs> so. Would like to go see a minor league game this weekend. Not sure I'll have time with the show I got going, but I'm doing a show in the town where we have our minor league system. So, kind of nice. Told so, Renee you should go Saturday. But he'll be back here breaking, I'm sure. And again, guys, we got other things in the store. We've got a uh, break going. We've got another break list, I believe. We've got some Lee Vivid baseball. We've got um, Top Scrum Black personal boxes. We've got all kind of stuff in the store. If you see something else you might be interested in, you have 15 teams left. I wish our minor league team wasn't so far from San Diego. I mean, I'm close to the pro team, so. But yeah, it's an hour and 20 minute drive for, for me to come up to the games. I wish I'd have saw them last year and came up and saw Salus and uh, Merrill play, but. Salus is in El Paso now. Yeah, we probably won't see him back down here. But I do like minor league games, and that's I tell you guys too: is go see your minor league affiliates, keep them in business. Um, sometimes they struggle with attendance. I got to see Mark McGuire and uh, Jose Cancinco come through the Modesto A's farm system. It was kind of cool. Still have the programs and stuff when I went and saw them play. Cancinco, we didn't know as much about. McGuire, because of his college experience, everybody knew he was going to be great. But, um, oh, cool. And I've been to uh, what is it, the Frederick Keys. I went and saw a few of their games. Who were they? Were they uh, the Baltimore affiliate? The Keys? I think they were. Yeah, yeah. And that's, I uh, got to make a trip to spring training, and I love spring training too. It's just like being at a minor league game with all the major league players. Um, 
very cool time when you go to spring training. I'd never been until last year, and I tell you guys, if you ever get a chance, go to spring training. Very enjoyable time. Baseball like you, the old days. Small crowds and big names. Very fun. One thing I thought was neat is I did catch Cincinnati when I was this year, and uh, they sell the Cincinnati Skyline Chili at the Phoenix Stadium, so. All right, still got 12 teams, 13, 12, 13 teams left, guys. Sox, Guardians, the Rockies, Detroit, Milwaukee, the A's, Toronto, Texas, Tampa Bay, San Diego, Kansas City, the Mets, and the Minnesota Twins. Still 3-3. Three, three. The Rockies, Arizona again. So Seattle took in a couple runs in the top of the ninth, huh? It's 3-1 now for Seattle. We do still have 12 more teams left, guys. Still one out. Oh yeah, first and second one out. They gonna put this one away. I gotta say it. One uh, earlier, we were talking about veterans and stuff. One of my old buddies passed away. He was a Vietnam vet. So he passed away last night. Uh, thanks to all those who served, and especially those who served in the war. Julio's up. Oh, take it out. Take it out of the park. Julio really, he starts out slow every year. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's kid is a great hitter. I don't... I, you gotta figure that slow start out. Such a dominant hitter. But boy, the first... Yeah, 196. I mean, he did the same thing last year. If you remember last year, I put his cards away because they were dropping so bad. Nobody wanted them. And we got halfway through the season. Here he is again. He's Julio. Oh. I'm sure he'll be fine this year. Just for Julio. Wow. Yeah, maybe I'll start putting his cards back on the table this week. <laughs> and Ty is hitting the heck out of the ball right now. I don't know what he's hitting for average, but I think he's hitting about the best on the team right now. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that. <laughs> right, his bumped, I think, 316. Yeah, that's that's surprising that he's. That's why, no matter what, for us Padres fans, I mean, that's, I know it's a tough season, but gee, we. Um, the guys that are hitting right now that are winning games for us are guys we did not expect to be able to do anything for us, so. Maybe they will get it figured out this year.
Yeah, especially earlier in the season like this. Now I saw somebody earlier, I forget which game that was, he was hitting 600, I'm like, what? But, yeah, guys probably only had three at bats. So. Yeah, they, they took them, took this game back, didn't they? Well, that's Mariners got a good team up there. It's just um, they're gonna have to put some things together too. They, uh, I spent time in Seattle, had a shop in Seattle, so it was kind of fun to. Renee mentioned the other day about Seahawks. I was not a Seahawks fan. I don't like the Seahawks. I'm a Raider fan. <laughs> Always have been. Um, but it was fun to be in a city that had a baseball team back then. You know, Griffey and all those guys being so popular. Still 12 teams left. Got the White Sox, the Guardians, the Rockies, Detroit, Milwaukee, the A's, Toronto, Texas, Tampa Bay, Minnesota, Kansas City, New York, and the Padres are still there. I would, uh, without going through, I would say the Yankees. The Yankees had a ton of cards. Um, Texas, the Rangers, because of the playoffs, there's so many of those World Series and playoff cards. Um, Texas got a lot of cards in there. I think actually the Padres are one of the least hits, which really surprised me because they do have a decent checklist. But uh, again, you never know. The beauty of breaking, right? I think my last three case breaks, I had three cards out of one, or two cases, and out of the one case, I think I hit like 40 base Machado cards. I've never seen that many Machado base cards. I was like, the guy might have sent me extra base cards. You guys got 12, 13 teams left. Yeah, I would say Texas and the Yankees both loaded up. Um, trying to see how the uh, Iowa stock market did today. Check later. The gold and silver been going up, guys. If you um, also collect coins. Watch for Renee and Casey to have more coins. Show's coming. And again, maybe Triker, can you give me that phone number again? Guys, if you text the phone number, make Triker will list it for me. If you text that number, then we can give you guys a text when uh, he goes live. So, interested in cards. It, Dial that number and text cards. If you do coins, you can text coins. You do both. Text both. Um, that way, when we do go live, when he's up and on, we will we'll send out a little text. Notifies you that you're on. You can either ignore it or come and join us. We got the 12 teams left, three boxes of heritage. We are shipping everything. Yeah, I think they got this one. Six to one. It's got to shut them down now, all right? And that's you know another 
fun thing about baseball is I, I don't like seeing change cities and, and change their stadiums, but it's kind of cool when you've seen teams play in multiple stadiums. I've seen the Padres play in both their stadiums, uh, the Mariners. Pirates actually saw them play at Forbes Field and Three Rivers, so I'd like to see the new stadium. I think Renee and family made it to the Pirate Stadium. I've been outside. It looks beautiful. Mariners fan chum or just for this game? I don't like those new rules. <laughs> there are a couple of the rules that I just do not like. Um, I get the pitch count, but I think you've now given the runner such an unfair advantage that we're going to break all the stealing records. I, I don't like rule changes that change the, you know, the, the overall look of the game. It makes it very difficult. Yeah, and that looks ugly. <laughs> I, I get we don't want to get hurt guys hurt, but then again, you know, you choose your profession. Anybody that's a NASCAR driver, they pretty much know that they're going to die any minute to go on the track. Unfortunately, most athletes need to have that. We don't want it. We don't want to see anybody get hurt, but when we make the rules so that the, it, the game can't truly be played in the spirit of the game, then it and starts taking away from our game. You know, just like competition. Competition is the most important thing in sports. And you can see in Formula One, we're just, man, I love watching Formula One, but I haven't watched the last couple of races because I know who's going to win. I know who's going to be second. So it makes it difficult. will be nice to see Formula One go through a big old shakeup next year. Max and all the guys will be changing teams. It'll be uh, very interesting. We do have 13 teams left. A three box break of Tops Heritage 2024. Otani Dodger card of the Soto Yankees and Washington card. Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. Aiden took down Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is off the board. Thank you, Aiden. Seven. Man, my numbers are off then. Okay. <laughs> I'll double check. <laughs> And I need more of that optimism. <laughs> uh, Minnesota, Kansas City, New York. <laughs> so that's, I got the bad habit of once upon a time in life where I used to say three or four. You know, that's, I was three or four. Everything was three or four. You can see 25 of them and be, oh, there's three or four. <laughs> yeah, a few. <laughs> Yeah, the White Sox, the Guardians, Colorado, Detroit. All well, them Lake Erie type teams, huh? All them lake teams up there. Milwaukee, Kansas City, Minnesota, New York, Oakland. wonder if Oakland's going to keep the name or are they going to call it the Vegas A's? <laughs> San Diego, Texas, and Toronto Blue Jays. Still available. Yeah. There's a lot of teams that really do. Um, you know, sports are so different. You know, I'm, I'm spoiled being a NASCAR fan because I go to a race and I get to meet half the drivers. You know, there's just no other sport that happens. 
but at the same time, I look at some of these guys and I think, man, I feel so bad. Can you imagine? <laughs> Everywhere you go, somebody, even with Renee. Hey, Mike. I, I figure they will change it. And I tell you, Vegas, they support their teams out there. I mean, they, uh, they really do support their teams in Las Vegas. And that, And unfortunately, some some of the teams and some of the cities that we build our stadiums in. I mean, I've been to Nationals. Man, that's a scary town down in there. Dodgers, yeah, that's yeah. The Dodgers lost. Yep. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I, I, Raiders. You know, unfortunately, I'm not a Chiefs fan, but I think that's going to be a dynasty now that's going to last a few years. Um, we'll see. I mean, all, all things change. I mean, Houston, Stroud did such a great job last year. Well, I, I hope he continues, but that was definitely a Cinderella season last year for a kid coming out of a college to play in the pros. He did. He got some great help, and and it really should. He should have, but he is still still gonna be a sophomore. He's still gonna be a second year player. That's uh, with a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. I'm interested to watch what happens in Chicago. You know, you guys know I'm a big um, fan of Tyson Badgett. <laughs> right now, Tyson Badgett might be their starting quarterback. The other kid's definitely going to have you know, a little draft a quarterback, but they're still going to have to compete for the job. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> that was a good shot. It definitely used to be hard to have a card shop in Seattle, but root for the Vegas or root for the Raiders. Mike, I I really enjoy when I go to Vegas. Do you like living in Vegas? some tea. Maybe that helps. Alright. Twelve teams left, guys. always curious about different places people live that's yeah so I don't I so Mike I'm not a, I had to give up smoking because of heart attacks and I'm not a big gambler either but I I come up for the races and doing some shows in Vegas I really enjoyed my time when I come to Vegas might do a little gambling but it's there's always something to go do and see can't say that about every town. I'm not really excited anymore living here. I love the nature and outside in San Diego, but you know, we have a baseball team. We don't have basketball. We don't have football. We don't have hockey. Never going to see a race here. Um, I always like to ask. I'm, I'm not stationary yet. so. And I go to Phoenix, and I tell people all the time, I love Phoenix, but I'm telling you, Vegas to me is ten times nicer. And I'm really surprised how they really they the Knights man they they love that team that's uh, 
I don't think I've ever seen any team have their own store in an outlet mall. <laughs> and, um, but that's how you get good. You, see, you support your team, you show up, they make money, they can get good players. Well, I mean, the Oakland story really hurts me because I like Oakland. Uh, that's, a, that's one of the old franchises I like what Oakland always did, but you know, today, no. They have not supported their, their, their team. Still 12 teams left. Guardians have Eckersley, Gavin Williams, Ramirez, and Jose Tina. White Sox have Cat and, and Goose. One of my favorite pictures of, I took a picture of Goose Gossage when he was with San Diego. He was in a folding chair in the outfield, leaning against the wall, picking his nose. And I have a perfect picture of him, about elbow deep into his mouth. Are you done? 12 teams to go. All right, let's get it sold. How many people you got in here? 28 people. 28. Come on, boys. All right, I'm going to get something ready on a different thing real quick. And then I'll come over here and sell it. Come on, guys. 12 teams. We have cheap teams too, right? You know yeah. you can click over Honors. here. Left. So this is what's left. $9, $9, $9, $16, $19, $17, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9, $9
I send him an email every couple months, and he does he, he does answer me back. So, um, and the South Point is a nice, nice casino. One of the few family-owned casinos left. Now right, we have twelve teams, guys. We got the White Sox. Dave Winfield autograph in the Padres. White Sox, Cleveland, I'd love to, and I am still debating, like, I, I, I think we're trying to get, uh, as Renee gets the other studio set up, we're trying to get more breaking done, so I think I'm going to slow down on doing my live shows, don't really want to, but then again, I'm old, and it's getting to uh, be a lot of work to carry that stuff in and out. <laughs> And being in a, you know, if, you know, I won't say any of this is easy, but when you do baseball, basketball, football, you've got bigger, bigger fans. I do NASCAR. I've got very few fans. So when I do a show, I'm seeing probably one out of 25 customers that will even look at NASCAR. So, um, and with new media coming out, we have other ways to sell. So very interesting to see the hobby change. I've been out at this for a long time. I saw things back in the 80s in shops and stuff that I never thought I'd see today. And um, Our hobby just continues to grow, and I think it grows in good ways. Have some short print and three box topper shots at the Mets. Now I'll be at a show this weekend, but uh, I think Renee will come over for Saturday. He likes to go out and buy. We're just, he's looking for some older wax, guys. He, Love to get some older wax to be able to break as well. We like to break the new wax, but uh, breaking's breaking, right? This auto mod. <laughs> oh, I forget what I said the other night that it it blocked me on saying something. I forget what it was. Um, it was one of the players' nicknames, and I typed it in, <laughs> and it censored me. I was like, okay. Man, gee. <laughs> ah, jeez. I mean, that's... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and... And we're ready for AI, correct? <laughs> hey, I got a text from Dave and Adam. Should I send them a text to see if they want some cards? You guys, we got 12 teams left. Right, I know we can get this one broke. I know we can get this one broke. What do we got left out of here? What do we got? Nine, nine, nine. Let's see. What's up here, buddy? Yellow at 17. Mets at 9. Oakland, 19. Padres at $14. The Rangers, $39. We did it at... Um, black rookie for the Rangers in the last break. Well, did Langford? I can't remember. Was Langford in this? Probably not. Is 
Blue Jay Autos and Vladdy Spencer Horowitz. The dual relic and tri triple relic cards. Those sound pretty cool. Twelve teams left, guys. San Diego, Texas. Texas is probably the best team on the board. Toronto, Minnesota, New York. The A's. We got the Brewers up there. We got the White Sox. Cleveland, Colorado, and Detroit. Mariners final, 6-1. Looks like the Angels coming back now. Arizona came back. It's definitely early in the season. See, even Corbin's only hitting 224 right now. Twelve teams left. Did you also have other personal boxes in the 11 team? Okay. spots left. Come on, two teams will be at single digits. We got the Padres. Everybody loves the Padres, right? Except the Dodger fans. Mets at nine bucks. And Chicago, Chicago was in the, Chicago had four rookies, I think it was, when Schreier. And the White Sox, I believe they had four rookies. I know they're off to a terrible start this year, but that just means those rookies are probably gonna see some time today this year. Actually have three short prints and five rookies in Chicago, White Sox. Um, Eleven teams to go. I'll say again while we're set we're waiting to fill this break we do have some other stuff in the store if you take a look over there there is stuff to purchase eleven spots left guys Three 
40 Padres player. I wonder who we got pitching today. All right, Padres got Cease going today. See what we got from the White Sox. Tatis has four home runs this year already. Good. Tatis has four home runs and still available on the board. We had Chicago White Sox, Cleveland Guardians, Colorado Rockies, Detroit Tigers, and then it, or, uh, Minnesota Twins, New York Mets, Milwaukee Brewers, the A's, Toronto, Texas. Texas definitely the best team on the board. San Diego. A buddy of mine wanted to meet up later. I'm going to have to tell him if you just buy out this break, I'll meet you early. teams left. And let's see, Tampa Bay's up 4-2, one out, bottom of seven. Mike Trout. Eleven teams, guys. Three boxes heritage. We are shipping all cards. So I'm not seeing the, the picture. All I'm seeing is, is it empty? I mean, the Angels, yeah. I think that's why Otani wanted to go. They have not supported their team up there. You know, just don't sell enough tickets. teams left. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure if it brings out more or less. I mean, that's... I always worry. We've got pretty good weather this weekend. Will the games sell as much? We've had some bad weather, so I just always wonder. I mean, that's why the Chargers, that's, that's why the Padres want a smaller stadium. We just can't sell those as many seats in these towns where we've got the beach. <laughs> that's, those old franchises, Dodgers, I mean, they're always going to have people show up for their games. But, uh, you know, the Angels, they, I lived in Anaheim for a while. They always struggled with attendance, even when, even, what, 86, 87, when they were playing, uh, you know, when them and Boston played for the championship. Those still weren't sold out games. You know, Shiger, it hasn't been. So that's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. We've had, we've been pretty wet. We've been pretty wet. I told my wife, I said, you know, can't wait for June gloom. I'm tired of November, December, January, February, March, April, May gloom, so we might as well get to the June gloom. But exactly, so then when it starts going away and you can't use the beach, what's the reason? 
All right, you want the good news or the bad news? Bad news, I still ain't sold all these teams. I know, that's the bad news. You <laughs> suck at selling. I'm just kidding, it's not your fault. They just hate you, so they that's, want me. Yeah. They just and hate as you. as soon as you sit down, you're probably going to sell them all. I wish, no. <laughs> they just hate you. You know, might as well. It's the beard, I don't know. I ain't getting rid of it because the wife hates it. <laughs> all right. Good news is, I just bought a Major League TV. So we can watch games while flying. If Shrika has it, we have it. So I thought I got to do a check because <laughs> T-Mobile is still doing it free. And I heard that, but then when I went and looked, I couldn't find it. Yeah, so Shrika tell you got to download the Pink app. Okay. But what it is is that um, it's yeah, he says it's tricky yeah. to find, but it's hard to stream on a computer. So now I just have it here. Only thing sucks, San Diego is playing in San Diego, so we so can't watch know. it. Yep. But we can. So who do we want to watch? Post game. Charger said, "What? Nobody at the Angel game." <laughs> oh really? <laughs> top of the first, top of the eighth. Pre-game Cincinnati. I gotta get my trip scheduled for. Cincinnati. All this stuff is pre-game. That means it's about to start, right? Mm -hmm. Should we watch Ellie De La Cruz? You want to watch Ellie or Jackson Holiday? Well, I wonder if Holiday's going to go to play. Yeah, he's playing second base. Are they going to start him right away? That's kind could of be. Cool. All right, Trika, let us know if a game starts either Baltimore or uh, Ellie De La Cruz. We can watch Cleveland and White Sox. Nobody really cares. Those this. are great teams. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Tampa Bay with the Angels. What's going on here? Oh, Angels are losing again. 30 minutes for the Padres. Okay. Guys, we have 11 teams left. Don't make me move this break till tomorrow. Yeah, we won't get to see it, Trader. They'll black it out down here. That's good, right? Unless you paid for the extra. There's no extra you can pay for. I think there is. The Padres TV? I, I think, I thought if you paid a certain amount, you paid a little extra that you got your home games too. Oh, if it, so that was a Padres TV, but I thought that was just an after show. No, I think that was when you get to see them when they're blacked out. Oh, I'll pay for that. Yes. I'll pay for that. We sell out so many games, I'm really Yeah, sell this. I'm actually going to make a break for tomorrow because there's a good right. chance we're just moving these to tomorrow if nobody wants to buy teams. If we can't sell $9 teams, what are we doing? Up, baby. Hey, then you might have to buy Valley. Hey, you know I just spent 150 bucks to watch Major League Baseball this week. Good thing my team blows it just over it. And that just. There's Tatiana. <laughs> Alright, what we got left, guys? 11 spots left. Let's fill this one out and we'll. And I really am anymore. I don't mind watching without seeing it on TV. Either listening to it on the radio. We're certain San Diego, we're kind of spoiled because our sports announcer is Tony Gwynn's son. So <laughs> he sounds just like his dad. Um, I enjoy listening to him just because it reminds me of Tony. He was such a legend for us here. 11 teams left. Let's sell this one out, guys. And we'll leave you guys alone. <laughs> I know, I've seen some of the, what was it, um, the other night, I wanted to watch um, on FS1, they had NASCAR qualifying, so I tune in, I want to watch that, I'm in San Diego, they didn't have the race stuff on, they had the Dodgers, and I'm like, why would you show the Dodgers in LA, or in San Diego, <laughs> would love to know who came up with that idea. But I deal with that all the time with the racing stuff out here. When California doesn't, you know, wonder why they can't have a racetrack because they don't carry racing out here. They really don't. And that's that's NASCAR's fault. Nobody else's. You got to promote your sport. Yeah, that's you know it's funny, Striker. So I was listening to it on the radio. Um, some of them that's not true. So I'm in the city of San Diego. If I'm in my house. 
it knows I'm in San Diego. If I walk outside to the side of my house, all of a sudden it goes to a blackout. <laughs> I'm just telling the wife that the other day. Does it think I moved into the county or what is it about the side of my house that makes that a blackout area <laughs> for the Padres? I mean, it even takes my radio down. Yeah, my, it's just strange. I mean, I, I'm actually you only about. You want some fish? No, thank you. I am, I am not a fan of fish. I love to fish, but I don't like to eat fish. We have some bad news for Shriker. Uh oh, Shriker. We have some bad news. Shriker, you sitting down? Oh boy. Got his favorite food. No, we actually actually do have bad news. <laughs> Dallas police asking Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice to turn himself in for his involvement in a multi vehicle car crash. Arrest warrant has been issued. I bet money there's going to be felony charge. I mean, I think he's going to miss next season. That, uh, stupid decisions. And I've made a million in my life, but <laughs> at least it didn't cost me millions of dollars. Oh. What did he say? Oh, he sold a team. Hold on. You said his catch. Oh, shoot. Who is that? Not Jackson. Who is that? No, it's Tampa Bay. I'd be fine. Me. Who's that? Hold on. You sold a team. That's more important. Thank you, Mug. Let's see. Ten teams to go. Right there. Toronto. Blue Jays. That's a great team. They hit so hard last break. So many cards done. Toronto off the board. Ten, Down to ten teams. Ten teams, guys. We can do this. Renee, go downstairs and listen to the audio. To what audio? Is our audio bad? Is it bad? Kind of broken sometimes. Let me go listen to it. Okay, just will you just keep on talking so I can hear? It's not me, is it? My no, I don't think my voice is broke. Audio. So we got ten teams left, guys. We got Chicago White Sox, Cleveland Guardians, Colorado Rockies, Detroit, Milwaukee. Minnesota, New York, the A's, Texas. I might be moving. I move a lot, so I might be moving back. And the Padres. Where do you want this new shipment? Ten spots left, guys. Oh, and Tops Black's in. Tops Black Chrome. Oh, man. Can't wait till that's ready to get broke. Yummy. Can't wait for that to get broke. Alright. I see bought a whole nother studio, boys. John, thank you very much. Oh. In case you know, it right. sounds a little bit loud, but not broken. Let me turn it down a bit. Don't put him in here, baby. That's this is not a storage room. Well, the reason why is you're going to build out the other rooms. Okay, then where would you like it? Anywhere but here, because this is not to break in for a week. Okay, where do you want it then? Uh, just in the other studio, just in the front end. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I have to pull all 20 boxes. Hey, Casey, just take this over here, please. I have to fix the audio issue. Unless you're in charge, then you're in charge. Okay. I was the person not in charge telling you what to do. All right, let me fix the audio issue. Is that okay, Casey? Ah, shit, now knock over cameras. I just turned it down a little bit. Is it a little bit better? I didn't see anything cutting out. No, let me see what this is. Hey, how about, sh should we just break this right now? Go to it. You just got a new haircut? Mm hmm I'm almost bald, aren't I? God, Week so early? No hair in the back. <laughs> Oh, she has come man, it's the exact same box as 23. All right, guys, let's break some 23. 
2024. Wrong flag. Padres? Oh, you had fun. Do you watch the game? Padres? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't watching it. I was actually listening when they scored the comeback the other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put this in the other room. I know. Cool. It looks exactly like 2023. I'm surprised. Can we see the checklist? Happy. Let's see, can we yeah, upgrade our payment plan right here? Last week. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Four settings. Buy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can go just right here. So, yes, for 50 bucks, we can see it by now. Now we have Padres game right here. Nine. I'll pay 50 bucks to see every Padres home game. Thank you, Sally Jr. Alright, now we have Padres game. Oh, that's cool. I just spent another 200 bucks. Let's see what we sold. For 25 bucks, Monopoly Nintendo. Mm -hmm. eBay. Huh? eBay, yeah. You break it? Or it's cool, you can also check the different announcers. Okay, free show. Alright, here we're waiting for the Padres game. There we go. Now we got Padres. That's worth the 50. I mean, if you pay 150 bucks, you might as well pay 50 bucks extra for your team, right? <laughs> Alright, night. Oh, we just sold eight spots to go. Jonah bought in. Jason bought in. My gangsters. Let's see what Jonah and Jason got. Jonah got. I'm going to go to the other one. Jonah got the twins. Mm -hmm. That's gone already. He's already, you already, you already marked them. See, Jason Campbell's bought the Padres. Go Padres. There we go. Guys, eight teams. Come on, let's get it. Switch to the Padres box. What do you see there? What we were, what was right there. <laughs> oh, you can do different camera angles? It has a box score right there on the side. Oh, I think because it's still a free game of the day, Baltimore. I think it's still because it's like free game. There's like nobody at the stadium. It's starting half an hour. Oh, I just yeah, we'll do that. When you think about it, that's, so that's something they don't do anymore with big batting practice outside. We almost never see them taking any kind of batting practice anymore. Huh. They do it inside. So that's one. That usually used to be you get into the stadium early to watch that. Guys, eight spots to go. Come on, let's fill this break. Texas still available. Best team. I know, I'm surprised Texas is still, that's crazy. Guys, if you guys fill out, if you guys fill out uh, by all the teams, I'll run Texas at a dollar or something. What is that, Langford? Huh? Uh, Langford and Heritage, I don't think he's in there yet, no. But there, there's lots of other players. We got players the other rookie. <laughs> we got the other rookie. Yeah, but remember, we hit the yeah. short print. We hit the short print. That was a nice one. Eight teams to go, boys. Most likely, we're going to do the other break tomorrow. Let me go schedule something tomorrow. Joseph Anderson is in the house. Josen Anderson, that's like the football player. Wasn't his name is Josen Anderson? That'd be real cool if that's a real player. He was actually kind of good in Miami. The Mets. Josen Anderson. That's, that's so I read that name. And that's no, that was the yeah. name of the wide receiver. He changed his name, right? Robbie Anderson. He, yeah. Are you a big fan of his? Where is he at these days? Right here. <laughs> yeah, right here. <laughs> Right here, breaking with your fanatics. <laughs> oh, that's really your name? Robbie Anderson. So so I'm assuming your real name is Robbie Anderson, and it's, just, it's the same name as Chosen Anderson. You took the screen name jo Chosen Anderson, right? I'm assuming you're not the football player Chosen Anderson, right? Chad Flair is in the break. Chad Flair. Last name the same. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That was an interesting receiver, like, 
kind of like never totally broke through, right? So, but Rangers, there you go. That's a great yeah, team. That's the Rangers. Rangers. Huge That's why that's my favorite. Thank you, chat play. Guys, we're down to six spots before we can rip. Let's get it. Come on. You know what you should do? You should spend like five minutes just staring like just keep on saying the names. So you that's what I did. You spelled with an E, okay. Last last I heard he went to Carolina, right? Oh no, that's where he was first. And then he started getting traded around like crazy. Chad Flair took another one. Alright, you know, I'm gonna go pee because I feel this is gonna fill up. You you wanna finish it? The Brewers. Alright guys, we are down to five teams. The Tigers, the Rockies, the, the Guardians, the A uh, Ace, and the White Sox. Five teams, boys. I think four of those five teams are probably $9 teams. All right, we have a $19 team, a $16 team, and three $90 teams. Guys, we're like, what, $60 away? Six, uh, actually, $70 away from breaking this? Come on, let's do it. Chicago White Sox had a good one. Guys, all cards ship with us. You get everything. All cards ship. Chicago had, what, five rookies? checklist for Chicago. I will look tonight and try to see who those rookies are. If any of them are two and nine, the rookies are probably going to get a start. Chicago, Chicago. Still at five teams. For you Padres fans, there is a Dylan Cease card in the White Sox too. <laughs> Did you say you weren't getting sold it out? I'm on to like four things left. Five to go. Five to go. go. Alright, I'm gonna schedule a break for tomorrow. Five teams. We have Chicago White Sox, Cleveland, Colorado. Detroit and Oakland soon to be Las Vegas. Oh, there's the box score. Let's turn that. Hmm. Guys, we got five teams left. The three card, three box break. We will be shipping everything. Tops Heritage. Go. Chicago White Sox at nine dollars, Cleveland at nine dollars, Colorado at nine dollars, Detroit sixteen, and Oakland nineteen. Almost there, guys.
Texas or Renee. We got three teams left, Renee. Somebody asked for a deal in the last three spots. Three nines or twenty seven. Probably work something out, but it will be right there. I know it sucks, but don't worry about it. Just keep the last lap. Was my phone okay? Did it okay? Okay. All right. So what we do? What is it? Twenty-seven bucks. Um, yeah. We got Chicago, Colorado, Cleveland. Okay. It's gonna work. Well, how about we'll put them down to eight bucks a piece? So that'd be three bucks off. So just buy two teams at nine, and whatever's left, I'll put down to six for you. I don't care how you want to do it. Sorry, they're just such cheap teams, there's not that much wiggle room. But I know you bought multiple teams, and I appreciate you closing it out, so. Is, does that work for you? There you go, sounds, looks like it works. Whatever's left over, I'll change to six. Guys, nobody buy the last two teams, we just made a deal, so please don't buy them. Alright, nobody buy the Rockies, please. There you go, switched up. Alright, cool, you want to give us three boxes? Oh, three or just... Yeah, let's just do those three, I guess. The ones on camera. Seems like everybody wanted the ones on camera. Well, as soon as it's gone, there we go. All right, so you remember what we have to do? All right, guys, let me print out your team lists. <clears throat> so we need to go to our label company. So first thing we want to do on data, we well, of course we have... So so look, we'll, we download our new spot. One second, guys, got to make your team lists. So we download our list. We got that. So um, we have to import list, so it's gonna import the new list. So we just click this import file, and then we'll just go to 801. So, so now we wanna make sure it says break 801 up here in our list, so we have our right list, and then we have to change it down here to 801. Okay, then we go to print, print. It's gonna have that 30 second time, time gap. Three boxes, boys and, I don't wanna say boys and girls. I think cells are left here, Jim, the first play today. She's probably being a responsible human being and working. Are you happy I got us the games? Yeah. Best time to watch this and get it slow. Because too much slow time. Ten box four. Oh, you did? Okay. So and then I always take this, I drag it over here because it might freeze the screen. Just click print. Remember over here. Yeah, it's nice just to, because it's, so, it's slow on here. It's just, I don't know. It's just I, It kills me when it's slow. I need to be interactive. There we go. And then just, I, I, I like to flash it on screen. And then, so when this is printing, I click begin unboxing, which means everybody should get a, also it does a timestamp. So you want to make sure to remember that because it does a timestamp. So if somebody bought into the break, but they're not live watching, they can go to our stream later. And instead of trying to have to find this, when you click it, it's a timestamp. And then we just, so, and then I'll of course take these off. And then I just like to show this one more time. Six been hanging with us the whole day. Thanks for closing it out. We appreciate it. We have one more break in the store also if you guys want to get in. 802. I mean, I, I, honestly, I don't think it's going to sell today, but 24 teams left. I put it up there. So make sure later when you're done, you just go back to this and mark this and complete it, okay? But I'll leave it up there so people can see it. 24 spots left. Left. Oh, Zelda is in this one. She has games with us. Or maybe she bought in the second, not the first. Or maybe she bought in two, I don't know. So let's see. Bill with the Reds. Bill got some good food. And Joe's and Anderson. That was a receiver that was really good, but never could achieve like total breakout star status. All right, any questions? Are we good to break? I feel like we're good to break. Same things. Well, like I'll, I'll, I'll sleep those short prints. Anything that's like the dual cards with two teams, we'll just randomize later on, left or right. And then anything with like four teams or anything like this, we'll just randomize. Very nice timing, Robbie. We're just starting. All right, good luck, everybody. Box number one. Let's go to the breaker cam. There we go. 
So there's two ways you can watch it. You can watch it on our YouTube channels. You can watch it on our YouTube's channels. Or you can also go to our channel name right right here on Fanatics. So if, if you look up shops and you click on our channel name, and then it, when you click on that, it shows you upcoming shows, right? Here, let me see if I can show you really quick. All right, hold on a second. This is break 801, correct? This is break 801, yes. Um, let me see if I can show you an app really quick. Here we go. All right. Actually, oh shit, it wants me to log in again. <coughs> Thank you, account. Login is work. So let me see how like I usually do it on the phone, but you should be able to click right here, and then you can click on a logo. Are, are you on the phone? So if you're not on the phone, on the top right in the main page it says shops. You can just click on shops, but right here in the top right you see a logo. You should be able to click that. Shop policy. So let me see. I just click on the shop itself. All right. So if you click on the shop name again, you see that. Hey, Ken, can't hear it all, and I got 85-inch TV, put the volume on 100 on Facebook. Uh, that's because it's, n it's, n it's not made for Facebook, so the, the stream is set up for um, for the apps itself. We just simulcast, but if you want to watch, you got to come in the app itself. So if you want to watch, you got to come into the app itself. Sorry. That's a bummer. It, it's not really a bummer, so like we, we use the other platforms to show that we're live, but we want you to come on this platform. So, because if everybody just watches us on Facebook, then nobody's in here and we're sitting with four users, you know? So, if people want to watch us and they want to interact, they need to come. All right, here we go. So, then, oh, it's funny. Look, look at that effect. Three phones. Okay. Oops. All right, so you click right here. So, you click right. What happened? Okay, you click on the shop. Come on. So, then when you get to this, you got to click on the shop again. Now you see shows, it shows feature shows uh, going, but you can click on replays. And then, so now you see anything that we've done. So this would have been yesterday, so let me see. On the, on the computer, you will see the break chapters. I've never done it on here. So on the phone, I don't, know, I, I don't see break. If you go on the computer, it'll have a separate window, window with all the break cha chapters, where it makes it easy to find. I don't see anything on here. So here you just have to go until it goes, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of weird. First pitch. Uh, so what are you doing? Oh, it's, it's not showing it at hours. Delay. It's probably delay, yeah. All right, here we go. Best way to watch replays, honestly, is on the computer. Because you have all the break chapters. All right, our top card. For the twins, Brett Bloodlin. Bloodlin. You got a second box, right? Bly 11. Bly 11, that's exactly what I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. I always like, you always show your teammates. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, everybody. Let's get something good. Let's just pull a mega card for one person. Bly 11. I know, I barely... St Guys, I warn you right now, if you want English-speaking breakers, I'm not it. I'm not it. I'm from West Virginia, so I can do it. Yeah, he's from West Virginia. Doesn't oh, that's a nice way to start to break. Let's start. That's a nice way. Oh, it has a little corner damage. Dang. Let's get corners bent on it. Still gonna top load it. Bill, when you see this, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. The top left corner has a little bent to it. At least that's what it looks like here. Maybe it'll even up. Guys, when we have these cards, because we just hit a lot, at the end, any card that has two. We're going to use uh, the wheel of names and it's either going to go to the left team or the right team, just so you guys know, okay? Unless it's something crazy, but I don't think there is nothing crazy in these. Mox Meyer. And like this stuff, we don't sleeve. Flashbacks, that we sleeve. 
I know some new guys are breaking runs. By the way, let me put this up really quick. If you want to know when we go live, yeah, the pack is right here. 619-257-0522. Find a cut and you'll be thinking crazy. Yes, a cut would be nice. If you guys want to know when we go live, just send a text to this uh, this phone number, 619-257-0522. And words, text the word cards. It'll put you in our list. And whenever we go live, wherever we go live, whatever we do, and we'll send you coupons and specials or whatever. Maybe I'll just send you some feed picks. But just subscribe to it. For guys that don't know my humor, it's like, what the fuck did he just say? It's like, I just I just wanted to... Uh, you better hope this room don't fill up with people every day. <laughs> hey, you know what? As long as they buy into our breaks, no problem. Good luck, everybody. We just started. That's a cool... Look at this card, Earl Weaver. <laughs> So when they're upside down like this, that means they're short print and those we top load. Bilotti for the Phillies. Going to the Phillies. So these will be left, right, but it's top, bottom, basically. So left is top, right is bottom. Looking also for the black and white variations. Uh, if you have a web browser, are you are you in the break, KDFO? I don't even think, are, are you in a break? You need to stop. Yeah, it's, uh, sorry. I mean, you can watch it on YouTube. The, the audio is probably better on YouTube. Bargain Hunter Thrift. But if you have a browser, you can also go on your TV to uh, Fanatics Live. Can you, what I just said, Shrike, can you put it on there? It, I mean, most TVs have web browsers now. Error Judge, so those will get sleeved. Didn't he say? Didn't he say the game is already in progress? Well, he must have said first pitch in a different game, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we are. Oh yeah, it, it somehow got stuck. Chicago White Sox pitchers. <laughs> Sorry, all the audio setup and everything is made for this website, Mr. Goldie. All right, Cubby's out first, anyway, like that. Everything is set up for the Fanatics Live experience. So, like, we do a simulcast on different platforms, but it's not ideal. And the problem is if we turn up our volume too loud, then it kind of gives us feedback. So, again, it's, it's set for this. Dusty Baker. Mookie Betts having a great season already. That's so funny. Those thicker autographs throw me every time I see that. Oh, you think it's real, right? <laughs> well, let's find some real autographs. I think the autographs are going to be different color. And I'm not going to read every name because I don't want <coughs> you guys to make fun of me. Zach Kreinicke. How's the sound, guys? It's good on the Fanatics app, right? Shrike, it's better now, right? I turned it down a little bit. Yes, okay. So, yeah, guys, I mean, I'm not even reading your chat on the other platforms. If you guys are watching this on Twitch or Facebook or YouTube, I'm just simulcasting it so other people can see it. The whole experience is set up. Oh, excess amount of fact. Let me change this. The whole experience is set up for the Fanat. Ah, shoot my camera. Guys, uh, now I'm going to get controversy. Now I'm going to be on Sports Card Radio. Sorry, guys, when I stand up, stand, stand, stand up sometimes. Does anybody feel uncomfortable at the cameras that the camera went dark for a second? I didn't change anything, I promise. No? Okay. If anybody has a problem, tell me now, and I'll figure it out. This cable, right? Anybody has been watching our stream when I stand up, you know the stupid cable goes, and I had to fix the light because I just realized the light wasn't shining. All right, everybody's good. But that is why we 
I gotta fix this camera. That's why we multi-stream on all the other platforms. So yeah, so that works, but if it's the cable, it's gonna be out on every side oh, because yeah. it's the cable. It's, it's not the yeah. app. That only works if the app crashes. Yeah. See if the event will begin shortly again. What the hell, man? All right, let's go. That'd be pretty crazy if you're trying to dip on Heritage. Charles and Frankly Kelly, short print. I guess there's some good cards in here you could do it with, but I don't know. Anybody that says it's a piece of shit anyway. Trust me, guys. Nobody has enough money here or anywhere that I'm going to cheat you. Just not that type of person. My reputation is worth so much more money. And forget even reputation, just my word. We figure you guys get cheated enough out of government. <laughs> hey, in case anybody from the government is listening, I do not agree with him. <laughs> Blame it on Dave, yes. I'm so happy to pay all the taxes that California gives me. Uh oh, baseball extra reversed. Nice, 23 highlights. Yankee, baby. That's a nice short print. Not for Biden cut auto, yes. I think he's... Didn't we say Bi uh, Biden cut auto is in this product? In case anybody from the government is listening, I'm very happy with my government. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> if there's any problems... Just, oh, I've moved the camera too much. I can't pr come in here. That's the guy you want to arrest or shoot. I'm German. I was going to ask you, was your brother born here or... Ricky and I was born in Germany too, but he he was like four years old when we left. Oh, that's a variation. Okay, this one we have to raffle by itself. This is uh, Brewers and Phillies, guys. This one I'm gonna ra raffle by itself because that is an image variation. So I'm not gonna do it each individual in the comments. This one we raffle by itself. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I can just put it in, right? It just goes in the general raffle. Doesn't matter. It's left or right. It's still one yeah. raffle, yeah. yeah. Never mind. No, you know, it doesn't matter. It's still, it just goes with the big raffle, left or right. But that is an image variation, so like I said, that's a little bit nicer. What the hell, man? Oh, awesome. Thank you for your service. Fernando. Capiz. Let's get that average up there, Fernando. I like the four home runs, but we got the three hundred. All right, Jonah, we'll let you know. So far you have no base cards yet. Easy. Easy. So that's a four card one. That one we'll do separate then. Second time we hit that one. Jim Palmer, Astros then and now. Nick Castellanos. That didn't look he hit a homer? Julio Rodriguez, Jordan Alvarez, Espo Tovas, Torkelson, Corbin Burns, Walker, Remillard, short print, Tommy Henry for the Diamondbacks on the short print. I'm surprised that they don't, uh, come on, baby. I'm surprised that they don't show the commercials. That they just, I would think you would too. I mean, just charge your appetizers, right? Yeah. Valencia, Rangers, World Series, Judge, Butler, Gorman, Garrett Cole for the Yankees, Jacob Young with the Nationals. That looks like it. You know, is that an image variation? I don't feel like I've seen that one. I'm going to top load. That might be an image variation. Code number on the back of it. Took the look at that one. 394, but I don't know. Nine. So. Oh, the variation? That little number that you put there top usually has three or four different There's numbers. nothing on the back, it just says 394. That's it. The event is in weather delay? Are you shitting me? That is not. <laughs> We're not getting any weather delay in San Diego. It looks like nobody's playing, though. It like went well, to old footage, right? Lightning. Do they really have lightning? No, stop it. Uh, it has to be. The, the stands are empty. <laughs> lightning alley. Even in the old days, we never really got that. 
I did it about lighting once in a race. I passed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's going the way I was going to be happy. And now they, they stop. It's like, what? I don't think you can hit the cards and hurt them. Well, All right, guys, there. we haven't hit any mem card, no autograph, no chrome card in the first box. So we should be close to some something fun, hopefully. Semyon. Max Schatzer. Guys, you make fun the way I pronounce names. No Mets, no Braves. Uh, you some, but nothing crazy. Just base cards. You, you have. Well, every team has cards already. Every team has cards. You always sound like you're saying a curse word. Max <laughs> Scherzer, guaranteed. There's no breaker that says it better than me here. Max Scherzer. Flashbacks, roller coasters, Space Mountain. So all these flashbacks, I'm gonna do in one pile, and we randomize. Unless we get a lot, then we'll do like two files. Unless anybody objects, I can randomize each individual card. Really don't think it's worth it, but whatever you guys want. If nobody objects, that's the way I usually. Okay, we have Chrome. It's green and a short print. Let's see what our short print is first. Uh. Josiah Cray for the Nationals. Josiah Cray for the Nationals. Mariners. George Kirby. George Kirby, 280 out of 575. So that's card number 60. That's a short print, right? Mm -hmm. That's the short print for Chrome? Yep. It's actually a nice hit for the Mariners. There you go, Chromey. There you go. And then Josiah Gray was a short print, too. It's funny when I see cards numbered to 999. It makes me think oh. of the 2000. So they did that to NASCAR this year. They bumped Panini. Mm. It's one chrome per box, Adam. Look, they bumped us to a 16. You you never had that number. <laughs> yeah, well, it's supposed so we su we're looking for one auto, one mem, one auto or one mem, and then one chrome. And then a lot of the stuff you're chasing here is these short print cards. But we still ship, a lot of breakers don't ship everything. Oh, here, so we have a men card. Dylan sees for the White Sox. We prefer auto. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> He's pitching right now. He's pitching right now. Race. <laughs> they gave up my Will you give me 100? No, they won't. Are you sure you have 100s? No. Yeah, it'll work just good. Dylan sees for the White Sox. So that's not what we want to see in these boxes. So another big thing that we're chasing in this product, it's not just the mems and the autos, but we're also looking for the short prints, right? We are looking for the short prints. And image variations. We may miss those. We, we may miss some of them, but the big ones we know. Bryce Durang. So this is a short print. Tom Cosgrave for the Padres. Cosgrove. He's playing well too, right? He's batting, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? He's not hitting? Didn't you tell me earlier he was like hitting good? No, no. Possibly. He was pitching well. He was pitching. Um, no. Uh, Cameron Carmen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Well, Max is. Fleet. I think he's still going around. So when they reverse short print, well, so these short prints is what a lot of people are changing for Texas, Tavares. And then there's image variations. So when you get your cards in the mail, make sure to check for image variations. But they're not going to be as crazy. Short prints are better. There's a black image variation, which is supposedly only 50 of each. And then there's a white. You should find some of those image variations. They can be good, yeah. Um, I have a Manny Machado from the second series regular box last year. Dominguez rookie for the Yankees. That's a nice hit. I have a 113 of the year because I just played it where he wasn't as good playing as he could. It really is. It is what it is. <laughs> Well, that, that's what you're chasing. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these sleeves right here kind of tight on me. I don't want to force them. Some some of these Yankees, um, not Yankees. Um, yeah, some of these image variations are really nice. That's only the second one. So that's an image variation in white. White is a little bit more common than black. Well, do you remember what the numbers were, Striker? Evan Carter, so Frolic, all right, let's see if we can get that. 
Oh, that's what you said. Evan Carter Black in the last break. Oh, yeah. We hit an Evan Carter Black <laughs> in the last break. And that's only... Somebody said that Black's is only 250. Yes. Yeah, that, that's what that's what they said, so... I mean... Uh, you can. You have some dirt on your face. Oh. Just some schmoops. Okay, it's Jarvis. Called working in the fields. Three pages. Yeah. Flashbacks. Yes, sir. On week three, so a couple of days. I'll be back for you. Okay. So I'll wait on the car and call you back. Okay. Take a shower. Over here? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, on the way. So it's two in the mirror, two in the team. So one in a hundred packs will have so that's one in four hobby boxes will have a black. Oh I see. Yeah, I can see that that's what it is. Okay. Thank you. Bobby you it. Short print. After this break then I'll try to just pack it up. And Carpenter. It'll all get shipped first thing in the morning, everybody. You cannot give shipping service that fast. You need to wait like three days or something. That's why you guys break with us, right? Because we, like, are awesome on my break, and we're awesome on my ship, package, and ship, right? They only break with us because they want to hear me pronounce names. Right? No, right. <laughs> we like you. Jordan Westbrook. He's a good rookie. Sometimes I've had some slow shipments, and it bothers me sometimes. Do you guys need anything? Oh, there's I get air. slow shipments all the time. I just support breakers sometimes. And uh, like all of a sudden, like five days later, y'all got my ship. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I just, I just support them to see it, how they do. So, all right. Did we, we had the mem card, we had a chrome, so we had everything we're supposed to get. All right, box number two. Okay, Yeah, guys, let's see. Can we do it? Break 802 today? Yeah, can you guys buy it so uh -oh. I can pack it? 1975 wow. going to Kansas City. These are the buybacks. Now, is that numbered on the back? No, the, uh, only if it's the, signed. Yeah, that had to be missing the signature. It was definitely missing the signature. <laughs> you see that one, Casey? We hit one that's numbered on the back. Yeah, it was a buyback auto, but it wasn't signed. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I'll bet Max will Wolf pack. Honestly, like, let's see if, if it's like the last two teams, maybe. But, like, we don't really, like, I usually just try to price it fair. I know, sick. Well, this one wasn't supposed to be signed, sick. So that was, that, that was correct. That was just a buyback one. We'll pay, we usually just try to price our stuff fair. But if there's like one or two teams left at the end, I'll do a little bit just to get the break going. But with 23 teams left, like we just got to get closer. Mason win, Trey Turner. New age performers, Goldie. Frozen again, or this is like they keep on freezing like this. Then I'm like, all right, send me my money back. Let's just go ahead and save it for Nick. Right. Nice, Adam. I know my shot definitely needs to get going. The double was pretty good last night. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice Manny bobblehead name. I don't know if it's like that. Refro Devers on the new H performers. That was Machado again, yeah. Let's go here. And he's still DHing. Yep. One second. Abreu. Cabbage. Davis. Kauza. Shohei Otani. Should we top up? Who has the Dodgers? You want Otani top loaded? It's just his base, but. That's kind of a cool card. Probably not, right? It's just a base card. Mookie Betts. Those are the only ones in the sleeve, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Fun 
nice base hit. That was nice. You saw that? It looked like he's a homer. He barely went above third base. Nice hit. And that's Profar. That's a guy that we've let go three times. Watch that hit. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> we keep letting the guy go. Nobody signs him. And we keep picking him back up and he keeps performing. Aaron Judge. Oh, he didn't even know he hit it, did he? He <laughs> thought it was foul ball. It just had a weird wow. spin to it. Yeah. Just like he thought it was a foul ball. <laughs> like a pool cue. Apparently. He put that English on it. All right. Both Silva, cards. Kyle Higa Higashioka, 99 out of 90, 999 for the Padres. And I'll bet, um, I'll bet his rookie card is probably <laughs> like a 56 percent card pro par. Oh, really? Mm, Padres, that's Chrome. That is Chrome for the Padres in so 999. And right behind it, damn, another relic. We want autographs. Boston Red Sox, Jaron Duran. This kid looks like him too. That's crazy. Both hits in the same box. We'll give me another hundred. Both both hits in the same pack. I wonder if we're gonna get a bonus hit. That's kind of weird. I've never seen that happen too much. Both hits in the same pack. It was um, it was uh, for the Padres and for the for the Padres it was a uh, um, and then right here for Boston Red Sox Padres was a Chrome card. Chris Bryant, Sheehan, Zach Wheeler, Tyler Ward. Steve Kwan, Penna. And guys, all card ship. Is he a backup catcher? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean we got we got like three three catchers on the team. And Ethan Salas on the way. Well, I think that's they really did look at him to there were a couple guys to keep Salas down. And if they got one less catcher, they probably would have had to bring him up. Okay, he's, get, he's getting experience oh, and, minus. And the kid's hitting. I mean, he's, he's definitely going to be good. Stay out of trouble. See, the event will begin shortly. Oh, tiny baby, Matt Olson. Short print. Matt Manning for the Tigers on the short print. Say something when I'm slow, but you're not saying anything when I'm getting fast. You are getting fast right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see how long it will take until you mention it. <laughs> Alphabetically, it's done. Ooh, we have runners on first and second. Oh, base is loaded, baby. He, is he rounding? That's, there that's, you go. Got to bring that one in. That's that, a run. That was Campesano, wasn't it? That's a run. Didn't even look like Campy. What's he hit? 326. The guy's a catcher hitting 326. We are definitely getting production out of these young kids at the bottom of the line. Tatis with the base hit. It's no. Oh, no, it's not Tatis. No. It's, um... That's Camposano. Yeah, it's Camposano. Sorry, I did that. He has the long hair like Tatis. Riverfront Coliseum opens in Cincinnati in the flashback. I actually like these flashbacks. What are you guys thinking about this product? You like it? I only was ripping it to make a cheap rip for the community, to be honest. I was going to give a lot of these packs away if we could buy into our high end breaks new skunk. But a lot of people seem to like it, actually. Adam Frazier for the Orioles. For, that's a cool looking card right here on the short front. That's an epic look. A few more hits would be nice. Yeah, no, but I mean that's why it's such a cheap product, you know.
Yeah, I think it would be better too with more hits. Dominguez rookie. Because we're basically chasing. Um, yeah, it's always good. If, I mean, we're basically chasing the short prints, to be honest. Short print for the Dodgers. 200s to win. How many outs do we have? Oh, I hit Kim. I didn't see that. Dang it. Oh, it hit him on the pitch? Hit him in the head, yeah. Well, that's going to be basic loaded, then. Well, he looks like he's hurt bad. Come back from that as well. Oh, yeah, he's messed up. He died. He died. Shake it off. Oh, it hit him in the eye. His eye small. That's because it's going to be in his face. He's not happy. He is not he, happy. He's hard. He wants to be real not want to. Variation in white, Alec Perlison. Oh. Cardinals. That's what it was. He slid slid into the guy. Oh, okay. Well that's better than getting hit by baseball. Every time you get two you know, two sliding doors and you get hit in the face. the face club. Steve has 200,000, I mean, two two thousand career strikeout. 200,000. That'd be one hell of a number. Oh, actually, this is going to the Mets. Do a double play. No, it's single. Do nothing, San Diego will take it. Westberg. I just leave one earlier, but that's more than I think in here. Oh, oh, that's a nice short. That's a nice short print. Gunner Henderson, baby, on the short print. Going to Baltimore. Gunner Henderson going to Baltimore. Boom. It's actually a really good short. That's some two nice Baltimore short prints. Bam, bam, baby. So that is what you're chasing this product more. A lot of the short prints. Obviously, if we can hit an auto, that'd be nice. It's a nice chromey. Who's excited for Bowman coming up in a couple of weeks? Short print going to uh, Rangers. Heim. Actually, anybody excited for Topps Chrome Black next week? I just got 20 I cases in the net. It's a fun product, to be honest. I like it. Garrett Mitchell, Arcea, Bo Bichetti, Contreras, Danner, McLean, Lee, Netta Variation, Friedel for the Reds. Cool. Oh, Rosario. Wow. Kyle Stowers. It's funny, like some of these shots they take and totally looks back like it's 1975 too. Zach Kreinicke. Bryce Miller. That kind of sucks they put both hits in the same pack. Hope there's another hit in here somewhere. Because it's kind of fun to chase it, right? Weaver. Weaver on the short print for the Yankees. Luke Weaver, bad corner. I have seen this a couple of times down in this one. Really? When they seem to come out of the middle of the pack. Yeah, I don't know. He just stole second. I'm worried the uh, new steal that the details are going to be able to see that. It's okay. Well, he should come Paper up Paper Ben is excited for Top Scrum Black. Altuve. Or are you excited for Bowman? Which one? Short print. Weimer. 
I mean, yeah, look at that. I mean, they do look like seventy fives. Brewers, unless like I mean, unless that hair is coming back and stuff. Four two for the nice first. All right, let's run this four two. Oh, out. Oh no, coming sound is that? Did they take? It's out. Three up. We got that out. Oh, the Yankee short print. Yeah, that was nice. That's what you pretty much chase in this product. That's the most looking for those short prints variations. The black is really nice. So we, we've ripped now, what is this, six, seven? We only had one black so far. Mm -hmm. That'll be well for 50. That's good. That's a big one to hit. Then and now. And with Tani, Mike Schmidt. Short print. Astros Dubon. Houston Astros Dubon. Another box. One more box. I mean, look how many dual cards are in here. It's crazy. All these will just do the, the wheel of names at the end. Last box. We have one more break in the store, guys. 23 teams left. We're going to try to fill it today. Let's get the harbor. Let's do it, Sig. Gunnar Henderson on the oversize. Going to the Orioles. And that is the short print too. OB23. That's the same image as the sh short print, I know. And like, I like them, but they're just such a pain in the ass to store, I don't really get excited about them. Addy just stuck out, struck out, uh oh. OBS is super. What do you mean OBS? Conquer Network bought in break 802. All the way back nine. <laughs> Jordan Walker on the short print. We'll take that for St. Louis. Jordan Walker for St. Louis. Yeah, hot wall. Oh, he's batting ninth though. That's okay. He has to work his way up. It's his first game, you know? Rookie. Jordan Walker on the short print. We're back to this event we'll begin shortly. I mean, MLB, I just give you $200. Pick the scoop of that. Kind of like the biggest corporations in America trying to get simple stuff going. Where he missed like half an inning again. Yeah. Well, I mean, they have a good team, the Orioles. They definitely have a chance, but the Yankees and Dodgers are very dominant, so. And the Rangers and Arizona, which is starting off super slow. How about Shohei Otani for the Angels? I think Zelda bought the Angels on the short print. That's a nice hit. 23 highlights. Bam, bam. Zelda, you got the, you got the Angels, don't you? That's a nice hit. We'll take that. Uh, I want to rip that one. There you go. Nice short print for Otani. Mm. 
Max Freep, Bassett, Jason Dominguez rookie for the Yankees. Can't wait to see what he does when he comes back. Hope he does good. I got a bunch of Luke Bowman first and ten. Just the base, but Yankees gonna be scary. That's the image variation. Blue Jays rookie Spencer Horowitz, Toronto Blue Jays on the black and white. Oh, I'm pretty scary. You home run? Oh no, he's just running it. I think um, he was running the bases like he hit a home run. Blue Jays image variation. There you go. Very nice. I think he has a couple more weeks, and I think uh, Soto will have the locker room on that for a figure or two. Think so? <laughs> Chris Stratton for the Rangers on the short print. Short print for the Rangers. Because this is so much paper, this product feels like it makes my pro my hands dry, to be honest. Jake McCarthy, sealed. Otani, first rookie to win AL MVP award in the flashbacks. Boston Red Sox, Fred Lynn. Here, let me just save you some work. I'm gonna put this with the Red Sox right now. You wonder if that's a black and white. Which? It is a black and white. That's what I said. Okay. It's a short print. No, Fred Lip. Hmm. How rare the black and white striker at uh, uh, Boston Red Sox. That's the first one I've noticed at least. But so that's the first one in seven boxes. Yeah, so good picture. That's the regular one, yeah. One in 163 hobby. One in four, seven boxes, so that's the one. So one in every eight hobby packs, roughly. I mean, every one in every ho eight hobby boxes. That's good. Nice hit for the Blue Jays there. Here's a white for the Phillies. Dijon Walker. Austin Wells, rookie, was in the back for the Yankees. Still not hit any box hits in this one. Leighton Kershaw. That's two flashbacks, Robin Yount. Look at that, that's a good shot. Keep look at those look at the Adidas cleats, boys and girls. <laughs> I actually like I mean, this is not a high-end product. I mean, I wouldn't want to rip 20 cases of this, but it's kind of a fun product, right? Yeah, for the Chiefs. Sorry. Short print, Brandon Drury for the Angels going to Celta and Zelda. Another short print. Angels, Brandon Drury. Dude, he keeps he's stretching for the ball. Two batters, two outs. He time. keeps stretching. I'm telling you, I what the fool is doing to this? Stuart Fairchild for the Reds outfield on the short front. He almost got there.
Eflin, Wix, Mitchell. Man, there's a lot of Bueller cards in this. It's like way more than the last one. That's a lot. <clears throat> All right, so it's the third one. It's the same. All right, that's cool. Sony launch of Betamax in Japan. It's kind of cool. Jake Berger. Bailey Falter, Bailey Falter for the Pirates. Card so no auto Aaron Nola. Do we, did we hit the? Did, we didn't hit a chrome card yet, right? Mm -hmm. Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Not bad. Can you look through the leaf paper while we? Need yeah, a hundred. I don't think you put the the paper in there. It's really hard to get there actually. Oh really? Be careful. Uh, I'm not sure yet, LC. We'll, we'll see. If the second break fills, the third break will stay. If not, we might do something else. I don't know yet. We've already been on here for seven hours. Been kind of slow on here today, to be honest. But we've also been breaking some heritage, trying to offer cheap breaks. So if we're not here, we're somewhere else. We'll see what happens. Donna Henderson on the new age performers. So I'll take it. Michael Harris. Ali Rutschman. Sheehan Wheeler. Donovan, Will Benson, Benedini, short print, Alec Co Alex Cop for the Giants, San Francisco Giants with the short print. Variation in black and white, nineteen sixty seven most valuable. So that's just gonna go in our regular raffle left or right. But if you do win, so if it goes to left, it's gonna go to the Boston Red Sox. If it goes right, we have what St. Louis Cardinals, so those two teams have a chance. Yeah, for sure I'll see they are fun. I mean it's not a super high end product or anything like that, but I don't know, I'm breaking it just to break it. Yandy Diaz. Then and now. You're looking for image variation in these. I feel like we haven't had a chrome card in this yet, right? No. Let's we have one more chrome card in here. Austin Hayes on the All-Star. I just should have a Chrome card in here, boys. Unless we got chipped or forget that we already pulled one. Oh. Maybe we haven't. No 
Chrome Park. Did we not hit a Chrome Park? Did we hit a, I know, did we get chipped? Maybe I hit it right in the beginning, I just don't remember. Guys, do you remember, did we hit a Grump card? No, we got chipped in this case. Just one Mem card. I saw one from us, that first box. We, I know we hit one in each the first box, I just don't remember here. Just double checking. I mean, don't worry, if it's in there, it's in there, I don't remember. All right, guys, I'm going to randomize. So I'm going to give all three of these to one person. Roller coaster, Space Mountain. And then we're going to do uh, the left or right. All right, so these we're going to randomize one person. Gets all three cards. Let's go random right away. There we go. Let me open up my app. Randomize. Chicago Cubs was chosen. That's funny. It's like. My stream on my phone is like on a delay. All right, this is going to Chicago Cubbies. All three. Right here, just put them in the middle. All right, guys, I have three times the same card. I'm gonna choose the three teams. One person, one whatever team wins is actually loses. Or is there anybody in here that are, that has one of these teams and they don't care about this card or they already have it? <laughs> Angels, Braves, Tampa Bay, or Blue Jays? All right, let's randomize. Whatever team is chosen does not get the card, okay? Because it's three times the same card. So if you win this, you actually lose. So we have Diamondbacks and Braves. And then we have, what is it? Blue Jays and Tampa Bay. All right, here we go. This one was next. Atlanta Braves. All right, every team on here gets one except for the Braves. The Braves do not get one. All right, guys, on these right here, we're going to run the wheel. We're going to go left or right. If it's a top or bottom, left equals top, right equals bottom, okay? So many. I'm not randomizing 200 cards. So we'll just do one general one. So let's go wheel of names. You guys can see the full screen, right? You guys can see that, right? It's going to pop up, tells you left or right. Yes? Okay. All right, here we go. Good luck to everybody. There's two variations in here, too. Going to the left side. So it's going left and bottom. Okay, let me do it bigger. Seems kind of small. Left side. Going to the left side. Yeah, so when you randomize, you gotta click the teams, you gotta hold the control button, and you highlight if you just randomize. All right, so left and bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Or left and top. Left and top. Left and top. All right, let me close this break. Hope you guys were happy. This one wasn't that exciting, to be honest. We didn't hit anything crazy. More crystals complete. All right, I have 802 in the store. If you guys want to do it, I don't know if we can fill it. Let's see if we can fill it the next hour. We'll try to do it. Let's see if we can fill it. 802 is in the store.
know who on home are sick and just like damn Michael Bush. We don't like you, Michael Bush. Well, I was I was not a big fan of the Stewart speech. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, uh, Jones and Anders, and I appreciate you coming and hanging with us. We have other stuff coming too, so we do like I have sixteen cases of Sterling. If somebody wants Sterling, jump knuckle button. We have Sterling. We have um, twenty one spots left. Actually, we put the break on board. We have Sterling. We have all kinds of stuff. I have tribute left. Thanks, lots of fun. Thank you, paper band. Let's go uh, board and table. We already got three out there. Okay. Let me reset this. So this is gonna be break eight oh two. Eight oh two. I must let me get up the team that are gone. Twenty one teams left, guys. Yeah, I gotta do them all. So I got the list right here. Baltimore is gone. Cincinnati is gone. The Dodgers are gone. The Brewers are gone. The Yankees are gone. Oakland Athletics are gone. Pittsburgh Pirates are gone. Seattle Mariners are gone. Nationals are gone. All right, that's our eight teams, guys. 21 to go. This event will begin shortly. Yes, it will, you bastards. I hate when you pay for stuff. It doesn't work. Damn, we're two out for the two on our home run tie. That's not good. Nice snag on second base. All right. <laughs> Mariners should be playing. No, we're watching the Padres yeah. game. Mariners already won. They came back to clinch. Mariners won. 21 teams, guys. A lot of cheap spots. Let's get on. Come on. Let's get it filled. My hemorrhoids are swelling sitting here. That's good. No, it's, I think we have different timing. Oh, we're five seconds ahead of you? Yeah, who knows? It seems like this app is not the best. <sighs> oh, now it's a commercial, yeah. Twenty one teams to go. Switching again. I don't see how many users on here. It's not working. It's not working. Not a I'm still about to look at the user list, but I don't see anybody. That's a nice little feature. Now, I'm like, wait, huh? I can look up Joe Mauer on what team. I'm not sure. I don't want to do Oh, Is it Expos? It almost looks like Expos colors. Yeah, it's, like yeah, it's Montreal Expos. Like the Purple Rose. That, I bet you. Or maybe it's, I don't know. It could be Minnesota. Oh, thank you, Paper Band. Thanks for coming in. 
Oh, Holiday's about to back. Six? Oh, there's a cube on the way. I wouldn't mind seeing the cube versus the cube. Alright, uh, let's take it. But then you need to know your score. Tracker, can you look up Joe Bauer? In nineteen seventy five. Wanna make sure we put you on the right team. Minnesota Twins. Anyway. Ah, uh, that's Jackson Holly. Look how young he looks. He's only twenty. So he's on deck, right? Top and left, right? Top and left, right? Man, this, this is his first majors at bat, right? Yep. Does look 16. Two outs. He might not do that. No, he might steal. Never mind. No, I said it. Don't just say there's just two outs. Oh, he's up third. Okay, he's number three. Hopefully, you get your people on base for him. How uh, cool if you go up the very first time and you get two hits. Huh? Yeah, that's too bad. He's still there, so. He has some regular team bats, doesn't he? A couple. Guys, we're processing your break. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're processing your break right now. So these will get shipped pretty fast. Yeah, possible RBI, right? How do we have 36 people here? Nobody's chatting. My stream on Fnatic was like way, way delayed. Oh, it doesn't work, my phone app right now. Baltimore did well. Baltimore does well every break, it seems like. Can't check it here. Seems like Baltimore does well every break. <laughs> Guys, Baltimore's a good team to pick up here. They, they've hit a lot of cards, apparently, in Heritage. Yeah, I mean, Yankees. The Yankees did good this time? Good. Oh, yeah, that's a lot, right? <laughs> the Red Sox, Yankees, and Texas. Actually, St. Louis is stacked here, too. <laughs> All right, Adam. Hopefully, we can fill it. There's a chance we might have it to move until tomorrow, Adam. I'm sorry. Breaks on this platform just fill very slowly. I mean, we're seven hours in and we broke th six boxes. Kind of a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. All right, here he comes, Jackson Holly. We gotta watch this. Fans are sure excited. Oh, I, I gotta see uh, CJ Abrams make his pitch for the Padres. Hey, you get Matt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crazy. That's funny. Just like that. He looks so young. It's like watching a high school kid pitch. Sounds good though. He didn't want to get another strike. So he's got to swing this one. Yeah. Might be his brother, right? Two and two. Poor 
Kitty is probably so nerve wracked right now. They were right, Tomcat. Ooh. Strike out. Oh. Why did he steal? Was that two outs already? Oh no, he's on a base. Holiday with the strikeout. It, it was okay, Tomcat and uh, Tom Carl. It's just like, it, I mean, it's Heritage. It's not an expensive product or anything. We, uh, Angels hit on both breaks. Yeah, we hit a nice short print on the Angels in the last one. Well, all my user things are gone. I don't know. I mean, we can start my phone. All right, we just witnessed Jackson Holiday first at bat. That did not work out for him. I'll put you at the ear of Jackson Merrill. Hurt yes. again. Hit me in the face. I'll just get a hit off of it. Yeah. Well, that's a nice hit. Pretty low. Didn't he slow down? No. No, he did not. Did he? Oh, that's triple. A Laid it out for the triple. Oh, nice. One out. Come on, sacrifice fly. Oh, we already scored another run. Yeah, I like some of this. I mean, they might be, they might be lining up to get rid of him. Why? The whole team is shortstop. Everybody on the team is shortstop. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, they're definitely gonna have to do something statistic. They traded a couple decent. Say never. Oh, yeah. Come on. There's the run. There we go. That's got a nice Ellie De La Cruz. JB Designs just bought in. What's up, JB? Down to 20 teams picking up the Braves. Braves been hitting in every break as far as. Jackson, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's solid. Thank you. Just make sure while we're watching, this is still number one. Just paying attention. Yeah. Ricky's like 20 years old. I like it, Nico. Me too. Are you making sure that was Rick Smith? Uh, we did. I mean, it's mostly baseball, I think. I checked the big ones. But I figured you saw them right, right? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, oh good. 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 Juice M just bought in. Juice! The juice is loose. We're down to 19. The juice is loose with the Texas Rangers. That's a nice team to have. The juice is loose. Brewers got that variation in the last break. Rolly fingers. That's nice. That white variation that we raffled off. Are you having audio problems, Riker? I think that must be on your end. How many autos in last break? No autos in this last break. It was all mem cards. Does it say how many autos per case on average? Because we've only pulled two autos so far. 
and we've done six, seven. We have five boxes left in this case. Do we have more bags of credit cards here? No, I gotta get some. We do? Okay. Nationals. I know only two out of so far. Yeah, one memo, one per auto per box. It doesn't say what case average or anything. You don't want fish or anything? No, no, I didn't catch fish. I had a lot of fish and I just didn't know that I didn't want to catch the fish. You fish, but you don't like fish. Well, and so that was something I was born and raised and hunting since I'm like nine years old. That was something we always caught. Like if I didn't kill it, I wasn't going to eat it. Yeah. So I always had fun. People would bring in fish and they were, I don't know, Mr. Young called it a possum. But I had a couple of friends that knew they'd catch them. So they'd go hunt a couple of them. That's funny. <laughs> Phillies had a nice break last break, guys. We're down to 19 spots. Oh, how come the display is not working? Hold on. Down to 19 spots. All right, I'm just going to have you keep the lunas. I'm just going to eat. Yeah. Just pay attention if a team sells. Yeah. Let's see if this sells out. I mean, if it doesn't sell out today, we'll just move this break till tomorrow. We've already been on here seven hours. <coughs> oh. Guys, I'll be back in a minute. Let's see. If we can't sell these 19 spots, we'll move it till tomorrow. 19 teams to go. Rangers definitely hit one of these. Teams. Three boxes of heritage guys. All cards are shipping. I think we did get the three chrome cards. Two Padre. Come along, Beast. We need you to get a win. Three teams left. We have Arizona, Boston, Chicago, Chicago, Cleveland, Colorado, Detroit. Angels are there.
Nineteen left. I have your Pittsburgh, Seattle, Texas, Washington, Chicago. Welcome in guys, welcome in. Going three box break of twenty four Hertz baseball. Got this break. Boone and Riddish shut down. You know, the shipping department does a phenomenal job in the cardboard to ship your stuff in. Always a good experience. Welcome in. The audio is jacked up. It, it could be because I keep moving around so much. <coughs> Red Sox just stole. Thank you, SP. The Red Sox. Is the audio, Striker, are you still hearing the audio still? Is it still messed up? still messed up okay we're gonna have to do some troubleshooting on the sound I think now it's clear I think it's I think when I move around no one is yeah we are gonna have to check that screw but
two spots left, guys. Let's go with this. I hope uh, we can get these out of the way and then I'll get that computer. Uh, Rick! Yes? Do you want a coffee or a sandwich? Um, I would take a cup of coffee. Okay, just one each. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Men, guys, breaking three boxes. We'll try to work on this break tonight. If not, we'll push it to tomorrow. But I think we can get there. 18 spots left. Arizona Diamondbacks, Florida Field, boom. for tomorrow guys get those out to you soon we have 18 teams left three box break top 24 characters Fernando is up one for 10 this inning it looks like one for 11 this inning yeah I mean he's one for 11 against the Cubs the Cubs have dominated him this evening. I think that home run he hit was the only hit he got. But that's you know that's what I like about this team right now. We got some of these other guys picking up the slack when he's just not hitting. Um, he'll get there. He's already hit four home runs. So. All right. 
right, guys. We got 18 teams left. We got well, we got Arizona. We got the Cubs, White Sox, Cleveland, Colorado, Detroit, Houston, Kansas City. Angels are still there. What other color is it? Okay. So he wants it black like his heart. <laughs> yeah, your audio is not that good for some reason. Let me That's see. what says it does. We have a mic down? And somebody said it, and then Schrager said it was out, and then it came back in. We try to reload the page. It was good er earlier, right, Schrager? Okay, right now? I don't think it's us. I think it's Fanatics. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not really bumping a wire for the mic. Honestly, I think it's fanatics because they have maybe their servers are overloaded. Because when I go on my phone, I cannot see any of the how many users are in or any of that stuff. <coughs> Let's see this. Is it good right now? I'm gonna reload this page anyway. Let's see what happens if I have to reload. Oh, yeah, everything stayed there. How's my sound? Is it good? Fine. Okay. Hmm. Seems like I was watching. It had more background voice. It was coming in and out. I don't know. Let's see, we can also probably let's see what happens here if I do this. Is this a little bit better this way? Oh, now it's in the camera angle. That's why I don't have it like this. There we go. How about now? Only reason I'm here is because PSA gave Collectors Club members a $60 credit. For yeah, that's good. I mean, look, Adam. F Fanatics will be okay. It's just, it's still new. There's still a lot of issues. And they're giving you 60 bucks, so why not, right? PSA is not paying for that. That was paid for by Fanatics. How many teams we got left? 18 teams left. We might have to move this till tomorrow. We might have to move this till tomorrow. We have 32 people in here. Can't believe we can't sell the teams. Now it's working again. Did you ever see the Chewy Star Wars movie? Oh, thank you, thank you. The what? Chewy Star Wars movie. Oh, the old one, yeah. Where it actually growls. <laughs> this event will begin shortly. <clears throat> what seats is there struggling with? <laughs> three is three up, three at bats, three outs, right? Yeah, I think I have two friends only in one of the eleven in the series. That yeah, home run was the only one hit. That was a good home run. That was a good tiny home run. <laughs> a Jones just bought in. A. Jones, who do you pick up? Down to 17 spots. Picked up the White Sox. Alright, guys, I have to fill this break like the next 15 minutes if I'm going to break it. Yeah, I got to find eBay order. You just want to be here? Sit over here. Yeah. I see you have 17 teams left. We got to. Fanatics live or PSA gave out some club member credits. Yeah, sixty bucks. Cool. We have seventeen teams left, guys. We got Arizona. 
Arizona. Angels Killer. Padres. Jones is bottom of the Brewers first. Drew Jones. Getting runs or shorter? No. No. Next inning, Jack can get back up. I'd like to see you get a hit tonight. It'd be nice to see you. It's got to be an exciting time in your life. <clears throat> 17 teams left, though. He did, he did. <laughs> yep. I mean, I'm sure we've all had those situations in life where we did something for the first time and you were it's all you ever wanted to do, but you're so scared. Um, when I became a pastor, that's one of the funny stories I love to share. I had never preached in my life. I became a pastor, and I asked the guy about a week after he appointed me, and he said, well, did somebody write the sermons, or do you have to write your own? <laughs> so um, I never thought about that much, but yeah. You don't just read sermons, you have to write sermons. <laughs> so, 18 teams left, 17 teams left. Arizona, Chicago, Cleveland, Colorado, Detroit, Houston, Kansas City, the Angels. Angels have Trout and Otani in. Miami, Minnesota, New York, Philadelphia. San Francisco Saints is in there. It's uh, Tampa Bay and Toronto. We also have other products in the store. Probably just a couple. Of this this event thing is not very cool. Must be quite a delay because I'm not getting in either one of these. Oh, come on. Cronensworth has is off the, <laughs> he's off the kind of start that people only dreamed of having. He is definitely playing above this level right now, and I'm glad for him. He's a great guy. Three 
box break of 24 parishes. We have 17 teams left, guys. One more break tonight. There's the game back. Now, Manny's starting to get back to, to full swing. Is still at 228 for average, so he is definitely still struggling. What's that? Uh, 17. All right, we're going to call it for tomorrow. Yeah. It's not moving. Okay. All right, boys and girls, we're going to move this break forward until tomorrow. We have a break scheduled tomorrow, so this will just get moved forward till tomorrow. We'll be in the afternoon. Sorry, it's just not moving. What time do you think? It's already scheduled. I think I have it scheduled for 2 or 3, maybe 4. So then we'll start it. Hopefully we can fill it up tomorrow. Hopefully it sells out overnight. Sorry, Adam, that we couldn't fill it. At least it's free for you, so that's good, right? All right, guys. I will move this one till tomorrow. Move it over. Move to another screen. Uh, it's actually scheduled for 12, but it'll probably get rescheduled around 2 or 3, to be honest. Thank you, guys. We'll move that one over. See you tomorrow. I need to get all my stuff packed up tomorrow. Uh -huh. Oh, where are you going? Oh, for the show? For the show. Who let that one out? The pro far again. Oh, it's three on a horn. Nice. Yeah, yeah. pro far. All right, Miss Kent, we probably got him for a hundred grand. We probably <laughs> leaked minimums out. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me switch to my OBS over here.